longer than One. the actual dock. Oh, because there's more in here you haven't even <laughs> seen, Metal. Oh. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm one to talk. I had watched more boogie content uh, from people after I saw, saw the dock. So. Also, we are live now. So anything you say can and will be used against you. Uh, what I would like to say is that I'm glad that they finally made a movie about Boogie so that we could cover him <laughs> on EFAC. <laughs> because now Boogie, Boogie is now media. True, that's true. Boogie is now media, that's true. As, as, uh, some people in the Discord were like, what, what, what does the episode tell us, tell us? And I was like, I don't know how to give clues without just giving it away, but it's you not really? about, not really about a movie, a TV show, or a game. But in a sense, maybe it is. Maybe it's about all of those, in a way. Yeah, it's definitely a game. There's games involved. The, it is kind of a movie. It's the, what, yeah. like 10,000th documentary that's been made about Boogie? Yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah. Just, but this no, just, one yeah. is all new footage. This one, this this one raises the bar, one. okay? Now now everything has to look like this. <laughs> There's like a, <laughs> it's a whole industry and everyone's like, fuck, we're gonna up our game. has been set for Boogie documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dark, night, <laughs> the dark night of Boogie documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just the first of a trilogy, I'm sure, by Mike Club. It's going to be <laughs> great. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if he could survive a trilogy. But yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I hear he um, dies in part two and comes back in part three. Dang, they wouldn't kill him in the second movie. That would be <laughs> a multiverse stupid. thing in the third. There's no way they'd kill Boogie. <laughs> Rags are going to be subversive and it's going to be like Saw in the third one, just tapes left behind by Boogie. <laughs> it's like a mystery. 13 reasons why. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. So, um, 1,300 hey, uh, reasons yeah, I got why. I'm trapped now and um, I, I hate my life. <laughs> and the first tape know. goes to the Reddit thread that's been harassing me for years. <laughs> uh, you found all the people who've been harassing them, and he's trying to put them in salt traps. He put them in salt traps, and he's like, "Listen, oh. I respect you. I respect you, but uh, <laughs> Tom, you got an opinion. You know that's great. Everyone's got an opinion. Whoop de do. Hmm. I put you in this salt trap to teach you that it's it's bad to be mean to people. That's Those fine. traps are just real. Um. All right. Well, so. May as well start with saying everyone here has been on EFAB before, except new new yeah. player, new oh. blood has been added. Nicholas Diorio, oh welcome, welcome. How you doing? Hey, thanks for having me. This is going to be fun. No problem. I thought we may as well invite someone who's going to be considered quite an expert, at least on current events. I'm not sure how much of a boogie historian you are, um, but you Ooh. you definitely caught up in uh, some of the newer stuff, right? Where did you get your degree? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like a lot of other people were you know big boogie fans like uh, high school. BBS. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you were in that group too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, he, he became terrible, like really bad. <laughs> For like a long time, and yeah, now here we are. <laughs> we covered the fight, uh, the wings and boogie one, and it was uh, we gave a bit of a lesson to the EFAP fans about his, boogie's history, a small one, but still. And mm -hmm. um, this is almost like a part two. It's it's what did boogie do after it, and what's his life currently looking like? And my God, it's just uh, you know for a week or so, you could just hear about it everywhere. Everyone was talking about it, and I was like, why don't we why don't we grab a few people who haven't even seen it, who know nothing about boogie? And then we add on some of the stuff that's happened very lately that's Oh, but Mahler, hyper everyone knows about Boogie. <laughs> Pretty much. I think the biggest <laughs> thing you kind of have to take away from this before we even get started is that he is an unreliable narrator. <laughs> yeah. This guy has probably mm. told the same story we're about to hear 50 different times, 50 different ways. Yes. So it's, oh, yeah, that it's, has it's really hard to track. That has particularly clear because of recent events, the nature of how unreliable he is as a narrator. Yeah. And how unreliable some of the stuff for this documentary might actually be. Oh, I have apparently numbers. a whole bunch of it is fucking fake well, shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, important things, important like kind of the crux of like the story of Boogie is like, hmm, is that actually what happened? Is that right? Wait, are you telling me that Boogie doesn't walk his dog topless down his street? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't say topless. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <I'm> topless. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Dave put that image in our heads before it's forced Definitely into our heads. Topless. Not shirtless, topless. <laughs> Stop. Um, I suppose. Uh, what what can we do for the for the people to set this up? Where did where did it all start for Boogie? He was he was a beloved YouTube vlogger who just talked about mm. gaming yeah. news and Dude, life stuff. So funny. And also did the Francis videos that were that were yeah. really funny. Of, like, were I hilarious. Guy. Guy. He was like the uncle of the internet. You know. Um, 
people didn't know that he ran like porn blogs and flesh <laughs> fiber. Oh, no, you know, that's the uncle of the yeah, internet. That's well, that's, the, uncle the, the, sex, the sex pervert who runs a blog about. <laughs> that's just so thing. funny. Where it's yeah, like, oh. basically, he's every Magic the Gathering player at that size. You know? Oh my it's, goodness. It gracious. sounds like a South it's Park joke, right? but like it's Mr. Rogers <laughs> if he ran a porn industry. And you're like, why? Oh, <laughs> no. You're like, because it was a lie. Don't you be my neighbor. It was all a lie. Um, my, my first uh, introduction to Boogie was actually watching a Francis vid, so I I was one of those people that thought Francis was a real guy. Uh. <laughs> well, At this point, he might as well have been. Was like, Francis was like casting the line, and then they're, oh, I'm the nice Boogie with all of the insight, and I want to help you. Don't make the same mistakes I did. I'm such a nice guy. That was what real Jin. Yeah. No, mm. Boogie's not as cool as Francis. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Francis seems more honest, you know? Yeah, like, uh, that's true. Francis yeah. does seem honest. He wears his heart on his sleeve, all right? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> sure. I would have a no. beer with Francis. Before Boogie, yeah. Yeah, easily. Um, so again, you know, it's 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 all this um, this this big attempt to draw in audiences through creating like character stories and stuff, and then his big mistake was streaming. Was streaming. Oh, oh yeah. Like, he can't do it. He can't Boogie, do it because raw, unfiltered. Say, that's a lot of money for a person of color. Oh, of <laughs> oh. Some of the clips he's got are legendary. Forever of his. They are. They're and, really. <laughs> and the the subreddit that collected all of his like worst things he'd ever done that was that was like a nightmare for him to the point where he only ever made it worse. He made so many videos highlighting it and saying it's absolutely mm. full of lies, full of lies, full of lies, full of lies. Don't look at it. Full of lies. You know, one of my favorite highlights of him once upon a time was uh, someone released, and it could have been one of a hundred different people, released a documentary that was getting huge traction, like, uh, you know, two million views in a couple of days with a particular oh. title. I can't remember what it was, but Boogie, like, released a video with the same title trying to affect its, oh, like, yeah. SEO. Oh. That was that funny V2 guy, right? Wasn't it? It might have been that, it yeah. And, uh, yeah, and and Boogie was like, you know, video's terrible, full of lies, uh, you know, it's, it's awful, it's full, <laughs> you never look at it out of context, blah blah blah. And it's just like an attempt to hopefully be like, there you go, my video will now overtake. And it's like, it was such a mm. pointless endeavor because it would just be one of like a hundred videos that got made. Because everybody so slowly started to see all these clips. Um, which, by the way, when it comes to like Wings of Redemption, they're really funny. When it comes to Boogie, it was like, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> now that I've worked with both of them, it's shocking how much more normal Wings is than Boogie. <laughs> I can believe that. <laughs> to an almost oh, scary wow. degree. Yeah. Because I've seen uh, you know, the first Lolcow episode, and it's like Wings is just a normal guy just chilling out. Like yeah. and uh, Boogie is like very um cautious and aware of how how bad everything's going. Which mm. um I guess that's, a, that's another th reason why this doc was set up. We can all speculate if you want, but like, what? why did Boogie do this? He'll tell you that it was uh, to show just how dark and sad everything is for him. Oh, right, well, I mean, here's the real thing. He thought that it would get him some sympathy, and it's had yeah. the opposite yeah. effect. It really, 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 really harmed his reputation. Yeah, the only I, I, hey, look, guys, Boogie atoned for his sins. It's time to yeah, be nice yeah. to him again. There, there yeah, a, yeah the, the documentary has a narrative, and the narrative is, yeah, it's sad and depressing, but it ends on a hopeful note of him discovering nihilism for the first time as, like, a profound <laughs> revelation. <laughs> and he's on the up and up. He realizes, you know, he's going to venture forth into his life with a newfound <laughs> confidence. And there's definitely meant to be, like, a positive story here. But all that's Boogie happened is that everybody... Avoid. It's just that everybody's seen it and it's embarrassing and depressing. Yeah. Well, and the, and the best thing to come out with it is... I have four million subscribers on YouTube, so fuck that shit. That, that was it. I, I saw that this was a weird one because um, obviously we all know Boog is a, a, a misery merchant. He's a sympathy merchant. You know, that's what he's in for. But I also saw this as a as a great opportunity for him to humble brag, yeah, while also uh, trying to garner sympathy at the same time. And it was just... It came across so narcissistical. This this documentary it was unreal. Yeah, he um. I think that the best thing you could say that's come from this for him is his his channel's got higher engagement for now. Uh, like like it's, it's up, but obviously that's not going to last. This happens every time he's in the news. Yeah, the thing yeah. he's doing now is he's been like doing gaming related videos again of like, oh yeah, the gaming news roundup with Boogie. But like, why would anybody want to watch that? Why is anybody <laughs> like who's interested in what Boogie thinks about video games really? 
Um, well, he had to buy those games. So. No, they they want to see the birth certificate of his missus. That's what they, they want to be watching him when he kills himself on live stream. Oh. They want to say that well, I was. They want to say that I was there. He had a. He had. Let's I don't say think like he would ever do that though. I don't think he. I would agree. Know. I don't think he would. Oh, think so have any of you guys heard the clip of the feeder moment for Boogie? It's the one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard in my entire life. You don't mother like the, the videos he released about it or something else. I think he was talking to Ethan Klein on like an old podcast episode, and he's talking about how he was dating this woman who literally wanted him to eat himself to oh, death. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, I have a question, though. If you mm -hmm. ate yourself, would you double in size or would you disappear? <laughs> <laughs> into the void yeah he he was like describing the food he was like eating out of her oh Ooh, out of her can i still what? drop yeah. out of this one can i still just leave <laughs> second second the, the void has a, like has a really hold on you detail. yeah we need this is all set up this is the prequel trilogy to the ot yeah. okay the, my call is uh... about to go away and i just feel sick <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, th well, this is the thing. Whatever we even cover or talk about today, it'll be an absolutely tiny fraction of the mystery of the abyss that is. Uh, oh, Boogie is an iceberg, oh, you know? He is an iceberg in a sense. Yeah, and, and the, the last thing he wanted <laughs> was for everyone to find out who he was. And uh, it feels like this is basically all of his reputation is now dribbled out of that little yeah. collection he had. Oh. It's uh, all gone. Dribble, but, dribble. All right, consider me hyped. Well, that's the <laughs> thing. Yeah. Um, so, as far as I'm aware, is it uh, Moriarty and ER have not seen this? Anyone else not seen this? No. Oh. The, 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 the doc, you mean, right? Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. I don't know yeah, that I really want to see it now. Like, you guys really hyped me up on this. I gotta tell <laughs> you. Well, I'm just going to say you agreed to this. <laughs> <laughs> you can sign it. You Why do you think we have to yeah. sign those waivers? Oh, oh, yeah. You think we why? do that with everyone? EFAB's all about the contracts, okay? So, uh, well, we'll get started. Yeah. Uh, the, what we're looking at today is, uh, is the extended version of the documentary. I have uh, oh, implemented ooh, some um, extra deleted scenes that he's put onto his channel, but I've put them in the places I assume they were going to be. Uh, okay. Oh, and then okay. we get to see um, a bit of a little compilation of his time on the Lol Cow podcast, and then a conversation he had with Mudaha that... Uh, Team stuff found out about and got very angry at him with, and we'll, we'll just see what happened with that as a sort of a closer. It ends on a note that I think summarizes Boogie's role on the uh, on the internet at this point. But hey, you know, I don't want to hype it up too much. We'll just uh, we'll just check Delayed. out a, a fun fun little movie. You know, that's what we're doing today. That's EFAP. We, we cover media. It's totally fine. All right, everybody, uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay. okay. The biggest regret I have I will ever have is oh. knowing. Mm -hmm. that I had a job mm -hmm. that every person in the world that's right he did win that award he did yeah. uh, it's so weird to think about because he was like a completely it different person about, yeah. back then well it was a completely different perception it was that he was awesome and he was such a nice guy and it now was, <laughs> it's kind of later. like it's so crazy that um it's it, it, like I don't even know what it would feel like to be possibly at the lowest rug of the internet or one of them uh, when you were at one of the highest. Yeah, one yeah. of the highest that you could you could ever kind of hope to be at, which is being like really popular and really liked, and really really liked. Was, someone said like he yeah, fumbled the bag. It's like fumbled the bag doesn't even remotely like, cover it. Fumbled the road of a yeah. <laughs> of a bridge into a river, and then everything just floated away. But when you're in the public eye, you you can only uh, show a, a, a farcical side to you for so long, a, yeah. a facade for so long, before, particularly when you're streaming, people are going to suss you out. So even if you do make a few mistakes when you you stream, we all do. Everyone's human. Everyone everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, and, and it, it's up to the individual to decide whether or not ah, it was only this or it's only that. But but it's like it, there was a personality shift because we were seeing who we wanted to show, but then we got who he was. Uh, and they they are very different people. Yeah, um, that was from like insecurity, right? Because yeah. like most people have had these issues. Ninja has had similar clips to Boogie that have come out about him, and he's still able to stream, and he hasn't yeah. reached the level Boogie has reached. But it's like he needs to prove these people wrong, but they're right. He's just intermittently like really cringe sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but he hasn't done anything where you're just like, oh, you're a terrible manipulative person. Yeah, you're just. No, I, I used him because, like, there was the clip, fuck you, kid, you're adopted, or whatever. But when Boogie <laughs> says, like, you should have okay. been aborted Tom, or something to oh, a kid, that's just it based, did real though. damage. Yeah. 
That's true. <laughs> Though history is written by the orphans, so you got to be careful. Exactly. When you say gotta be like careful. That. Yeah, they have a lot of power. Be very in careful. Way. History will remember you poorly. Much but, um, like you. If, back to yeah. if Boogie could go back, I guarantee you, like the solution to this would just be never stream, never ever Probably. stream, and you'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, don't put yourself in situations where you can't perform well. If you yeah. say things off the cuff that you know you are going to regret later, and you know everything is being recorded for always and all time mm -hmm. and eternity. Don't put yourself in that scenario. If you're addicted to alcohol, um, don't go to a bar. If you're addicted to... Oh, man, how can I make that a joke? No, we'll, we'll, we'll try it later. We'll try it later. <laughs> We're talking about Boogie, not DSP here. So. Oh. Oh. Another well, famous... kind of cut from the same cloth, though. And I would extend uh, Twitter as well. Don't stream and don't go to Twitter. So, yeah. Everyone, Generally good advice, you're... don't go to Twitter. If you're addicted oh, yeah. to... Oh, well, there's boobs on there. No, 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 we'll save it. We'll save it. You can it. get we'll boobs in other places. Metal better places. We got ways to go. We got places to go. Things to go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't set yourself up for failure. Fuck it up. And have a good diet. I'm going to be mad about that till I go to the fucking grave. Yeah, any normal person oh. would be. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe some less cringe uh, financial decisions as well. Am I supposed to be the... hearing something? I don't, I don't have any audio. You don't? Um, I don't, don't have any audio. I had audio. Well, well make sure that your volume uh, volumes turned on the slider. Make sure your tab uh, isn't muted. Yes, that is, has its own yep. slider. It is really quiet. Yep. So I, I'm um, bringing it up on my end too. Hmm. Make sure your window oh, settings haven't changed, like after an update or something like that. No, so. Well, that mm. shame corks out of your ears that you probably stabbed <laughs> in there because of this documentary. You're not hearing anything right now. The little music. Uh... Nope. Things. Hmm. It's actually pretty loud for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good for me. Yeah. The important part yeah. is the people at home have the audio because of yes. it's coming through on my end. But it kind of helps if you want to talk about. Oh, uh, they want me to disable ad blocker. Is that what the deal is? That shouldn't. It shouldn't be. Shouldn't, but you can yeah. give it a try. I have mine on. Hmm. Like all responsible citizens should. This is so fucking dramatic. <laughs> but I guess it's suitable in a way. <laughs> now facing you. He, he, believe me, he loves this. He oh, yeah, yeah. He absolutely loves this. What do you think he can get now? Like, in terms of uh, an event? Yeah. Making a dark around me, this is my big chance. To get a few subs, maybe. Well, I, I, I would argue it's probably his big chance to get relevancy. No, I don't think the subs are an issue. I think, I think he, he just needs it. I think he does. Uh, there is a part of him that realizes that this is all kind of interconnected. He's got to get like money and stuff. Yeah. And he's not going to get a real job. He'll never work a real job. Oh, he because he admits you know. to that. I, I would have yeah, thought that. Um, that's that's. Yeah. I would have thought that he would try to get this on his channel, but the I guess the director Mike Clum wouldn't have allowed it because. Uh, Rightfully, wait, so. his last name is oh, yeah. Clum. It is. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a great last name. Mike Clunge. It's not the best. Oh my god. It's not, it's, yeah, it's, not, it's not like rats. In all fairness, Mike's the only sane thing about this documentary. <laughs> he does have a few moments Mike that are Mike is like uh, a normal refreshing. person here. Yeah. Oh, in the middle, when he says he had to stop. I guess we get there, but it's just funny. How's uh, well, the audio? He's going to be kind of crazy if he went to his mm -hmm. house. The last guy who did that almost got shot and killed. <laughs> browser, <laughs> and I'm using Opera, and it's not liking it. So I'm going to, I guess, drop out of this one and try to go through Chrome. All righty. Okay. Oakley, I was going to say, you're going to want to hear all of the noises, okay? Yeah. I mean, you want to see what comes next as well. It's part of the experience. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, there was one girl. <laughs> Topics explored in this film could be upsetting to some viewers. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I don't know if I should talk about this, Mike, but I'm going to. There was one oh, girl God, that I why? dated. She liked a lot of Yeah, start off with things. this. No, she really, you want to really want to hook him in. The, the crazy shit is that the, the opening lines are about how he had a girlfriend who loved rubber duckies. And <laughs> it's like, uh, what? Why? Yeah, but he calls he calls her immature. He says she was very childish or something. <laughs> and and he's but it, he he has all his magic the gathering. Well, maybe she his, was. Maybe she had a jeep. Toys. Yeah, but it, but he's like the, the things that are perceived as you know cl collecting stuff for for like as new nerdies. Uh, it's perceived as you know some people say childish. 
So he's calling his skilled childish Chris likes rubber ducks, but he's got all his magic, all his, uh, you know, toys, all his, you know, memorabilia on there. So he's in the same boat. Oh, well, sorry. So he's, he's looking down at her almost while he's still doing the same thing himself. My first thought actually at this part was very different because obviously this one's called like what? Chapter one going broke. And I saw that big row of all of those collectible rubber ducks. I have one of those. It's like a Crash Bandicoot one. And it costs like 30 bucks. And then he's got like, it looks like he's got uh, like there 20. Was one girl. Yeah, I'll see if I can so get already a it's like, pause on it. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, it's worse for me now. But I'm going to. There okay. was one right. girl that- Yeah, those, those ducks are not cheap. They're uh, special. They're not cheap. So it's kind of funny of like part one going broke with what like three hundred dollars <laughs> of just collectibles yeah. sitting in your bathroom. So That's you're always been. That if you buy a, uh, so if you buy ducks like that, you're gonna have a big bill. Uh, hey. Oh, uh, okay. here yeah. we go. Uh, it's starting. Got him. But I the point being like that it's just kind of like yeah, going broke, huh? With like three hundred dollars of collectibles. Well, on your shelf, man. He has since said about the current girlfriend that she has, like, been a ray of sunshine because she can pull him out of this, you know, disastrous sort of, ju like, <laughs> junk... Pull him out of the tub physically when he does <laughs> um, this, this world of, like, that surrounded him in junk of, of all of the toys and stuff. Essentially referring to all of the toys as, like, a, a you know, an abyss that he's stuck in himself. And it's just like... What? <laughs> like, sell them if you're so, so upset so dramatic about them. When it's you can so kill two dramatic. birds with one stone. You yeah. Sell them, use them to pay your debt. Like, sell two ducks with one listing. That's right. Hey. I guess if you tell him that, then he's going to start to admit you're... he's a hoarder as well or whatever. whatever. No, no, no. Oh. This, is what, this is what he would say. He'd say, these are the only things that bring me happiness in my life. Yeah, this yeah. The only thing that's I have. That's the problem, Boogie. That's okay, that's, the problem that's is. fair. Ducks are the only thing that give you happiness. No, what, but it doesn't explain how his house is like the nicest Halloween decorated house on the block. I mean, that's like I one day a year, and he's talking about, about, it's about it's that one day in my life where I can forget about all the shit people are saying about me on the internet. That's what he would say. Well, it, I deserve like it. Franken this is like Frankenstein's monster who always loved Halloween because Aww. Frankenstein's monster said that Halloween is the one day of the year where I can walk outside and be, be myself, and everyone loves Aww. me, and everyone thinks I'm great, and everyone, you know, appreciates me for what I am on the outside, <laughs> not what I am on the inside. Um, that's why I love Halloween. I could just be myself. So, Boogie goes out on Halloween, they're all like, Oh, wow, that's an amazing cosplay. Yeah, you look just like that monster from YouTube. <laughs> and they're like, Hassan? No, no, no. No, no, the other one. <laughs> it's just so many. The other things. one. I, what's funny too is um, the you know on that note, like so many people in chat have no clue who Boogie Two Die is, and I'm like, fuck, the internet turns so yeah. fast. This like, is a yeah. hell of an introduction. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say, yeah, uh, Sorry about but that, I guess. you need to keep in mind people have no idea who this is. It's one of the at one point was one of the most popular and beloved people on the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember, yeah. he's got like four million subs. Not yeah. to imply yeah. that he was beloved and that he became fat as some kind of contradiction. It's more so that <laughs> he was he was always very big. It's just that he was... a happy, friendly, yeah, he was, fat guy. You know? People assumed he was super chill and friendly and advice-giving uh, yeah. un uncle. People however, wouldn't but, yeah. say that he was fat. They'd say he's jolly yeah. because they liked him. Because that's, that's what you that call works. fat people if you like him. It's like you don't call old people old. You call them wise. <laughs> you true. say, ma'am, you look very wise. A lot of childish things. She liked rubber ducks. That's why I have some of these rubber ducks. And oh, there you go. No, she I liked rubber ducks. So I, I have I do, some I of them. Like the logic. I, I like the logic there. Well, she liked them. That's why I've got them. It's like you know, there's a disconnect there, and the you chose to buy them. She's there's also god now. So that that have to do them. That girlfriend. And right? the divorce. She took the ducks. <laughs> yeah, she took the exactly. ducks of the divorce. <laughs> She went, oh, wow, that's a cool looking duck. So I, I bought 40 of them. I said, no, <laughs> take the duck. Yeah, you know for a fucking fact, ducks. she liked regular rubber ducky, then he bought like all these super high, yeah, like, high end special oh, ones. And she was like, like oh. Rubber I can get a Batman one and a Robin one and a, I don't know, I don't recognize, wait, what's the, I don't recognize the rest of them. Yeah, no. Uh, there's no. one at the end. Yeah, the one on the left the right, is. Yeah. I think Moxie from Borderlands. That's maybe? Moxie from Borderlands, yeah. Oh, you guys remember Borderlands? I do. That was fun oh, once. Was a game. Wow, that a time. was a series. I wow. don't know who the one in the middle is. The two in the middle, I guess you could say. It's a mystery. And one Brad of my bag. favorite memories with her is us setting in this. Oh, tub. look, and there's more. There's her even more. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty bucks a pop, at least. Some of them are more expensive than that. One of the best nights of my life, Mike, happened right here.
Oh, I don't want to hear why, that. Why? Why would you open the documentary and say one of my best memories is washing her? It's like <laughs> no, no. He he washed her and then he took her to bed. Uh, no. Very slowly. Okay. I didn't even have to lift up her big. Okay, so through. this is okay. So that already, this is one of the things that now in the aftermath is in question yes. whether or not this is even a true statement. The statement being, Boogie had $750,000 in savings and lost something like $600,000. Mm. Boogie has now gone on to say, no, it was more like I invested $200,000 into crypto. It appreciated up to like <laughs> $750,000, but then yeah. it collapsed back to about $200,000. Therefore, I consider that in my mind a loss of that much, even though that was mm. all paper gains and it didn't exist because I didn't sell. Like, yeah. when, when you tell someone that you lost $600,000, that gives a very different impression than I'm back exactly where I was. Yeah. It gives an impression yeah. of I am down significantly from my initial investment. Yeah. Do, do you know why he didn't uh, pull that money out, by the way? Because he, um, he was he was really, he really, really the wanted... the bank. <laughs> no, he really... <laughs> he really wanted to be a millionaire, he said. Oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, oh, it's going like, to go up, 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 up. And then... I don't know, man. If you... Then it crashes, and then and then he starts begging on his streams again. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's what, the way it crashed twice. So at first he was like, "I'm gonna put all my money in crypto," and then uh, people were like, "Oh wow, look, he's losing money or something." So as soon as he hits big the first time, Boogie tweeted out like, "Ha! I read on Reddit you guys were happy that this money was like that people were losing money just because you don't like me, but now I'm gonna be a millionaire." And he made like seven <laughs> yeah. tweets about how he's gonna be a millionaire, and then that's he lost it all again. Gone. He's he bragged so much online he's, on Twitter he's about video. it. The, the, the title hilarious. was "I'm finally rich" or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the ones. Ooh. Talking about his brilliant crypto strategies. Yeah. That went, Dude, the dude. juxtaposition with that video a year ago, and then the "I've gone yeah. broke, I've run out of money." I need money your help. <laughs> Remember, yeah, that, was, that was that was from what I understand. Outside of the house, so that you couldn't see all of the stuff that he owns. Yeah. From what I understand, <laughs> when he got that all that crypto stuff. It's theoretically the money, but he didn't pull it out. That that, that was the first time he was already like kind of on the verge of bankruptcy or whatever. According to him, I don't know how true that is. You got to have a so, good pull out game. Come on. Well, just, so he just, had the chance to just get himself out like immediately, but he just didn't do it, and then just it crashed. So, that's like, why a lot of people don't even buying his house. He had the chance to pay off his house, and he's like, "Well, dead people don't live in houses, so I guess I don't have to pay it off." <laughs> Who's no, gonna well, to die? Be, to so... it, just to be clear, dead people don't live anywhere. So. <laughs> Not just houses. They, they live in their coffins. Come yeah, on. it's a little house. The thing is, though, you know, the, the question that looms over it is, did you really not have more savings after, like, a decade of being an incredibly successful YouTuber, really? I mean, you should have. You oh, we really get to really find no, out. No, dude, look how many ducks he has. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ma, let's you never lose value. Are you saying he needs to get his ducks in a row? Oh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> all, of, all of us yeah, here, you know, yeah. we've got YouTube careers that are successful, you know, as ER Fringy, Mahler, Moriarty, Nicholas, myself. You know, we've all got successful YouTube careers, so we know what it's kind of like. Fuck to... you, but okay. <laughs> 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 it is, it's fucking wild to think that you had millions of subs and were chunking out these videos for that long and it's just gone but the That's thing is, is when you me. when you when the documentary goes around his house it's kind of like oh i see okay yeah all right yeah that makes sense actually why you don't have nearly as much money as would be expected uh, just a quick question for carry on do you do you think um legit as well by the way do you think uh, boogie's got a, a humiliation fetish yes, yes. <laughs> uh yeah um i think Why else would so you do yes this? I think it's specific. Why though. else would you do this and then you look well, at the screen? Like, <laughs> <because> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he talks about how good he is in bed with women and stuff like that. So it's, yeah, okay. it's a more specific kind of humiliation fetish when that comes from more like the mockery of status and the degradation of that. I don't think it's like a, it's not necessarily sexual. It is parallel to, you know, the sexual element. I'm just looking. Or maybe at the, just I don't know. He'd be like, "You need to film me in my bath playing with my rubber duckies while it says you're now facing bankruptcy." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah. This is what yeah, we call I'm almost art. There. I'm almost there. Yeah. Say foreclosure. You need to. Um, I need to know Martin Scorsese's opinion of this. Like, this is art. He's like, you know, better than Marvel. It's like, yeah, true. No, the ducks. What I mean, you know, hey. <laughs> Yeah, so when it comes to financial approach, I don't what fucking a shot. know what I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll uh, give him a, I'll say this blue. It's his color. Yeah. Sure ain't green. Money right. comes in. 
money goes out for the money long I, 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 I just money I do find it funny the way that he talks about it. It's like, oh yeah, no, it's just money goes in, money goes out. I you can't change that. How does that happen? <laughs> How does this occur? What what black magic spell has been cast? Wait, so, how money much money is to? I mean, uh, it'd be great to have money coming in well, and not no, coming out, but that's not life, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. His wife has been taking care of it, and then she divorced him, and now he doesn't know what's going on, and just money just comes in and out. That's how it works. Right, mm -hmm. right. He's been wow. divorced. And there's nothing for I can do years. about it. There's nothing to be done. <laughs> Handled that shit, but then I got divorced. I don't mm -hmm. know where my money is. I don't know what it's doing. The I don't know where my money is. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> Try your bank account. <laughs> to be clear, starters. This is an interesting physical phenomenon. His nipples are touching his belly. <laughs> <laughs> They're making. <laughs> so that, that response from ER there. That, uh... This is a this uh, uh, You're very good friends. By the way, he's been divorced for five years. So where's where's my money in five years? Shush. Uh, you can't just is... make money in five years. No, but Dude, he's, he's saying also, this he's also displaying how 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 much of a liar he is. It, right here, he's he's displaying how absolutely unreliable he is. You you can't yeah. believe a word that's going to come out of this guy's mouth because we all know where our money is. We all know what it goes on, what it pays for, what comes in. We all know that. We we can't just say, well, no, no we're not. So well, yeah, you can literally Hollywood go to the bank. Star. You can just do it online, and you could see yes. a statement yeah. of every time money is moved into money. or out of your account. You could just he... like look at that with your eyeballs. That's He's literally what? holding his phone. Just download really. the Chase app, bro. Like, just look. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Only thing I've ever done with it is I threw it into crypto and then lost. The it. only yeah, thing so you've ever done with your money is, yeah. Mm, Which is. already that's that's a hilarious statement. It's like you didn't you didn't invest in any index funds or hell, just like some normal blue chip stocks. It's like ah yeah, crypto all in, baby. Dude, where's well, that, my money? That's the best but thing. Also, I think it'll be in this, but he does argue uh, Ethereum is very stable and a good choice, a good uh, investment. Yeah. Which, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, right. I, but also, as was mentioned before, this what you're seeing on screen here, this is now like hmm, this might actually not even be remotely. True. Well, as we said, yeah. everything value, is in question because remember he he wants to try and sell the worst version of the story possible yes yeah and this, this yeah. is a worse version than i ended up basically exactly where i was which is like oh okay compared to i started at seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and lost six hundred thousand <laughs> so, so i'm investing in pumpkins <laughs> investing in pumpkins it was almost so, halloween i thought it was a good yeah, deal yeah, yeah. they're gonna be great by christmas but then there was the, the great december crash <laughs> and see <laughs> That's a, it's a good meme on its own, but it's actually referencing a Simpsons episode where uh, Homer invests yeah. in pumpkins yeah. right around the month of what is it like right around January? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're gonna peak right around January. Well, here's everything. If you want to see, there's two thousand. Oh, he found 2, his money. Yeah, he found there it. it is. How'd that happen? Oh. It turns out it's yours, and you could look at it. Yeah. Turns out the bank will happily tell you about all the money right now, that they're holding. Unless for you. the mortgage has come out yet. So tomorrow, when they take mortgage out, I'll have about seven hundred dollars to live off of until the twentieth, when I get paid again from YouTube. So I'm just going to live off of seven hundred dollars, and I'll probably sell some cards along the way. And they say, how long did he have to live off of that? He had to live off of that for how long? Uh, well, the month? thing is. Uh, the because the, the uh the documentary uses that figure of like seven hundred and fifty eight dollars as like a running storyline of it going yeah. down, but obviously that's not the case because this is filmed over multiple months. Yeah, and who knows yeah. how much mm -hmm. cash so he like, has? Like, there's there's well, no way to know. The reality is, is just the numbers are just not trustworthy. They just aren't. I they're just I I yeah. don't I don't know that you can accept really any of them at face value. There's so much about them that doesn't make sense. There's a lot of discrepancies. The, by virtue of like the way that the documentary is presented as a story of trying to present it almost like it's happening in a condensed time when it states that it happened over like nine months. I just yeah. don't know what to make of the money at all. Well, I brought some numbers with me, so we'll make it to certain stuff <gasps> oh, that I'm not okay. eligible mm. in. Uh, we oh, can talk okay. about that. Yeah. To make ends meet as well, I have a credit card with them that I owe $600 on. And on top of that, I still owe 100 and don't have credit cards. Thousand dollars on my house. Isn't that unbelievable? How did spazzard. you do that? <laughs> how? 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 Where how you pull the equity? Look at the fucking collectibles. Yeah. Collectibles. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Dollars in collectibles. Also, I mean, if you said rags, here's thirty thousand dollars. Buy collectibles. I'd be like, 
but but that's all of them. Well, you can do this when you have money to spare. But the, the crazy part is, like, I many people have asked him, like, why aren't you pulling your crypto money out? And he's just like, because it might go up. It might go up again. <laughs> <laughs> it also might go that's, down, that's, my bro. Uh, <laughs> that was, that's, that's, yeah, that's well, like, it definitely well that. but like, it, it's so it hard to listen to this man be like, oh my God, I'm on my last pennies. But it's like 30,000 in crypto. Take but that's it how out. hard it is to talk mm -hmm. to him because he'll be like, "Well, it could go up." It's like, "Well, what if it goes down?" He goes, "I don't know. I'll just kill myself." <laughs> yeah, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but if I kill myself, they won't. Is that, I won't kill is myself. That Boogie's uh, go-to for everyone I disagree with Hitler. <laughs> Everything that goes wrong, I kill myself. <laughs> it's just like the it's end like of the conversation like, every time. You're like, oh, okay. Put out of the house. Yeah. Get rid of the, the house debt. Ah, uh, so this already. Sell off this all is my like to me on its face. This is okay, absurd. But, the idea that the, the the idea that his home equity is one hundred and five thousand dollars bullshit. Even how, that how, though, how? it disregards the value of the home. That's what I'm saying. Is, is like, like it disregards the idea that he sells the home. Yeah, sell yeah. he lives. Just to be clear, he lives in Fayetteville. This is no yeah, this the, doxing or anything. He lives like, in Fayetteville, which is a booming college town, not but two hours away from where I live. Uh, oh. So yeah, well, it's I, just, I live it's quite just close the way to that it's yeah. presented. It's his like, house, he loves see, I've got. I've got a net value of zero. It's like, no, if you sell the house, you have a net value of at least $100,000, surely. Mm -hmm. surely. Yeah, right, like, know. the fact that he has a mortgage should, oh, look, I owe 165 Okay, but, like, you've paid in 100000 so you have a $270,000 home. Well, and you, you, you quickly realize, like, with these numbers, like, oh, debts, I think what you've done here is just squish and squash the numbers so that you can have the yeah. dramatic reveal of zero. Of the deal, yeah. which, yeah. um, which, which, what just, would the odds be of cool. assets versus liabilities? Also, it just, just, yeah, zero. No, <laughs> like it's, it's not, no, it's not, it's not zero. That's the thing. It's, he's not actually worthless, like in terms of, well, in terms of his net well, worth, I mean, well, you know, <laughs> yeah. Meta yeah. metaphorically, <laughs> metaphorically, spiritually, or whatever, but like in terms of his actual, like, equity, he's not worthless. That's, I don't see how that's possible. Like, especially with like the last few years of like housing markets in Western countries, how there's no way, there's no way that he's not going to make money if he if he sold his house. Oh yeah, you can sell. He can sell his house and then just move a few hours away, go to Little Rock, Cabot, Benton, some much cheaper area. It's it's Arkansas, right? Arkansas is it's like one Arkansas, of the cheapest, Arkansas, one of the states in America, one of the cheapest states to live in. And I live here. It's lovely. I love Arkansas. It's great. But geez, if you're running, if you got these problems, sell your house and move. Cut your so, it's so funny by a massive amount. It's so funny to see this listing with this fucking ducks looming over at the top. <laughs> 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 Judging him with silence. Cinema. Also, it's worth <laughs> noting he's been like thoroughly doxxed. Like everyone's seen what his house looked like. There's videos from outside of it. I mean, it would probably be smart to move. Well, it's everybody has suggested downsizing, and he's like, no. Well, he can't go on a diet. <laughs> nice. Where will I put my ducks? Like, what the Where fuck? Where would I put my... You have to have a whole duck room, otherwise, what the hell? At zero dollars. Shit. I'm worthless. <laughs> That's so, he's so fake. He's so fake. Yeah, that was fake for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, oh man, I'm just realizing I'm in so much trouble. Oh, gee. Oh, oh no. what? That's crazy. Which, which, again, if only someone does, told me. <laughs> it does seem really awkward when it's like you're living in a palace. You're living in this massive house. Like, yeah. is, isn't it like, is it five bedroom or four? I can't remember. But it's. I mean, it's two story. Or right? who? It's two story house. Well, that's what I mean. He then lives. Again, oh, he has two people with him, so um, I guess you know they can fill it up somewhat. But like he most of the time so spends on splitting rent and everything, right? They're paying rent, aren't they? I think he got grilled on that, and the answer seemed to be no. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're letting people like, live in your house for free? Like as as people are pointing out, this bathroom is enormous. Yes, it's a big bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> isn't there a shower there? There's a huge shower cubicle. Yeah, there's a shower. Yeah, the shower. There. You can see this. Well, we've seen the shower. There's a different his bathroom. So big, he's got a separate room for the toilet. Yeah, like what the a fuck? lot of people do not have. <laughs> he's that. got a walk-in toilet. This is a big old master bath. <laughs> his bathroom's got an ensuite. Well, like, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but like, there's a lot of bathrooms I've been in where you can't have the shower door open at the same time as the door to the bathroom open. Like you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's just amazing to see like that. It's just like oh gosh, oh, yeah, everything's I'm falling apart, it. guys. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh geez, oh man. Yeah, this is the hard part. I'm I'm reality. I thought you meant getting out of the tub. The dog's like, you gonna, they're, they're desperate, the master's <laughs> dying. <laughs> like, no. You can do it. Come on, get out of there. 
Oh, I guess it does that as well, the gastric bypass. And... Which, I think, statistically has a lot of people just completely fail it, right? He's just another well, one now. because the habits need to change. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even, if, even if your stomach is smaller, if you're still eating a lot and you're not exercising. Well, that's just it. It's, it's more mental. If you haven't got the, the mental capacity to... To lose weight, you're not a gastric bypass is not yeah. going to help. But you're going to have the initial bullet. weight drop because of the fact that you simply can't eat uh, as much. But then you will expand your stomach still, and 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 you know he's uh, he went down, but now he's going right back up. Same with uh, Which, um, wings. Yeah, that's expense. That's cost. That's money. everyone really wanted the story for wings to be that the boxing inspired him to lose weight. The wings you know? of redemption yeah. for real. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come the name, yeah. The fucking music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, if it, if it, I, you know, it's so hard to get into the mindset, but if I were Boogie and Mike had made this, I'd be like, "Why did you put on the spooky music when I was trying to get out of the bath? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? It's a horror That's, story. It's a horror scarier story. than Boogie in a bath." He's attempting to save 20k oh, to remove right. excess skin. You get a little See, ahead of yourself like, there. The priorities yeah, that's, that's are in order. Way later. Uh, well, Especially when you think active. about what good skin costs these days, and oh, he's trying yeah. to pay to get rid of it. <laughs> My best feature. This is the one the ladies love. No. I call it <laughs> My Meat Apron. I have oh. two. I'm sorry, uh, you're not ready. That's good. <laughs> well, at Here's least I'm not hungry anymore, one. so thanks. Wow. Uh, looks like an extra ball I sack. Have two oh, he knows which one to put his pants around. Oh. I don't like showing it to people, and people don't... I don't liar. like showing it to people. <laughs> he people just saw this documentary. <laughs> You're a liar. But for a you, liar. I'll make a special exception. You. <laughs> just between us two, that's definitely Since not Since you're in this. my <laughs> sanctum, <laughs> I'll just the, the second fold. The second slab. It's yeah. There's uh, there's a lot going on there. I don't like seeing it. Makes you just want to grill it up on the. So that's why on I'm the range. Oh, this is This is one of the <laughs> this is one of the extended <laughs> scenes that didn't make it into the uh, primary documentary. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, this is a yeah, this is an bit of extra a flavor. Extra Dude, he's got that's the Baja Blast. Got... Yo, he does. <laughs> you go to Taco Bell. In a constant state of denial. Four yeah. minutes of nonstop <laughs> depression. Wow. Oh, no. Four minutes. <laughs> That's what his girlfriend I'd calls their sex life. Wow. Please swallow Please and then move. I'm not going to drown. Yeah. The dark mm -hmm. sad lemon. Is that the name of the? Yes, that's, that's the name of the diary. Yeah. Why would you even? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting to understand the character at this point, ER. He okay? eats so much, his stomach wants to unionize. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time. So you pretend you're not. Every once in a while, when you see these mental health breakdowns on live stream, when you see these mental health breakdowns on Twitter, it's because I am become acutely aware of the fact that I'm fucking drunk. Oh, this one is, oh. um, this, this one that's on screen was he... The the mush the, after the mushroom thing. Yeah, he took mushrooms. Realized, and then he realized oh, that, life yeah. was a yeah. lot <laughs> more difficult. Or, or... Oh, well, because there was two. There was two. There were, one of them is in the documentary, which was the first one. Then there's the second one. And after the second one, he made this really depressing video about like, oh, I've learned so much about myself and how bad I am. Oh man. Well, that's why you so know, much it's, changed. It's hard right? truths. It was well, yeah. A video to signal he's changing his ways. You know, the a thousand fucking video. Changed. No, nothing yeah. changed at all. <laughs> Again. Yeah, me and Boogie were talking the other day. And uh, I forgot what issue it was, but it was something related to the podcast. And he goes, you know, Nick, I'm improving a lot because like a month ago, I would be suicidal right now. So maybe it's me. Maybe it's the mushrooms. But like my whole uh, demeanor is better. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's great, Boogie. That's <laughs> we'll see about okay, that. Sure. <laughs> sure. No one believes you, Boogie, when you, when you say these words. Kidding. And I know I am, am fighting a compulsive urge. I know I'm fighting an addiction. I know I'm fighting against time. That's why you've got to address the mental side. you bought a quesadilla and a Baja Listen, yeah, but it's not enough to address the mental side. Isn't it enough that he's he's pointing it out? Is not enough? Come on. No, that's basically solving it. Yeah, you've got to do something actually about it before you even like. 
how how uh, he's pro i don't know where he went to get his his uh his his operation his, his uh, bypass. gastric bypass but but if he, if he was actually genuinely serious about about losing weight i mean i'm going through a, a weight loss thing at the moment i'm down like 90 pounds Yo. excellent oh, work 30 weeks but that's in 30 weeks and and, and weight loss is is like 85 percent diet and 15 oh, percent exercise mm -hmm. It turns so, out that you yeah, have to if tackle you tackle the, the mental like aspect of your food, yeah, you have to tackle your food intake. You have to, to be very um, aware. If you don't want to demonize food, not a problem. But you, then you've got to to manage the amount of calories going in and understand well, uh, how when you're putting that many calories, how many calories is going to come out. Then, when you get to to a point where you start to lose weight through doing that organically. And you think that uh, you're in a you're in a position that you are yeah okay I'm I'm slightly winning, then you can start to discuss um, what if I have this done how will this help me, but, but it's it's such a mental thing the whole thing's such a mental thing it's it's like crypto there's no such thing as a get rich quick scheme and there's no such thing as a get thin quick scheme no you you have not. to put in the time you have to put in the the you have to get it sorted and he's he's both him and wings haven't. And that's why they've failed when they've had plenty of opportunities to. But he's but he wallowing like this is not this is what he wants. Well, yeah, I would this, this, I would almost prefer to see someone eating, you know, their fill and being like, I don't have a problem. Like I I can stop whatever I want. You know, like the fucking meme. I would rather that than having someone be like, I know exactly what the problem is, and uh, uh <laughs> you're all right. You're all just exactly oh, right. Yes, hundred percent. And then continues to eat. Even to not only do more. that, but then to, to spin the story of like, oh, well, here's all of the explanations and the reasons and the trauma behind the eating. It's like, dude, you like food. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the big you, you thing like about food. him that I, I think is ultimately true. He comes up with like all these crazy stories about all the reasons he uses food. It's like, it's his comfort thing, it's an addiction, it's psychologically the only thing that could take care of him. He makes him feel alive. So it's like, you just love the fucking taste, dude. You love food. Yeah, you like food. Well, you he's like, just hoping like... on one of the times he says it, you'll be like, oh, Okay, no, that makes sense. All okay, right, continue. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> it's like, the, no. The internet, I know I'm fighting against all of these things, and I'm losing. So I try to slip my ass back in denial as quickly as I can, so that I don't blow my fucking brains out. <laughs> all right. Oh, he says that shit all the time. It's just, yeah, yeah nobody buys any of it. I wonder how some of these shots were dug. It's like, is that actually Boogie? It probably is, right? Unless he hired a... I don't I hired a comparable is. fat man to, <laughs> to play video games. Hello, I will be your fat man for documentaries if you I need one. Sad, man. Yeah. I come with my own gaming setup. I can bring... Okay, one of the ways I can stay in denial is by stopping by and getting Taco Amazing. Bell tonight on the way home. That's not Boogie. I was going to say, it didn't it's look like Boogie. It looks different, yeah. Oh, okay. so I it can't is believe they faked a fat man. By, uh, yeah. well, Ridiculous. Is I that, mean, is he, that the stunt fat man? Oh, well, the stunt <laughs> double to put on the suit. <laughs> He's got to get out of the tub. <laughs> At least shoot him from the shoulders down. I guess I'm eating Taco Bell. I guess you are. I guess you, you are. You man, I'll, those sounds look so great, though. <laughs> just, oh yeah, the, he just said you enjoy. <laughs> he, he's he's now eating food that he doesn't even enjoy. Apparently, yeah. I'm kind of enjoying one thing about it right now. Oh. I'm super fucked up. You want to know what the one thing I'm don't enjoying believe about you it already? No, I don't. That it's so bad for me. He's oh, enjoying yeah, it okay. so bad yeah, for him. Uh, it's a little deviant. You say, buddy? I don't believe. Oh, why is that I in here? Sweat. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> 400 pound guys don't sweet shitty food. This is what 400 pound guys do. It's like as if it was some mystery to other people. It's like, I'm explaining it, look. <laughs> yes, we know you have a hose that's directly connected. Like, I try not to show you that. I try not to put uh, it on my videos. Sure? I try not Stop to eating. post it on my vlogs. But sometimes we eat shitty food. That's how we're 400 pounds. Sometimes. Like sometimes. Sometimes. More like all the time. It was, um, nice. when he was, like, after the surgery and, like, a few weeks after, I think, he started making videos where he was, like, avoiding showing any of the food and drink he was having. But every once in a while, people would spot cans of Mountain Dew or, 
you know, like empty packages <laughs> yeah, of fast yeah. food. No, and every time he'd be like, no, 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 no. It was just one. It was just the one thing. I didn't mean it. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Do you remember the video? Oh, fuck. It was so cringy. He was like, after the surgery, oh, after he'd done the yeah. dieting, he was walking through some, like, airport or train station. I don't remember. And he's like, he's got some Mountain Dew. Opens the, the thing, starts drinking, he goes, you know what? I don't even like the taste anymore. Just goes to a fucking trash can and just pulls it out and drops it in. It's like, yeah, what the fuck like, are you nice doing? Like, some, okay. some cleaner's gonna have yeah. a really bad day. <laughs> he was trying to do like a whole like, look how awesome I am. I've overcome Mountain Dew. <laughs> I've like, overcome and I'm really Mountain thinking about, oh wow, you just left like 600 milliliters of Mountain Dew sloshing around at the bottom of some It would be a standard a fucking bin. joke with the camera pads and the janitor's just looking at him like, why did you do that? You could have just <laughs> fucking, what do you, what, did you buy that just to throw it away like that? What's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> why? You don't understand, it was symbolic. God. Oh. Right. He's going on a journey. Trash. He's on a journey. <clears throat> Yeah, man. <laughs> you gonna appreciate the slow mo. Okay. <laughs> How do you, not you know what's great about you? this? I was thinking about having a snack tonight, and I just don't want to anymore. Yeah, no, somehow, no. somehow. Just, you know what? I'm fine. I'm mm. good. Yeah, I'm completely without an appetite. <laughs> Look at it. Right now, we're surpassing five restaurants. Okay, there's food at that gas station. <laughs> what am I to do? There are five restaurants. <laughs> Also, I know this is um the audio balancing ain't great when the music is this loud. You no, know? but it's maybe nice the music though. Maybe he's trying to save yeah. you from uh, what Boogie's saying. Well, because what is, is this dance God, God forbid he influences other fat people to be like, there are five restaurants, <laughs> DMV. That is true. Oh my god, <laughs> like, this is amazing. Supremes, couple of Doritos Locos tacos, and then a little cinnamon ball. He has like, all his baby. What is that? Dude, he's actually eating in the bot sub. He's in the bot sub. <laughs> oh my god! Do you think he has a little compartment in emergencies when he's in the bot? <laughs> no, like one of his folds. Like he, well, now I just imagine it's like a, a little a pad, you know, lifts up like a, it lifts up and then he enters in the code and then it opens up like the oh. hole in the wall to. No, no, he bends the head of the duck and the hole in the wall. Yeah, open. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the snacks there. A little secret compartment. <laughs> Someone in chat called him Lame Cartman. <laughs> he kind of, yeah. Kind of. Cartman's for the dessert. It, like, oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling self destructive, and maybe sometimes I would have taken that out. Oh, okay, on yep. And sometimes I would have taken that out on fucking. When I was a kid, self harm. Do you like the fact that this, this Taco Bell is making you fat? Mm, more than that, it's making me sick. So oh, go the rice cakes, the caramel rice cake. I didn't want to pause on that, okay? Imagine his neighbors cake. looking at us like, what the f is he? What Listen, is he, okay, what chat. I know you're going to be disappointed, but recording. this this time it ain't every frame of pause. We ain't doing that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> some some frames are a pause. Of pausing. <laughs> some frames every we ain't frame, fucking pausing. You puke. can't make us. You know, a little bit of butter, giant slab, 12 ounces of roast beef. I will try your fish tacos. Love, 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 love sugar. Oh, it I sounds like you should be Willy Wonka, Wonka, you know? The Willy Wonka of being fat. Sure, yeah. I know. Which is, that's just Willy Wonka. He runs a chocolate factory, Mahler. But he wasn't fat. That, that... It's more but he's the, the, Rex, didn't you the, see the movie? He was just like a rail. No, no, of being fat. You don't have to fat to be like the king of being fat. What? He makes so many people... He runs a chocolate factory. I said being people... fat, not the king of being... Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, the king of being fat. You don't he's have to be fat. fat to be Leave Willy Walker alone. <laughs> well, right. He enables... Good. <laughs> you misunderstood. Yeah. That's okay. I'm going to have a diary you. in the morning. I'm going to have a stomach ache tonight. Explain that one. Really Willy Wonka one. would be disappointed in Boogie. <laughs> be like, you've taken power and you've misused it. He would fail the first trial. <laughs> oh my <laughs> jump, god. No, he would I jump ahead first into that fucking chocolate lake. It <laughs> right in. Do I have any delusions? I'm gonna get healthier. And I'm gonna beat this fucking polycythemia shit. You no? Know? That shit's gonna kill me. Like, I, it's incurable. It's barely manageable. I'm gonna have a stroke or heart attack because I'm aware. Like I, I when I'm on my deathbed, the biggest regret I have I will ever have is knowing that I had a job that 
every person in the world would fucking kill for me. And I fucked it. That shit keeps me up at night. Clearly that's no, not something he's gotten over. I guess it would be tough yeah. to get over that. That would be a lot of therapy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you would think that if it keeps you up at night, like, that should be motivation to change and get back to something, maybe? Or... Well, right, he took that, and he went to food. So, that that's good, oh. I guess. And it hasn't solved What's anything. What's for the time before he was a YouTuber? You'd almost, well... <laughs> uh, <abuse>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shut up. Uh, it made sense, too. It all made sense. None of it was his fault, okay? Yeah. Jeez. That shit drives me a drink. <laughs> when someone says it drives you to drink, you think alcohol is like no hyper sugar. Yeah, that's what he means. Melted fuck, fucking yeah. sugar at this point would be his drink. Uh. <laughs> well, my real name is Steve Williams. Uh, I'm known online as Boogie. Steve Williams, wow, I'm really creative. There's Boogie. a lot of famous Steve Williamses, <laughs> and I'm not one of them, right? Uh, I started a YouTube yeah, channel you back are. in 2006. Right well, who's, at the very... who, who's a bigger Steve Williams? Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin. Who's a that, bigger that Steve Williams? Nice name. ass. No, no <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> uh, but, you know, of course, of course the, uh, there's a lot of, you know, the sure there's a lot of Steve Williams, but, uh, you know, that, that's, that's just being disingenuous. He's yeah. just playing down. Uh, there's, there's no need for that, that sort of thing there. It's, I don't... Mm, it, uh, it's always fishing for, for some sort of self-deprecation. He's got a similar character design here as uh, Kingpin in the, um, uh, the Spider-Verse. <laughs> oh yeah, where like, you look at him and then your brain tries to imagine the skeleton underneath and you can't quite do it? There's probably a mm. few in there. The beginning, and I got famous for comedy sketches as well as like life vlogs and, and just sharing my personal life with other people. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to 988 coming at my you. My ankle on my left leg and head. Um, but that's just the kind of woman I yeah, look at the house. Comment it's yeah, huge. Man, it's and the like, thing is, he doesn't... Oh, yeah, man, I, I, I'm worthless in this massive palace. He doesn't... Um... If, you make, if you make 280,000 views a video, you can live, like, how you want to live, basically. Yeah. You just choose. Which and, and look how at this place, like... How much do you say like... that phone? The house is worth again? Uh, uh, 100, 160, 160, 170, something like that. Uh, well, because the breakdown was that he, he said that the home equity was like $105,000. say breakdown, and you know we can't dance. And that the debt was uh, something like $168,000. But like the house itself, in terms of what you could sell it for, it's got to be higher than that. Yeah, it's like it's like got to be higher more than $500,000. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. At least half a million. Yeah, the thing well, that struck me was—I mean, um, this is Arkansas, but it uh, it'll sell for plenty. He uh he he only goes on the bottom floor, and I was like, I wonder how much of the second floor there even is, or I guess how what Anything, how many how, how much, much attic quote unquote room there is, you know? Maybe that's where the uh yeah, the maybe it's where the settlers live or yeah. the the borrowers, whoever whatever he calls the, the people who live in his house and don't pay for it. That's but, the duck room. The but ducks, you know, like the that. Ducks room. <laughs> <laughs> that portion above, like, the main part of the house, I'm just like, fuck, there's gotta be... There's, the like, a whole other house in there. <laughs> the attic? I'm just... I mean, that's a pretty big yeah, attic, you know? I'm just saying. Well, I yeah, mean, there is that as well, two cars. If it's a second story, then, I mean, you gotta pay to heat and cool the place. Exactly. Well, maybe so, one of those and cars... And square footage is gonna uh, factor into tax and stuff, so... Well, no, that's the point of... Maybe one of the cars is, and the other one is someone else's. Maybe, um, but this is where downsizing comes in. I guarantee he's using like fucking forty percent of this house at most. Which, if that's the case, and you're Why? so destitute and so in dire straits, like just downsize, no. sell a house, no, a smaller no, house, no. Put thirty thousand dollars in collectibles got to be scored is somewhere. <laughs> they got to go what somewhere. Wow, I don't know if I believe that. Have as much money as I used to make, and it's not exactly enough to make ends meet. Just this is where I spend six to eight hours a day. Trying to figure out how to save my career. Hey, I don't understand Bo that based on like the kinds of videos he makes. How it's like, ah, yes, this is an eight-hour-long endeavor. These videos, like, really. <laughs> the big problem he had, and it's uh, it's been covered by a couple of people, is just that he's got no identity left. He lost all of it, like gaming. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, gaming. Well, oh, gaming YouTube. That's a novel. <laughs> particularly interested in what Boogie has to say about the Game Awards, for instance. What has he got to add that you've never heard before? That's like a novel idea 
on the game awards and the nominees and what he expects by way of announcements. It's just not very... There's so many people who do that. What's his interesting take? Do you remember his era? The reality is... Hmm? Where his, his rap was sort of going down and he kept covering drama, be it like Leafy versus iDubs or whoever versus whoever, like H3 versus whoever. And I remember his fans were like, you're wholesome Mr. Nice Uncle Man. Don't, don't, don't get into drama. You don't need to do that. And he was like, oh, jeez, I was just trying to help. I was just... I was just trying to offer a perspective. Because, like, the videos would always be like, on one hand, I can totally see why the person says this. On the other, th that's, like, how he got, you know, the, the yeah, fence sitting there. Yeah, he used to the fence reputation, which was better than where he's at now. <laughs> but, yeah, that was way yes, better. Was but he didn't like that at all, either. Because it was like, how dare you? I have a perspective. I don't just say I don't, uh, you know, pr pretend I have one of them don't. Mm-hmm. Boogie 2988 And this is my quarter million dollar home no, no i no, i cannot no, believe no, no i just can't believe that with oh, the rate at which Please. houses have uh, appreciated in value over the last like five years i just well, don't I, understand I, I posted in in our little group chat here that's mm. his address right now that's the the zero. is it jeez of seven hundred and eight zestimate how accurate yeah. is this that's website a, that's a that sounds I mean, like it's a, a realtor lot, but mm, so, i absolutely believe it honestly I, well the I thing is i believe it that. Certainly, in like fucking Britain, like a place like that's no, gonna no, cost no. you a shit ton. Every country has gone has like gone up crazy over the last yeah. like five years yeah. with housing prices. Like Australia is super high, Canada is super high, and America's gone up really high. Britain's gone high. Like basically any Western country, like housing values have gone really high. I'm sure your neighbors quickly. are super stoked to be in this shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Boogie. <laughs> That's a big house, though. That's a big house. Oh. Boogie's a big guy. Yeah. So look at look at all these rooms that are just junk rooms where he throws shit into them. That's great. I bought Whoa. this place back in 2015. Um, yeah, and when you add that on, eight years of appreciation, mm -hmm. and plus mm -hmm. the amount that he would have already paid off, like there's no way that he's not. Like plus if he sold this house, COVID when everything like doubled. So that's what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. there's no way that this has an appreciation. Unless that's yeah, the logic I, he's referring to what it cost him to buy. Out that boogie lived there, so it depreciated. Um, yeah, but like, what's the point of referring to what it costs you to buy? Yeah, that, that like, was retarded. The market value like, now. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that just sounds like you're trying to do some sneaky numbers there. Be like, well, yeah, no, that's accurate. You know. sneaky, well, it's the same as the sneakiness of I lost this amount of money, but it was actually I gained, but then lost, and it was never. It was always a paper gain. It was never, mm. like, money that I actually had. Yeah. It's got pretty much all one floor, because I'm pretty anti-stairs. We still have... Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm yeah, anti-stairs. Okay. Like, okay, I'm, then. I'm, so I'm rip the rest of the house. It's a claptrap. There's this. Christmas <laughs> lights up in February. Don't turn them on, but they're there. On top of that, we Is have that Halloween boogie? decorations. Oh, he's okay. Just okay. Haven't <laughs> bothered. <laughs> <laughs> small small small. Small. I was just... I was worried that that was Boogie for a second, and they were... That's kind of great. Um, we don't really do a lot of yard maintenance until the housing authority gets on us in this area. We got five bedrooms. We got two and a half five. baths. Five. And uh, fuck? I have He's such a joy it. to live near. <laughs> Where he just has, like, he's always prepared for the Halloween decorations. He never takes them down. With useless shit. And then my, my ex-wife asked me, buy me a nice house and we'll stay in Northwest Arkansas forever. Ah, so it's her so fault, is it? Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, See, it wasn't, it wasn't him. For it. Yeah. Uh, the house yeah. she and I picked, and I don't know. I just refuse to move out of it at this point. I just refuse the, to move out And there's the truth. Well, all That's right, it right there. there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. despite all logic, it's like, I refuse. Like, okay, well. Uh, all right. right. Well, well then <laughs> fucking die, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> like, man. GG, everybody. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now, as we come in, be prepared to be assaulted by dogs, okay? Beware of dogs. Beware of dogs. Stop it. Hi, puppies. <laughs> um, see, oh. get it? He subverted your expectations. That little, that little doggo is not Yeah, but we, we saw the we dogs saw in the beginning, so. Look at, all this stuff. <laughs> Look at all of this stuff. Look at all those amiibos. Aren't they like 30 bucks each? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Do you know there is there is real teeth in that? Yes, that's before the dentures. What? Oh, that's yeah. Oh, that's... yeah, 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 yeah. See, the, 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 everyone's learning Boogie Lord today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that song that. I really didn't need to know those Mewfly. Thanks. Well, you know, there's this little... F I don't gonna call them no, fun you, facts. I just lost the precious childhood memory and replaced it with this. Oh. So. <laughs> awesome. It'll make you a better person, I swear. I don't think so. It's miserable. Uh, better. I love this place. It's not yeah, a I place I ever thought it. I would live in. I like, I'm so... <laughs> what an image. Nah, <laughs> yeah, look at all this stuff. The marshmallow man. Yeah, that <laughs> wouldn't have been huge front room. Front by the way. That's huge. You have yeah. so many containers for food. I guess I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's just like to see him as a PS5. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Contain what? Do you think the containers on the right are containers for food? What else I think Rags and I on, on the, on the left. Frame, frame ahead. On the left? What am I? Oh, yeah. maybe you are. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 I have like... a frame in the kitchen. Ah, oh, oh, here, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we are. Now I understand. That could be assorted materials, spices, you know, cooking stuff. It's 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 okay. It looks like cookies. I don't think he cooks a lot. I don't know. How did you figure that food. out? <laughs> I, know, I don't know. I just see him getting food all the time in this documentary. Yeah, I'm just surprised the fridge is so small. Yeah, wow. I have a bigger one, actually. <laughs> that looks like quite a big fridge. Not tall, but it looks big. What kind what of do you think the wide? percentage of his like gross income goes to Uber Eats? Just out of curiosity. Oh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. What I'm trying to say is, I would have thought you'd have a walk-in fridge. I'm surprised it's like a normal fridge. <laughs> a walk-in <laughs> fridge. Oh, <laughs> I get to live in a place like this. Probably Boogie have to has sell more food it in him than is in my whole fridge. Aww. <laughs> in the next year, uh, but for now, it's mine. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> what, I see something uh, like this, and it just spurs me on. On my oh yeah! On my journey, it just absolutely spurs me on. Oh yeah! Everyone can profit from a bad example. Man, yeah. it's just looking at all of these collectibles. All you just keep getting reminded is, dude, these aren't cheap. Like, and when you pile them all up together, how much do you think you could get from selling? He rated it of thirty k apparently, which I. Well, half these I... collectibles are just him. Who's gonna buy them? <laughs> <laughs> those, that's true. Pop it uh, on eBay. Statue of Boogie Two Nine Eight. You well, got to his girlfriend. Because one of the ones that he's got in the background is that Star Fox Zero one, which that ain't cheap. Like that one's not cheap if you want to get it. Mm -hmm. He does say later on that uh, you could uh, own yourself a bit of uh, boogie internet history. I think was the way that he describes. Uh, it. Yeah. Okay, so here's a space that I Detective hardly comics, ever show. Action comics. Yeah. yeah. How is it's, that on the it's wall? proof he's a nerd, like, as okay. Oh, they they're just plaques. They're they're not they're, actual yeah. comics. Yeah. They're just plaques. This is my private space, it's my lived-in space, but I'll show it to you. It's been on a handful of videos. It's also always messy, so no judging, no I judging. I mean, we've seen come on in. You could more clean up right. before people oh, show I've seen you in the bathtub. I, that was where the <laughs> magic happens. <laughs> but yeah. but he has just like a You'll gallon, a, a milk jug, or a water jug over there. I mean, Hopefully it's a fucking milk. <laughs> if he's not charging rent, I said so milk jug. In the house. Put them to work. Absolutely. Because, well, you know, stay stay for free. I'll feed you. But what you got to do is you got to keep the house tidy. You got to clean up the yard and put the garbage out. We do every see week. the the girlfriend mow the lawn later. So yeah, but wow. she's only she's only just moved in. What the fuck's the other guy been doing? Who's no been there for years? Idea. Maybe maybe this is some people the results. are just messy people. Some people are just slobs. Maybe this is the result of his work. It gets it gets way worse than this if uh, if he's not doing. If, if this is post cleanup, clean, cleaning your house is a great discipline as well to keep you disciplined. True. True. Mm. Yeah, yeah but you don't look at boogie and see discipline, do you? No, mm. a boogie screams discipline. The discipline <laughs> it takes to get out of that bed every no, uh... <laughs> day. The discipline to get out of that bathtub. That would be a speech in his Marvel movie. The, the discipline That's to fit himself enough. in his car. A lot of nerdy stuff. There's not a lot of gaming stuff. Well, there is. There, there, there was like... tons. We saw it in the previous image. Right, so well, in, no, no, no. In his lived in his, in his, oh, yeah. in his, oh, in his, his sleepy his room. Second, his second living space. Oh, yes. right, okay. <laughs> the one normal room that was free of all of that stuff. I also thought maybe I'd have a few women over and maybe they wouldn't Why would you look think at that? that man the whole time. Not, yeah. Wait, so how does that even make sense? Like, I wouldn't want the women to see all my gaming stuff. It's like, they have to go through the gaming rooms to get yeah. to the sex rooms. So how do I... Well, this <laughs> is all my roommates <laughs> go through Boogie. If, they, if they've accepted that they have to go through Boogie to get to sex, nothing will stop them. Yeah, well, yeah, the idea that he's like, oh, look at me and look at my life, you're probably worried about all the gaming memorabilia. It's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the big that's hurdle. The, that's the issue. Here, one of my more expensive collectibles, my CPAP machine, my BiPAP machine. If I don't sleep with this, 
there's a real chance I could die. So I have uh -oh. to fill this thing with water every night. And pop Look it how on. bad I have it. How but I'm well, fingers crossed. Is this sexy? But I'm approaching it with a sense of humor because that's my character. I know about Here's that machine because of the Nikocado the avocado. Sweet bathroom. <laughs> oh, right. fucking hell. That's the kind of thing, like, you can't go and be like, oh, well, I look at this video and it makes me feel better about myself and it pushes me towards my journey, because he'll be like, oh, thank God. Okay, if I could save one person from being like <laughs> yeah. me, then my death has meaning. It's like, no, that's not no. what you should take away from it. But you haven't, you, you haven't done that. You've, did, you've done nothing to facilitate that. <laughs> It'd be like, Sauron encourages me to be a good person. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> well... <laughs> I saw Hitler, and I thought I'd just be a good guy, you know? But he, and then Hitler was like, well, if I saved one person from being me, then that's okay. It's Boogie the... has never heard the phrase, the life you save could be your own. Oof. No, because, yeah, you'll do the, the thing, because what Nick was talking about is totally true. The fucking, the, the, the whole approach in all of his videos would be like, hopefully, you won't make my mistake, and I can mm -hmm. save you. It's like, shut the fuck up. What everyone gets really annoyed about is like, you could have 10 years ago, 20 years ago made the decision, but it, you could do it right now, still. And it's like, yeah, that's true, still. that's true, I could, that's true. Don't make my mistake. But I kind of <laughs> like how sick this all makes me, and I'm just gonna get Taco Bell today. Well, that's the thing, yeah. he'll have right. all the realizations that he go, but that chicken's real tasty, though. That's like, so good. Mm, you know what, chicken mm. is still tasty if you cook it healthily. Yeah, you, can, you can have healthy chicken. You can't cook anything healthful. Oh, the, or just, okay, or just reduce, yeah. reduce the portion. No, whoa, whoa, Matt, whoa, whoa now. Just eat less. I take that back. <laughs> yeah. Next you'll say, oh, whoa. have some greens. <laughs> have some tiger prawns. Mm, we get that. Uh, we get that. Yeah. No, we get that. Yeah, we get that. I'm never selling this house because of this fucking bathtub. I fit in this bathtub. There's not a house. Don't show me him again. God damn it. That has a tub big enough for. It's so funny to hear you all these quotes after like him Why talking about like chat? he can't sell it because there's people who depend on him. That's that's one of the arguments he makes uh, later on. It's like it's you keep saying you won't sell it just because of stuff like oh the bathtub's big enough to fit me. And, oh, uh, well, I mean, it's just, I like the house so much. It's such, it's so cozy. Well, it's because those are the real reasons. He just yeah. likes living in this massive palace. Dude, his and, dogs and are just, very particular where they sleep, all right? They just can't be, be honest. Moving. Just be honest. Say, look, you know, this is the, the one thing that I've earned that I'm really happy about. I want to try my damnedest to keep it at, at, at all costs. Just, just be just honest. Transplant it into the next house. Just take it with you. Yeah, you can have a smaller house with a big bath. It's possible. It's been done. But, or yeah, he that... could, or he could try and elevate his his own work ethic because he's not doing much particularly. Elevate his own work ethic to be able to hold on to it. The real money saver is to just go outside with a few buckets, pour them on you, and then there you go. There you go, Boogie. That's all you need. Arkansas, uh, it's plenty of rivers. Just jump in one of them. There you go. Got room for two. I did that with the phone. I know for a fact because I've had several other people in here with me. <laughs> so you want to see me oh, 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 oh. the best? all the ducklings. <laughs> Robot <laughs> ducklings don't <laughs> count as people. No, this is unfortunately <laughs> foreshadowing. Yes, it is. That's where it's going to be. Look at this. We have. Look at the size of that wardrobe. Of gaming t shirts. We've got. Binding of Isaac, more Binding of Isaac. We've got Boogie merch. We've Ooh. got Stranger Things. We have Daggerfall. I'm Who stranger owns in here than you, Boogie. A Daggerfall T-shirt. Probably plenty That's... of people. I imagine. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Look know. That it doesn't sound that it. special. This is what I mean. That that upper level. Like, I wonder how many rooms are in, or like how much stuff. It, it's got to be filled with toys, right? I, I imagine. <laughs> he no never idea. shows it. Maybe that's where his uh, his his dead bodies. You'll fall through the floor. <laughs> he's he's up there. Bodies. Dead body. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, right? So cool, right? So this is where the magic happens, and I don't mean, you know, Together. that kind of magic. Trust me, there's nothing happening in the bedroom. Um, but this is... You told me otherwise, oh, earlier. Get together once a week and we play our it's the team. Our favorite board games and play Dungeons and & Dragons and play Magic the Gathering. And if I'm honest, I think this is probably my favorite room in the house. So okay. this is the center of my universe right here. If I'm not Isn't that... in front of my... I do, I do. I, I, oh, you see, there, there's the caveat. Then never mind. 
the webcam. Well, if I'm not filming, well, it's just, you know, you know this is the take. center of my world. Oh, but oh. when I'm not actually working, it's just like, right. ah, yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, he's not exactly breaking the stereotype. It's him on a recliner chair in front of his TV. Like, yep, this is, yep. this is heaven to Watch me. Watch TV like, and play right. video games. Yeah. I want the recliner. I don't have space, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's good time. Why do you have so many couches? I get, does he have people all the time? Like, his is the party house and stuff, I guess? It looks like it. I mean, he says he gets those people around every week, and he then he pays for all their food as well, which comes yeah, that does come up dollars a week. And by the way, and... it's not that it's uh, bad at all to take joy in relaxation or playing games or whatever. It's the the fact that he's so easily able to say like, "This is the peak of my life," and it doesn't involve like anyone he loves. It doesn't involve sort of um, creation. Well, involve I don't believe what he's right, saying, though. I don't believe what he's saying. Uh, no, I, I totally believe that he loves this room. I was going to say, I, I can believe this part. Room, but I, I don't believe it's like the peak of his life or the center of his existence or anything like that. Well, um, would, I assume I then, would your take be that the peak of his life is when he has people admiring him and stuff? Well, we, we know that l later on, or whenever it's edited in, he talks about how the TV's the only escape that he has. And you can see from this image, he has uh, machines, he's got pinball, arcade machines, he's got video game consoles, video games... PC, he can do it. He has so much to entertain himself here. His bath, if he just wants to chill and relax. So, so to say that the TV, oh, this is the only thing that I have if I didn't well, have my TV. I can buy that he doesn't I, actually I, play no, those arcade I, machines. Yeah. I think exactly. it's kind of, well, he also didn't sell them. them. Those sell were them. given to him. But They're an aesthetic. No. They, they, yeah, they were review. Um, yeah, it's, it's aesthetic. Because he had like it's a strong deal with Arcade One Up or whatever, right? Yeah. No, I, I think he's kind of discussing, like, oh, this is where I do, like, my Dungeons & Dragons stuff. This is where he gets his real-world interaction with people who only come over because he pays them, basically. Again, though... Like, with food and shit. If he picked that he's as his... He's probably terrified uh... that he would have no friends if he didn't do that. It's the fact that they would be, like, compensated for it, but... Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's just that the kind of fascinating thing is that Boogie doesn't often talk about, like, the nature of his enjoyment of his work. You yeah. know, like the process of doing the work or creating things. Or what he's passionate just, about. I think he's not even about. clear on creative outlets. Well, it's, what it's his just, work is, exactly. Well, I don't I mean, think he you knows. Look at how much has his format evolved over the last, what, nearly 20 years? Not that long. Wait, 2006. So that's <laughs> uh, about 17 years. Like, how much has the, the format, how much has the creative process evolved over the 17 years? And it's like, Basically, not at all, really. It's still the same general idea. There's been not much of an evolution. Yeah. I mean, it's always been just him in front of the camera talking about talking. stuff, right? That's, if that's you all take all of us, all of us content creators here, and you look at our first video and then the last one we made, there's probably going to be a substantial difference mm. in the way that they look and their quality. Which or is generally the idea that you improve over time. Yeah, Boogie's <laughs> like, um, he's like Movie Bob. He hasn't changed at all. Oh, yeah. Movie Bob, at least, he fucking painted his door green in the handle. <laughs> That's what we so call the effort. Commitment. <laughs> it is effort. It is commitment to fucking painting a room of yours green. <laughs> Games. Uh, sometimes it's kind I of endearing that if, like, okay, I'm able to do the same thing this long and it's still successful, it's just that he's not. You know what I mean? Oh, well, uh, the, the, the direction I was going with that is that the impression that I get with him and his relationship with his work is that it is a pretty easy, and if it, it was, rather, a very quick and easy means of facilitating a very comfortable lifestyle, um, rather than like a thing that he was super invested in in terms oh. of like figuring out the best way to to like how to improve and to deliver better um, content to his audience. It was, He's it was the just guy. like, well, I can turn on the webcam, talk about my life, and then I got like a million views, and then I could spend the rest of the day basically doing yeah. whatever I want. Yeah, me doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy that thought he had imposter syndrome, and then he was like, oh, I was just an imposter. Like. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to put it. He just like, oh no, I'm just an imposter. <laughs> Sitting in this chair with my dogs in my lap, watching good shows on my giant television, playing video games on my PlayStation or my Xbox, and just enjoying being me. So this is kind of like a spillover Man, game. Playing space. games, oh, you enjoying yeah. being me. The thing is, like each of these, man, that got to be like what three thousand dollars at least. No, they're like a lot of Jade one ups. No, those are like yeah, Gen real. One machines. They're probably like worth two hundred dollars each. Damn. Really? Oh, oh, wasn't yeah. he yeah. talking about how he could lose oh. this house? Oh, okay. Wow, they're actually not worth that much at all. No, no, you can buy them real cheap. 
Oh, the, the wow. quartering okay. owns like fifty of these things, I think. <laughs> oh well, then okay. Well, then I guess. I mean, even then, I guess. Oh, so you get like a thousand bucks for all this. Well, at that yeah, point, you'd be like, I'd rather keep it but, for the but aesthetic. But most of them were given yeah, to him okay. from the company. So, like, he had a deal with Arcade went up, and they sent him at least four of them. I thought Arcade machines cost a lot of money. They're not really no, it's well, a these home Arcade machine. Consider yeah. that they're basically oh, yeah. the recreation the so. inside. And, oh, you know. I see. I see. Okay. It's like cheap plywood, and like, yeah. it, it's mm -hmm. a, oh, well, then like he, a then cheap he'll, LCD he'll screen. Get rid of these, then. He'll never get yeah. rid of these. They're really he'll light. You could pick them up with, like, a couple of fingers. They're super, super janky. Okay, but like the real arcade machines, like if you got the real ones that were from the arcade back in the day, those would be like I'm sure they were older. Yeah. And they're Two, three thousand. Like yeah, okay, they could okay, be a bit okay, pricey. I get you. I understand. Pinball machines always... are like ten grand if he has any of those. Yeah, these things are playing magic, like, like Space Cadet. How much is Space Cadet? Because I've got a few copies of that lying around. Uh, not sure. <laughs> you don't think? Okay, it's probably worth a whole lot because it's a famous one. It's really famous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Games playing here. We have all of these arcade machines. These were given to me by the company that makes the given? arcade one up. And For review, this yeah. This was made, given to me by the company that I think makes he had, them. Remember, oh, so he, he, he was in really good standing once upon a time to the point where we get a lot oh, of yeah, free stuff. Like all That's the sponsors, right, yeah. he got so much stuff. And even he... having gotten free stuff, he still bought lots of stuff. Remember, he too. did um, he did like Loot Crate and all those nerd box yes. or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That, that know, all it's, went it's under. Hard to, it's hard well, to think we, about it. Don't forget, it, but he, was, uh, he was one of the early adopters of Quib Gift uh, <laughs> way back in the day. To be fair, we were, we were all adopters of You don't know about Quib Gift? Yo, Quib Gift, that. man. You should look you it up. You should look up Quib Gift. Quib Gift is fucking amazing. If you guys haven't tried I'd Quib describe Gift it as fire. Subscribed, Peak fire. It is fire. I don't know if you're being serious or not. Fire. Uh, yeah, have you have you literally never heard of Quib Gift? I mean, I have no, no idea what this is. What, That's no. insane. Me. There's no way you haven't heard of it. No, I haven't you're heard like of it. In, you're gassing. like a gamer in this space, and you haven't heard of Quib Gift. That's nuts. You're gaslighting right now, aren't you? Nothing even comes up. How do you spell? How do you spell it? Yeah, right. So how do you spell it? Yes. Nothing to Q W I B. W. Uh, okay. Yeah, there you Q go. Yeah, Q W I B Quib Gift right. G I F T. Yeah, okay, okay. it should pop up. Yep, there we go. Um, quib, Quib, Go oh, Quib. What's what the fuck? What? <laughs> Isn't that ironically pretty funny? Smaller. I made fake websites. What? How can they... I made a quip gift website. What are you talking? Like, like, no, that's, that's not really fake. Nice. That's quip. How can it be a fake website if you're fucking there? Yes, you're. Well, I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. Oh, <laughs> just, like, quip, look, just look for a quip gift, and you can see all the things that they have inside believe. that you get every month delivered to your I, door. I, type, I, type I it in it, the chat. Type it. I in the swallowed the 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 whole nah, thing. bro, we're the being fucked with. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't eat anything that comes out of Quib Gift. I don't know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> this is my fault. I made the mistake here. Quib Gift is an incredible service. Nerd and generally human focused item human that gives you many focused. amazing things. Uh huh. By the way, chat. Did Logan I can. Paul join the chat. We can now tell who the old and new EFAB fans are. <laughs> like, so there's a big old lie between them. <laughs> and they were all review units. I'm not really attached to them. I think they look cool, but I don't really ever play them or anything. There you go. See. Wow. Yeah. This is they this is not a room them. for his enjoyment. It's just a room to look like. Look, I'm a nerd. They, look at me. The thing is, he Which probably like, hasn't, that's hasn't okay even checked how much they are worth. Afford it. If yeah, you yeah, want to get a bunch of arcade machines part. to be like part of an, oh, I wasn't talking about that. Aesthetic. It was just as talking about how like he's clearly got loads of outlets. Like I think that TV is his like primary. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. He, he would love playing video games, watching TV. Yeah, that would. And be it's the not main even one. about affording it. He literally could just sell all these. He didn't even pay yeah. for them. He doesn't even like them. Well, <laughs> the crazy <laughs> part is there are several sticks. shots in this fucking thing where they're all on. He doesn't play them. Yeah, which is yeah. all electricity. And then complains about his that, fucking bills. Were, I wonder if they were just on for that shot in the documentary, because the well, other times I've seen them in this one, they were all off, so I don't know. As a regular Boogie mm -hmm. enjoyer, uh, he's, um, he's often had them on in the background. No one who oh, enjoys okay. Boogie is regular. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I'm, I think these are some of the first Boogie things to go, but I think this room looks cool. There you I, go. I don't use uh, it ever, you know. but yeah. I think it looks cool. Yeah, so this is where I filmed my, um... <laughs> This is where I filmed my Please Help Me. The iconic, the iconic, iconic. video. The iconic oh, yeah. video. God. This is Give like fucking money. Abbey Road right here. Well, because, yeah, this is where he filmed. <laughs> 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 a little helpful video in the bottom right. 
<laughs> oh. e-begging video where I explain. E e that is what e-begging e is. Oh, did you make the quotes? It is. That's what it was. You were e-begging. You were e you were electronically begging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that I was going broke and that I didn't want to lose my house and I didn't want to lose my my career and I wanted yeah, to keep see, doing what this, I do. Dude, it's just like the oh yeah, where I e-begged where I didn't want to lose my life and you know my house and my everything like and everything. Was Welcome to the mind, world you know? of begging, like, where people beg because they yeah. need things. Nah. Yeah, it's just the way that he spins it, though, where it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, people yeah. got so mad at me for e-begging when all I was doing was doing something reasonable, which was looking out for myself. Yeah, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting at, is that, that here he's trying point. to yeah. explain it away, and then he just describes begging. All I wanted was money for no work. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know why that would no make anyone upset. Services. Oh, well, then again, I think his thing was like, oh, well, I'm going to make some more videos for members or something. That that was part of the pitch. For a living. I didn't want to be YouTube Boogie 298, and I just wanted to be, I just wanted to appeal to people as me, so I wanted to get away. <laughs> the problem is you don't appeal to anybody, that's like the whole issue. <laughs> the problem is people <laughs> thought Boogie was him. Yeah, yeah, is that too? Yeah. Do you remember back in the day he would just say like straight up, there's me, and then there's YouTube me, and then there's Twitch me, and then there's Twitter me, and it was like... Oh. What? Oh, that's a lot of use. <laughs> so oh, yeah. But how are they all shit? Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> could have been that's one good one. You think you'd strike out and one of them would be pretty neat, but they're all shit. They're all Wait, bad. Well, it was because each of them had like a different angle. The the Twitter one was always searching for like the take that could get everybody to tell him how great he was. The most middle of the road, easiest kind of perspective ever on any given topic. And then obviously mm -hmm. the Twitch one was, that's a lot of money for a person of color. <laughs> <laughs> that was that Twitch Jeez. Uh, I don't think, um, I don't think it made it into the dark. That clip does, but there's that other clip that's possibly the favorite for me is the, um, uh, at least, uh, you know, like when you have, when you have oh, trolls right, right, on the right. internet who are mean and they just want to take you down, you know, they're the worst, the lowest of the low. They're not like Nazis and rapists who actually believe in something. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> that clip was fucking <laughs> glorious. What the fuck? <laughs> but they don't include that in this talk. They should have. From oh. my set, I wanted to get away from the web camera. I wanted to film it on a real camera. You wanted and... to get away from all of the expensive shit in your house. Yeah. 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 Everyone, everyone yeah. saw right through it. Why is he like, oh, I wanted to be real by like, coming outside with my real camera? That's why. That's why I did it. I wanted... yep. Surely, yeah. I didn't want to film it on my uh, low-costing webcam. I wanted to film it on my very expensive. Because <laughs> imagine it like uh, th there's no world where imagine if he filmed it like in his front yard with all of his most expensive stuff strewn out on the lawn <laughs> with a clear view of this massive house. It's like, guys, I need help. Okay, I need help. <laughs> Films it from the bathtub, surrounded by rubber ducks. This is my inventory. Oh, yeah. Okay, that would have been odd. Going into the kitchen. The kitchen's always pretty junked up. We're two bachelors, so don't judge us too much. I love this kitchen. It's two hard bachelors. to stand long. Is he both of them? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's, well, it's, this is the mystery other guy that he mentions every once in a while who we never see and lives in the upstairs, I guess. I look wouldn't want to be oh, on camera. Wow, okay. Would you want to be on camera? Like, look, even yeah. in the kitchen, there's I like want some... to be on the dark, sad life of Boogie Two. <laughs> Imagine yeah. being the tumor on the side of the dark life of Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even, even in the kitchen, there's like a video game Breath of the Wild thing in the background. Like it's shit everywhere. Slimers, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yeah. slimers dangling down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crack exposed. Why does right he look like a testicles? <laughs> Why not? Why not? It does. Look at it. It looks like yeah. either a balls or is bottom. They've oh, just got, like, bottom. folded up cardboard boxes on top of what are the covers there. Maybe it's there? contextual. Maybe mm. if, like, that was hanging down and below Shrek's penis, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that's not a butt, that's just his testicles. Yeah, that makes because sense. Because that's, you know, where it's content, yeah, but, you know. ...enough to cook in it, but we cook in it probably every day at least one meal. Uh -huh. I don't believe uh, you. I literally <laughs> don't believe you. Even, yeah. dude, <laughs> even Boogie <laughs> wasn't convinced. Boogie. Do you see that? I he was like, I uh... know what the lie is. That's just a lie. I mean, since I've been losing money, we eat all our meals out of here, if I'm being honest with you, we don't really eat out anymore. We cook a lot. That's whole- that's horseshit! You yeah. should have been- you put the- we saw the Baja Blast! Him. <laughs> we just saw him talking about that's what he does, just goes around yeah. to this- this. I can't- Well, that, it's, it's in the documentary. Yes. yes! It's in the documentary of him going to Taco Bell to get some food. Oh, and and I magic cards. 
and all the snack what you cook all your own snacks to put in your food containers is that what you do <laughs> look no you don't no you're a liar and we all know that you're lying why did you bother well did That's you see how real mystery why did you bother sometimes it's fascinating to see how his brain works he was like uh, yeah we do a lot of cooking in here and then his head was like shit i should probably say we only do because i shouldn't be saying like we're getting fast food because that shit's expensive uh yeah we mostly do all of our cooking in here now actually because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's really yeah. boogie I would love what to go that? on a grocery store adventure with you just to watch and see what you buy and put in that cart and bring home. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been Ooh, yeah, yeah, that, that would have would been, been cool. that in the fucking video. That's Dude, what you should have done. The Mike camera following him wanna... through the supermarket. Yeah. He's just constantly looking back at the camera like he's still... <laughs> <laughs> and then, well, I, I guess the funny doing, thing buddy? would be if you presented it unedited, you presented the whole thing, how much time is spent in like the ice cream aisle, <laughs> the chips, the soft drink aisle, no, no, like it'll all be, of those be aisles better. compared to just... Yeah? It'll, it'll be even better. better because you'll be like 100% like aware that he's never been in these aisles before. <laughs> like he'll be like, oh, so yeah. where, where is yeah, that? Like, oh, look at these fresh carrots. Mm, yeah, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's because insane. everyone, when the they, that way. you can tell because people who go to the store, like normal people who go to the grocery store, they have like basically like a path, a pattern yeah, that they kind of yeah. know to take. I swing, I go to the right. And then I pick up some sodas and the milk and you know the eggs, and then I go over here and maybe if I want Which some beers, which is fucking I can annoying when they the change way. something that's part of your pattern. Yeah, I oh, know. I hate Jeez, that. that's the struggle. Shit. You wouldn't they know about that. They change where things are, and then you're like, why the fuck isn't the produce by the thing anymore? And now where's the weekly deal aisle? What do you mean they move the Asian sauces to their own section instead of just putting it inside of the? Da, 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 da. It's <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. This is part of adulthood. Yeah. Yeah. And then Boogie would be like, oh my god, they have like loads of cheese in its own section. That's crazy. Oh my god. I should have well, gone here earlier. An entire, yeah. More yeah, cheese than even I could eat. The fridge. I know you probably want to at least take a look into the fridge. Oh, we have our of diet course. sodas. Mm -hmm. Here we, go. Uh, we, we only go cook if there's nothing there. but takeout. I was about to we're say, look at all the takeout there. evidence. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. yeah. Man, why, why does that have to be Mountain Dew? Couldn't it have been Coke? Why does that have to be Mountain Dew? <laughs> so, I don't know. Mountain, Dew's Mountain Dew is like the fat Mountain guy Dew drink. Mountain Dew is like the meme fat guy gamer drink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, because Mountain Dew thing. has the taste that gamers crave. I think that's right. It's the gamer fuel. Wait, the... didn't he try Maybe to say that he roommate. can only drink Mountain Dew now? Because it's the only thing that like, uh, it's the only works thing that gives him joy life. Bypass? There's a Dr. Pepper in the back, so... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> never mind then. Again, maybe that's the roommate. There's a reason why it's in the back. It reminds him of the hospital. There's a lot of food in this fridge. Oh, yeah. There is a lot of food in his fridge. I couldn't eat all that. It would go bad before I could get to it. Oh, easy. But again, where's I, all I the raw meat, meat, you know? Well, where's this is today's food. Cooking. You're right, where is the raw meat? <laughs> oh, God. Where's, like, your, where's your pack of... Maybe it's in the freezer, you know, like, actually. Pork loins, or... Maybe, maybe he puts it in the freezer. Maybe. Maybe. For Forgetting, that's they strange, just did though. an entire supercut of them going oh, to, like, 17 the different world. restaurants. Yeah. It's even oh. more Mountain Dew smashed up. Seriously, there. the Mountain Dew is like. You'd think he just like, has like. It looks like it's open. Tasks of it. Can you at least yeah, bread the juice? Open, yeah. oh, the, 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 if you Why? want a soda so bad, this zero you, you can drink. Those are I'm way better crazy, than right? just going all of it. Uh... Those cans look open to me. Yeah, but they look they? open. Maybe oh, no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe the. Yeah, the. Oh, there's the tabs. Oh, I'm looking at the tabs. Yeah. Nothing's off the table in Boogie's world. <laughs> if we were stacking empty Mountain Dews in the fridge for some reason. <laughs> I say that over here. There like we, we didn't cover that tweet where Movie black. Bob was angry because Holy his show. can pyramid got knocked over by the wind or something. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Nate, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. On my <laughs> We've got our condiment selection, and we even have like look. I love a wedge salad. I do. <laughs> do you? Okay. Who are you trying no, to convince, no, buddy? I love a wedge salad. We okay, but it would clearly food. just be so only do, lettuce, right? I, There's no other I know it's poison there. This is literal a bucket of chemicals that I pour into my face three times a day. Then don't. Right. Three times. Just don't buy it. it. Wow. Just don't only buy three it. Three times, huh? When you're at the store and you see it, just don't. Pay money for it. Just leave go, it there go for other people. Those waters at the bottom. Let some go. other people in Fayetteville have the chance at the Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> he's draining all of the if Mountain Dew. If his housemate was encouraging, then then they can maybe get into better habits. But it looks like they're both enabling each other. Mm. 
I thought you guys were all ignoring me, but it turns out my mic's been off for a while. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I was like, but I'm so I'm so funny. We're like, no, no, we can hear you. <laughs> Last time I remember you talking was Quib Gift, and after that, That's, it was that was a while ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like... shame. I know I shouldn't. See, well, then well, then don't. Don't. That's all he does. It is pretty. It is pretty funny. I know I shouldn't. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> God, idiot! This is my spare bathroom. Oh, or is my L1 <laughs> I for when I shit up the first <laughs> <laughs> called it the bat throne because it's home decorated <laughs> in kitty versions of wow. Batman stuff. You got the Batman towel hanger, the Batman shower curtain, the oh, Batman God. light. Wait, switch, go back for a Batman. second. They moved it between the shots, but there was a Mountain Dew sitting right on the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is emergency Mountain Dew that's in each room. <laughs> next to the toilet, for toilet, oh. extra toilet paper, extra Mountain Dew. There you go. Vern it's like yeah, now, how, now how an old lady funnier. might have a life alert or something, yeah. I, I now find it funnier if he punches holes in the wall to get the Mountain Dew instead of it being like... <laughs> it's the closest apartment. distance between him and the Mountain Dew is through the wall. Exactly. And he punches the wall like it's a Minecraft ore, and then fucking Mountain Dew comes out. You know that if you open that <laughs> cupboard above the yeah, toilet, just open Mountain Dew just pour out. Open the Mountain Dew, yeah. <laughs> of Batman stuff. You got the Batman towel hanger, the Batman shower curtain, the Batman light switch, the Batman posters. Okay. I don't know why she liked Batman so much, but this is her bathroom because of how much it didn't remind her of you change <laughs> after we got divorced because Aww. dude he's been divorced for five years and he hasn't changed yeah. his wife's bathroom no. I, I, exactly that's mm. well he hasn't taken off his halloween decorations so yeah decorated it's nice to have this a little is, memory this of is not wife. this is not that strange by the looks <laughs> of it in the house but also i kind of like batman Oh, so you kind of like it as well. Okay, gotcha. How right. oh, weird yeah. is it that she yeah. likes this? I like it too. Cool no, it's because I don't bro. go over there and it doesn't bother me, so I don't do anything with it. I just leave it there because that's easier. Yeah. When I first started making a little bit of money, I wanted to have a house. Am I the only one who's just thinking, I, I need to go around to this house to clean it up? I just need to go around. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to touch none of this. <laughs> <laughs> this that brought me joy. So I bought all this shit. Uh, this it just already, you know, like, oh, it brings me joy Mountain to Mountain Dew body, body wash. Mountain Dew wash? Ew. Mountain Dew <laughs> body wash. That brings me joy. Brings That's me a joy, mean gift right? you give someone to tell them they're a loser. That's not something yeah, you that buy. Really, the ducks, that really does feel much, like in keeping with the marinating Mountain Dew. That's like, like a joke thing, right? It's but you can see I he's using it. it. It's being used. <laughs> it's clearly used. Body wash blast. Uh, I gotta Does it, it up, smell though. like Mountain Dew? Uh, it does, I surely, guess, right? Surely it smells like Mountain Dew. What's the point of a Mountain Dew body wash? Yeah, yeah, I guess the thing... Mountain it Dew has body to, wash? Well, yeah, there's no it was a limited edition it, thing. Limited yeah. edition. <laughs> I wonder why. The point is that it, if it doesn't smell like Mountain Dew, you're right, then what's the point? It has that has In order to have a point, it has to be the worst version of itself. <laughs> Joining. If I just say Rito's face wash. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> burns yeah. your eyes. So that was a... Nacho I... cheese moisturizer. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Body wash. Okay, this isn't actually a thing you can tell. No, no way. You should be okay. All right. Maybe okay, it's a... Never maybe mind. It has like maybe it has lotion in it, and the it's just like a fake, like just a bottle itself. Mm. It's like a joke, but you could put actual things uh -huh. in it. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not even kidding. Having seen this, I'm now just dusting my shelves. He's too... <laughs> <laughs> maybe, oh, here. maybe that's a snack for when he's in the shower. He can have the Mountain Dew <laughs> oh, body wash blast. If he just oh. needs a little shot of sugar and fizz, he could just throw a little bit, you know, a little bit on the outside, glunk, 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 a little bit on the inside, oh. you know? In and out, through and through. That's why you eat soap, so that you're clean on the inside, too, when you rub it on the outside. It's very... Ooh, it's, it. no. it's exfoliating. It's... it's <laughs> yeah. It opens up your pores. Exfoliating. Uh... Yeah. Joy is paying my medical bills, paying my mortgage, paying my rent, paying for water. That's what that's what it brings me joy now. No one's allowed to judge what they're about I'm to sorry, see. I'm sorry, I'm not. You agree nope. to this. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is a judge-free yeah. zone, dude. What is the opposite <laughs> of a judgment-free zone? Like it, like I guess a courtroom. Uh, but, like this is like a courtroom, I guess is the word. <laughs>
<laughs> the opposite of a judgment free zone is a courtroom. I it feels like every 30 seconds he has to preface like, oh, people are going to hate this. Or you be all no, this next hate. room. Yeah, it's just letting you know this next room sucks balls. So it's just going <laughs> to let you know. Even worse than the last. Like, yeah. Even the hallway that connects all the rooms is like, now wait. Don't judge me for this hallway. <laughs> yeah, don't step on the Beyblades because it's a mess in here. A lot of people think I'm a hoarder and they aren't entirely wrong see i told this you is one of those rooms where, like, after <laughs> oh, I got maybe the like bedroom room for a really long time Holy fuck. and then COVID happened and i stopped having house guests so sure. we just had to no. store stuff yeah that's when they left and this we just, just had to store stuff <laughs> you see no, wait, people don't come to my house because COVID? of COVID. you're like right <laughs> yeah. no it's because you're a fat loser and also, oh. the logic on this doesn't make much sense. Like, we, like, stuff just piled up during COVID, and so you couldn't throw it away. City services were still functioning. This is, and then let's, be, let's remember, he lives in Arkansas. Like, it wasn't like a lockdown, you know, you can't go anywhere, curfews, none of that shit. This was like Arkansas. Things were basically, they stayed pretty normal. The weirdest it got here was half capacity in restaurants now. Well... You don't understand his struggle. If he, you're right, I don't. <laughs> I don't really understand. This is my ex-wife's treadmill, and when she moved out... <laughs> a monument to his failure. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> the Surprise, this is so right. My voice, I'm a monument to all your sins. She's like, oh, Isn't it funny that everything is just thrown in in other rooms, but specifically the treadmill has like a blanket over it so he doesn't have to look at <laughs> it's it? It's a shade yeah, he blanket. He needs to clarify, yeah. like, this is not my treadmill, <laughs> by the way. This is my ex wife's I could never touch this. Why does he call it a treadmill? He just needs to call it what it is, a shitty shelf. Yep. <laughs> this is I'm my shitty shelf. Maybe you'll use it. Well, for the first couple of years, I did use it from time to time. <laughs> but eventually I, I did use it from I time to take time. my dogs out. For a walk. Oh, see, he's not using it because he walks with his dogs. That's why. Oh, like an oh, hour man. each day? Two hours? All right, an hour each. Yes. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> then the walk in one space. Spend an hour so each day ignoring it. <laughs> then get rid I of it! I don't know how to get it out of this room. I... He doesn't know how. What do, you, what do you mean? You can't do it. If I gave you a hundred fucking dollars to remove that from the room, you wouldn't be able to figure out how to do it. How about he gets all the Magic the Gathering people that he gets around every week and pays $150 for all their food and all their drink and says, guys, do you mind if mm -hmm. we just go and move this out? I don't think that would be an issue. I don't know how but we Yeah, got yeah. when the store. documentary guy comes in, he's like, oh, thank God someone's here. Can you help me move this treadmill? <laughs> yeah, before, let's can get you it out. But if somebody wants this and will give me literally anything for it, and can figure out how to get it the No, hell put it out, out on the house. street. Put it out on the street, you someone will it. take it. I Wait, he's like, I hate all these arcade machines. I'm kind of indifferent if they're here. Listen, guys, if anyone needs a treadmill, <laughs> and you can get this out of my house. <laughs> shit out of here. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, the vision of the treadmill disgusts me. I need it gone. How I need it. Is it a reminder of your wife? And no, I think a lot it's of a reminder of what I could do. I don't think everybody's really seen the foreground like what that I look lights. at every day. So that might That's be boogie. Shut up. No, in. it's not. Snorlax <laughs> is boogie. Snorlax yeah. is a to music in the Snorlax positive is, way. It's cozy. Snorlax is a cozy, friendly Pokemon. Snorlax achieved equilibrium. Yeah. He did. He's he got. He's probably. He probably does have inner peace. Now I'm imagining Snorlax in a like a in a monk's uh, garb, just sort of <laughs> sitting there. Boogie uh, could learn a lot from Snorlax. Yeah. Uh, here is my setup. Do you think Snorlax has a I house mean, filled with a bunch of like, useless crap? The PC for meta no. PCs, my sponsor, no. they really hooked up another fucking there. arcade else, machine. Like the mod yep. It's just kind of off the shelf. Snorlax uh, would sell this arcade monitor machines. as well. Here you're going to see a bunch of stuff that I've been selling on whatnot over the last Look year or so. Look at all of that stuff. It's not yeah. cheap. Like that Nathan Drake one, because you can't get, like a lot of these other ones that would have been pre-order bonuses, you you can't get them anymore, and they're expensive because of that. Like, um, stuff. no, why yeah, limited edition so, things, they go for a lot of money if How, you I, keep I them in good know. condition. Uncharted 4 statue. Uh, I wonder if that, yeah, I, man, all right, so the, the initial prices is already covered up is like $1,400. Damn. Uh, some of them are cheaper. Some of them are more expensive. It varies. But the point being, it's got value. Yeah. <laughs> and what's it doing for you right now?
just gathering dust. Remember, he doesn't care about them at, anymore. Look nice also he does. Ish. <laughs> is up for sale and up for auctions on the whatnot app yeah like um here's some what is that <laughs> ugly it's just ugly props and stuff that i've Hate used it. in the background but also um just some collectibles and things that i got from loot crate that i just never wanted to part with i really yes, like that's some free them, but it's oh nah, yeah okay. buy my so teeth buy my teeth <laughs> oh. <laughs> buy my teeth <laughs> in here oh. own a little piece of buggy no I've told the audience, I've told you guys, I've told everybody, this is the center of my world, right here. Ow. How? It's what kind of I... the looming question, isn't it? How? How do you keep fucking up your Ooh. financials so dramatically? They're just like, well, how maybe did, they're how, not as bad as he's it, saying. They're just supposed to look bad. How does it cost $7,800 a month? Yeah. How? Now, of course, you'd already be thinking medical, right? It's like, yeah, okay, sure. But even then, $8,000 a month? Jesus, I wish I made 5700 a month. Well, yeah, because that, that's the thing that everybody imagines <laughs> Holy already. Shit. Like, so $5,000 a month, you add that up, it's like, damn, man, you're like, that's pretty good for America. It's really good for Arkansas. No, I mean, yeah. It's really good yeah, for yeah. a person of color. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or is it not? I don't know, but I have a USB that's also <laughs> a gun. My dogs, watching television, playing video games on that television. But the other day... <laughs> The audio on this TV started to go oh. out, and oh, whenever no. it would make like S sounds, it would crackle. And so, which reminded I me of that. Rice we immediately went to Amazon fight. and bought a sound bar for a hundred bucks. You got to hear his and explanation. The, and the next day, the TV stopped crackling, oh. and now I have a hundred dollars sound bar. Return it. It's an open return. Yeah, it. return it. Easy. Nah. It's not even a difficult one. But I know I'm supposed to be budgeting right now, but because that's my TV, because that's my only yeah. source of entertainment, because it's the only yeah, thing there, I It's yeah. not the it's only what... one, you... No. no, no, you gotta understand, I had to buy it because it's the only thing that gives me joy in life, you know, it's the only thing that I have. Yeah. There's, al okay. there's always a reason for every single bad decision. <laughs> there's always some big rationale. It's not that he's a fucking okay. idiot, selfish moron. It's not, it's no. It's more than reason. One of the only things that bring me peace, like, I'm like, I have yeah, to be able see? to hear my fucking TV. I have to. But that's every addict, right? Like, Mitch Hedberg Why didn't you combine your, your love of your TV with your love of the bath? This is, he uh, actually thinks this makes him better, but it makes him so much worse when he's like, um, I need it. And he's like, see, and that's an addict's point of view, and that's what I have. You know, I understand It's that. the worst of both worlds, isn't it? Yeah. You know I understand better. my problems <laughs> completely, but whatever. But I don't, mm -hmm. Do enough heroin and then he like od on heroin right so i guess every addict tries to manage the addiction but i don't know man we were talking about compulsive spending a minute oh my look God. at all of those amiibos 30 bucks Jesus. each i remember selling uh, those things no, in the, the, really, the toy store the really <laughs> awkward part though is that he's taking them out of the box that means that they're uh they're um, worth less yeah, I was going to say, it unless it's that value, yeah. Are you saying that Boogie makes bad financial investment decisions? <laughs> well, the thing is, the problem but is, again, probably... like, if he if he was in a place where he was all sorted and all good, and then he yeah. wanted to accrue a bunch of Amiibos, I just can't fathom that he couldn't, like, buy his house outright, um, mm -hmm. like, with, with how long he was successful on YouTube. Like, that's crazy to me that he still got a mortgage. But the difficult thing, I think, for normal people, for regular people, uh, I've seen a guy who's who's claiming poverty while mm -hmm. <laughs> going around the huge house which yeah. most likely nobody will ever own in their lives, showing off the hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff that's been accrued and then says, can't make my ends meet. Yeah, because everybody who sees this was like on a budget or anything. It's like, oh, I could sell this, 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 and I can get around for probably all year because that's so much worth. <laughs> Whole house is an ode to consumerism. Um, yeah, it's, that's why it's wait, like he's said, seeing like, him beg. Ridiculous. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, because the idea of like I'm in dire straits. It's like I mean, you're not though, really. Um, you're just in a position where you can't, you can't just spend your money flippantly anymore and expect things to be okay. There's the a difference between that and like, oh, now I actually yeah. should probably budget versus I'm like living week to week. I'm uh, like paycheck to paycheck. I've got like this crippling amount of debt that's just piling on top. Like it's a very different kind of scenario. Yeah, it's not like um, 
I, if I don't, I literally do not have the funds to pay my my mortgage. It, it's I don't want to lose what I've accrued. Yes, and pay my mortgage, which is completely different because you're saying I want to keep everything that I've 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 frittered my money away on or I've invested in, whichever way you want to look at it. It it depends on who which angle you can take it from. But uh, at the same time, I need you to pay my rent or, or mortgage because of. I want to keep all this, and that's that's not always the lifestyle. Not gonna, yeah, it's mm -hmm. the it's a, it is a lifestyle thing. It's not a I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be um, uh, homeless. I'm not gonna have a roof over my head. It's not like that at all. Because we know that if he sells the house, he's, he could easily sell it for around four hundred fifty thousand, which means that he will have uh, only one hundred sixty thousand to pay off. Which means he'll have about two hundred ninety to three hundred thousand in equity from the house to, to either buy a new house. Or put a down payment on a smaller uh, property, so he, he can he can get out of it. He doesn't want to get out of it. He wants to maintain what he's got at everyone else's expense. And the way that you can do that without begging is working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's a novel. It's a novel concept. Also, but... working it's, it's to really... him like maximum effort. Have, have you seen it when he edits a video? It's basically like, look, I did a cut. Look how much work yeah, I've oh, done. Oh, look at that. I did a cut, I did a cut, and then I put I put a visual over when I was talking. I put I put Whoa. like a trailer for a video game. Or like and like he'll do that and then he'll be like, I've been yeah. editing a lot more lately and I've been enjoying it, I've been enjoying it, and then he just stops. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. Like, oh that's way more work. I don't I don't enjoy this anymore. It took me twelve seconds to download that trailer and then Srag it under the timeline. That was really tough. I need a it was the wrong format I gave up. That's <laughs> that's the uh, I need a Baja Blast to <laughs> reinvigorate me. Baja Blast these nuts. Yeah, I spent a lot of stuff on, on, a lot of money on stuff. But you know where a lot of the money went? Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God, this is now, now, let's get, now let's get to it. We've yeah. done the consumerism chapter. Now we're into a different kind of consumerism. Oh. No, and, yeah. like, it felt really compulsive at the time. Oh. Hookers! Uh -huh. One for me and one for my hooker. All right. So that number is just not real. Hundred thousand. Okay, good. Oh, Jesus. So this is why I didn't want to watch the documentary. <laughs> I found out ahead of it that that number is just completely fake. He's um. He's since revised it. Yes. Apparently it's like 70k what? now. He told Tom, that, uh, <laughs> Turkey Tom, that it was it was actually 70, but they said 200 to make it look better in the doc. Well, look worse in the documentary. Oh, okay, cool. So just <laughs> good old, better. just good old misinformation. Oh, nice. What the fuck, dude. Oh, thank, thank God it's only seventy oh, thousand yeah. dollars on women. Yeah. Well, if, if you're, if you're unaware, he said. also put like a kid through college for a year. <laughs> one of the hookers he was fucking. Oh. Are you kidding me? Mm. No. Wow. So I don't know if that's in the 70 grand. What a or... Chad. Yeah, maybe that's part of the... <laughs> Listen, you keep taking the dick. Your kid can go to all the classes he wants, okay? Look, like, I'm a good like, guy, right? I'm, uh, my yeah, I'm a generous I'm person, person okay? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh. I am a former sex worker escort, and Boogie2988 was one of my clients. It's like a JCS. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it sounded like. Jeez. It's so funny because you can't make jokes because it is the truth. You'd be like, oh, yeah. she doesn't even want to be known and seen. It's like, yes, yeah. that is true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you? Uh, I understand. Would I? <laughs> what the fuck would was I sleeping with Boogie? Yeah. I guess you didn't put my kids through college. Known? Yeah, if you had to sleep with Boogie intermittently to put your kid through college, would you do it? Oh. Hmm. That's a really interesting question. <laughs> no. We'll find another way, kids. We'll find another way. It takes a whole new meaning to indecent proposal. <laughs> <laughs> you should learn a trade. Uh... <laughs> Horrifying <Yeah>. disposal. <laughs> yeah. Let's become a plumber, sweetheart. From LA, and I get a message on this website. You can probably guess which one from this guy who looked a lot. Like I have Boogie. no idea what website. That I was on. No idea. I, I yeah, like no you no probably clue. know. <laughs> you just... Probably know. It's like, as a person who is not normally a hooker purchaser, um, I, I have no clue where one would go. Uh, if it... I was to buy a, a prostitute, which I can't in this state, but assuming I could, I don't even know where to begin. I'm like, I, I guess I'll just Google 
buy Booker.com. prostitutes. Wait, know. you just want to buy the person? Yeah. Are they, are they hinting? Are they hinting the contract? Yeah. Are they hinting, human traffic? Yeah. Are they hinting that it could be Tinder? I gotta assume it's OnlyFans. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Isn't it, like, I thought the point that we, we, we do find out what website it is, it's like a sugar daddy thing. Oh, oh is it? Oh. Yeah, okay. you, they do you show a website. I thought they might just well, get a random The problem one, with know. a website like that is that if you go there, you, you there's that voice in your head that says, oh, wait, you're sugar daddy, don't be here. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's right. I went to the site for sugar daddies, and here I am. <laughs> oh, man. That's the voice it you crush down, you right? Better, better buy a it girl. how little I know, and, uh, you know? I don't know. What well, you don't oh, understand is he, like, had right. to do it, because the, the hooker is the only thing that, like, let him feel, you know? Sure. I thought that was his TV. I just were. I thought that was the collectibles. I thought it was the TV. I thought it was the dust. It feels like we're getting some contradictory information here, Boogie. I thought it was his house. I thought it was his wife's bathroom. I don't know if it's real anymore. I thought it was the bathroom's en suite bathroom. I thought he. What about the Taco Bell? It's, he lives his life exclusively by vices, and then he just tries to be like, it's all my trauma, though. It's all what other people did to me. It's all, you know, you understand? Like, oh, I wish I could change, but I just can't. I'm so brutalized. You have to choose one. You can't just have and all of them. I took him out to fancy nice, man, dude, and I took him to, job. like, Disneyland and shit. I took him to Disneyland. <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, he's like, I want to go see Goofy, and the hook is like, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, as long as I get my money, I'll go anywhere, okay? Yeah. I, I, I took a hooker to Disneyland and all I got was this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I took a hooker to Disneyland and all I got was a blowjob. The, the hooker watching him, like, you know, play with Goofy, and he's like, my kid, college, my kid, school. It's, it's, <laughs> oh, it's important, I need this. He bought me dinner. He got me a purse that we were talking about over messages. Oh, a $1,000 oh, purse. Oh. Uh, I ain't dating no one who wants a $1,000 purse. Yeah, just get a Tesco bag, Jesus. <laughs> a couple gift cards. That was a very cheap. He spent well over 5000 on just that. Look at the, what? <laughs> <laughs> gift uh -huh. cards? What? You know the Light rules. Use. The rules are we're going to go it's out. Total and investment. That's an interesting <laughs> term. Investment. <laughs> well, <laughs> investing in. Pussy. It's like Shark Tank for hookers. <laughs> We're gonna have dinner. Maybe we're gonna fuck. And oh, no, maybe. maybe. <laughs> if I'm a hooker, there's no maybe. <laughs> there's no maybe. <laughs> maybe if I pay exorbitant amounts of money, she might fuck me. <laughs> Five grand. I'm doing all the stuff. The stuff, the stuff as well. Imagine, imagine he drops like eight grand. She's like, I don't fuck on the first date or whatever. Yeah. And just goes home. Yeah, drops the ten. They're in and bed. Then she, he's like, like, so are we gonna do it? And she's like, wait, there's a. I can say no. And he's like, well, no, no, no. We're done. Maybe next. There was time. no contract. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and you're gonna you. enjoy. A Nice. Also, listening to Boogie be like, maybe we'll fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah, isn't that exciting that we might have sex, lady nice. prostitute? <laughs> lifestyle that you don't normally get to enjoy. The lifestyle of having sex with hookers. So he was really yeah. funny. No, he's just having sex, I think. Yeah, I can definitely tell he was nervous. Um, <laughs> nervous. I don't know, the, the voice sounds funny. She does not want to get caught, yeah. okay? I wonder if she was oh, paid no, for this. The hooker? What, to, to oh, be for the documentary, I thought yeah, you meant yeah. for the, you know. No, we know he paid the hell, like, he, he got her a big old piss and everything. <laughs> Which was very unique. It's a Amazon it's gift not a revelation. Also. I like beautiful women. That's not the revelation. The white, the white <laughs> don't understand, like, that's well. just being straight. You're straight. Well, Good job. The way that he says it so indignantly as well, I, I don't get it, like... <laughs> Oh, we yeah, all, no, I, I like, like women. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> you fucking I think he, idiot. Um, people are just kind of baffled by the notion of spending tens of thousands of dollars <laughs> on it. It's and you might not even a fuck. that I like, but I don't like them that I'm not obsessed over it. I like beautiful I, women, but, like, pornography exists. What do you mean? This and is actual a, relationships. Yeah.
people like you. Not to keep comparing him to Sauron, but like, <laughs> um, <laughs> we're like, what the fuck is with you? What are you doing? And he's like, oh, okay. I, I like I like my country to have uh, you know a lot of prosperous elements to it. What? They go, well, oh, I want what's good for my people. Okay, yeah. Uh, sue me. I'm almost positive he made a video on this, so I don't think I'm leaking anything. But one time he was like gleefully telling me about the time he fucked a hooker that also fucked Logan Paul, <laughs> as if that was like a really awesome thing that happened. This to him. a but famous like, vagina. <laughs> it's a high profile. I'm losing so many child memories today. To <laughs> I should have worn my uh, my Doomer outfit, the, uh, the crusty around. dying <laughs> avatar. <laughs> yeah. I like to hang out with beautiful women. Fuck beautiful women. We all do. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would uh, like to do those no, things. Seventy thousand dollars at least. <laughs> if I we all love to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on hookers to put their kids through school. <laughs> That's what we all love. <laughs> we all want to do that. We all want to do that. Don't tell I me never... you haven't fantasized <laughs> about that. Got to do that. The women I dated were pretty, sure, but they were like Arkansas eights. <laughs> Whoa, not LA kids. <laughs> With sugar and what, what's I wrong with uh, as an Arkansan? What Arkansas. is wrong with an Arkansan eight? They're not we good have, enough, right? They're the goofy South. looking. They're not good enough for Boogie, all right? No, he deserved better than that. I deserve to have this. Yeah, that's what he said. Boogie's a rock star, okay? He deserves <laughs> the rock star lifestyle. Mm -hmm. yeah. that is, I, I take it's about time, to damn it. An Arkansas 8 isn't good enough for Boogie. An Arkansas 8 is an 8. He's a gamer, Rex. You know who you're That's dealing true. with? Gamers deserve an LA 10. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the narcissism coming Not through. Not a, a good, honest country girl. With, not, even, with not even sneaking a, a through. With personality it's and just, hot body. Yeah, well, yeah, not good enough. He and I think that's cool. Maybe if you were actually dating an Arkansas 8, she wouldn't be like, oh yeah, I need a $1,000 purse. <laughs> so, someone from crazy. Arkansas and Arkansan, is that yeah. the, uh, is that yeah, the terminology? Yeah, you're in Arkansas. Well, it's just, Arkansas is such an interesting name for a, because... It is, uh, like, it's a very it, interesting word, because it is a, the French, ver it's like the French version of an Algonquin word. Of course, right. yeah. Whereas I used to think it was just they put AR in front of Kansas. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't don't well. show this on scren. I don't know if you can, but fucking Mudahar's wife posted this on Twitter and it murdered me. All right, chat. We're gonna make a deal. I'm gonna show yeah. it for a couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone. I can, I can hear the super chats not happening. Remember when we talked about movies? <laughs> remember, remember. Coming through now. Yeah, this fuck these guys. I'm getting quib gift. <laughs> the better life path, yes. Uh, we got back to the hotel, and uh, I do regret to say that I slept with Boogie two ninety eight. Oh, <laughs> it's <laughs> sad, like I am guilty of the crime. I do regret to say. I'm sorry. I regret. <laughs> to all of my family really that I have disappointed. I think she's about to say something really funny if I remember this Yes, correctly. she is. Get call, yeah, get no. regret it. Here, here we go. Overall, the experience, and I don't mean to fat shame or anything, but there is rules <laughs> upon rules upon rules, and. <laughs> and you look pretty fat yourself, and that's you. That Not nearly sucks. as much, but that sucks I mean, no, you are. Right. Rags, you spoke over the line, you fuck. Over the line. This sucks so oh, much. Oh, oh, well, I thought we were here. Everyone loves beautiful <laughs> women, okay? Everyone wants to Hotel sleep with beautiful women. I'm blameless. Do you regret to say that I slept with Boogie 2988? Overall, the experience, and I don't mean to fat shame or anything, but there is hmm. rules upon rules upon rules, and it took me a lot of time to find a stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I mean, probably not really. If, if so, like, Raj, right, you saw you had several said, meat oh, aprons. If I someone gave it. me a hundred thousand dollars and said, I want you to find Boogie's dick in 10 seconds, she did I could fucking do it. You're a liar. You wouldn't have been able to get past the meat aprons. First off, I saw the documentary. I'm well acquainted with the landscape. All right. <laughs> well, I know. She, she hadn't no, seen the documentary I, before you finding. You don't start at the top and work your way down. You what just about... start it the way right down and then lift it up from there. Never mind the hundred thousand. What about the, the two and a half grand that she got? Two and a half grand to find Boogie's dick. 
<laughs> is that how much is a, a, a prostitute costs? Two and because I have I, this is like a world I don't know anything about. Is, is that typical? She got, she got a thousand dollar bag. And she got a five dollars in gift cards. They get like they get graded like trading cards. <laughs> oh, you're in Arkansas eight, so yeah, you've been graded. Here's your tag. They clip it on the ear like a cow, and then like, you... yeah, you're a. She didn't have a shovel rag. Dollars. How do you think the call for this went? Beach no, show. Boogie, I'm not filming a documentary with you. No, 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 we're actually doing something for YouTube. Yeah, come <laughs> oh, on. this is an investment. Think of all the subscribers. I'll buy you a purse. <laughs> I'll buy you a purse that's $1,000. I'll talk to you $2,500 you get for being an Arkansas eight. reasons I quit sex work. <laughs> yeah, she stopped sex work after Boogie, which is... Uh... You fucked me out of being a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, it helped to fund her nursing degree. So that's nice. And, and then Boogie at the end of it goes, Well, you know, if I got one girl out of the business of sex trade, I think I've done something real good with my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is like at the end of Avengers Endgame, when Pepper is at tone is by tony's side and she's like you can rest now she except it's her now. talking to her vagina you had a kid you put him through college you we no, have that's to a different Boogie girl to do it but you can rest now this is the nursing degree girl that's a different girl the one you're talking about oh god damn this is complicated guys <laughs> is, that is, sure. is that womanizing me sure i don't really care um, I'm a 48-year-old man. I never got to fuck You're a model. A year old person. Just let me fuck a couple of models. Is that wrong? What? No, I mean, that's not more money than your house. <laughs> I thought, it's so say. weird to open on the idea that he wasted so much of his money and then complains about being in poverty. And then he says, "Oh, okay, so I'm not allowed to like beautiful women." It's like, <laughs> no. That's that, what but... people are criticizing you about. <laughs> it's spending seventy thousand on them and then going, "Hey." Can you pay for my house, please? <laughs> Help please, me out. Pretty, please. I waste all my money I do on it outside hookers. so you can't see all my memorabilia. Fucking hookers and Bitcoin. He sounds like a meme. If you're spending that you're... kind of money on a woman, then you are then you need to be decades into a happy marriage. <laughs> like with children. You're like, yeah, I probably spent 70 grand on her. We have some of the women in this area that are local and ready all to go All women out. in your yeah. area are local, Boogie. Oh, there you go. The, the website is seekingarrangement.com. Oh. Seeking arrangement. Oh wow! Look at these Arkansas eights. Oh, <laughs> Dude, you better not use that site anymore. There's gonna be people posted up trying to get you know, you, something. They'll in there. go to a show with you. Maybe they'll come back to your place. But they are uh. expecting something in exchange. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, well, to me no now, kidding. I think I don't. I don't think prostitution is legal in this state. So we might have to be a bit mm. careful. Mm. I don't, I don't. I think that. Oh, is is it is it like um, is it like we're not prostitutes? We'll just hang out with you, yeah, and then you pay like, us yeah. for hanging oh, out with you. They um, dropped this wad of money over there. Oopsie. Oh. Here, you, like in the morning, I might leave you a stack of cash. Don't the pick it up, or you have to, to suck you my know, cock. So you can get a oh, oh, maybe that's where the gift cards come in because it's not an exchange of cash. Ah. Oh, it's like oh, Indian maybe, tech yeah. scammers yeah. who want you to get iTunes cards yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't redeem. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Do you, do you accept them. Ethereum? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that like gold? Gold nuggets, which is as good as money. I swear by Shiva. Other destroy you. meat market like <laughs> Tinder, you kind of scroll down the the list of photos until you find someone that looks interesting to you. None of them look I interesting. Think you want to fuck that? What about her? Looks interesting. It's a woman. Like she looks like good a, enough. She looks like a vampire's wife. What's interesting is that she will accept money to fuck him. Yeah, she's always down for always. Time. That's true. Always down. She said Thank always. You. Her words, not ours. Yeah. And plus, look, Christmas tree. She's religious. I like that. I like good values in a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she seems wholesome, sweet, and ready for a good time. Like she said. She looks like the, the, the Adams roll. family wife. Well, suck a gold all up a 12 foot hose yeah. yeah. That's at the end of the Slider. profile, but yeah. Slider, okay. right in. Really cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's definitely a little thicker than I necessarily would always oh, go for. Oh, don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You gotta, you gotta look at all those photos. You gotta look at those photos. Those angles oh from God. above that looked at. Mm, nope. Boogie's like, okay, I have my standards. You're I like, all right, Boogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little too thick. Okay. Too thick for me. 
So I deserve to go to Disneyland with a beautiful girl, right? No. I deserve to no. go to, to New no. York and explore Times I wouldn't Square wish that on my worst enemy. What are you talking <laughs> Boogie, about? How could you say <laughs> that? That was so cruel. <laughs> I want to go to Galaxy's Edge. Right? Like I it is funny that... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> let's go to Galaxy's Edge. No, Boogie, no. Please. We're gonna make a lightsaber. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna cost like fuck it. How much did that cost to make the lightsaber? One day, like my Bitcoin. Didn't uh, it cost like a over a hundred bucks? Yeah, it's That's ridiculous. So it. I deserve that, and oh, I want God. that, and I've never had it. I Even haven't I had, had it, so I deserve it. That, oh my God. Hey, wait, he, like I said, he's a gamer. He's been through it, man. Oh, so Boogie maybe he's a socialist. You know. I didn't know. A lot of people out there who've played games, you know, you deserve the, uh, the LA tens. Scarlett Johansson, I deserve to. <laughs> um, it's not how life works. I'm sure. Money back. That would be half of my mortgage right now. That would well, if it was two hundred thousand dollars, like the documentary said, that would be the entirety of your mortgage and then some, right? Yeah, but it's all fucking but all I the numbers are all over the place. The numbers aren't actually accurate, which I find yeah. baffling. Mm -hmm. Oh, but when a, so a huge, what's just the huge crux of the documentary is look at how poor he is, except all of the numbers are unreliable. Yeah. First, and and all of the visuals are unreliable. Yeah, and all the yep. backgrounds of every part of this fucking yeah. thing are filled with things he could sell. That's contradictory <laughs> to the message of ah yeah, no, I'm really struggling. I'm I'm poor. Right next to all of these Magic the Gathering is an expensive hobby, right? <laughs> like, it's yes, just, it uh, is. <laughs> the reasons I fucking quit. Your health insurance payment. Dude, every time he says he I deserves don't... it, I'm just picturing that clip of Willem Dafoe being like, Do you know how much I sack? <laughs> like... <laughs> Like well, the thing is, I think he's trying to present it now as like, and see, I was wrong, but nothing's changed in terms of the attitude of I, there's something I want that will give me some amount of short term satisfaction, be it food or some new item. And I'm going to buy it. Like, even though it's, it's kind of being presented as, ah, now I see that was stupid. It's like, nothing's changed though. Hmm. No. Yeah. The, the same personality that got him through all of that is what's unable to get him through anything else. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the, the only thing that is. changes is that at the end there's some fucking broken human being that's fucking stupid enough to be with him. Yeah, I mean, what's instead the of having 30 grand in the bank, he's got 30 grand in non-liquid assets. Crypto. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, in crypto. Oh, and collectibles. That's right. And collectibles. <laughs> Rubber ducks. <laughs> Listen, okay, Ethereum and collectibles are reliable. That's a safe I investment. Like, I like hookers because they make my Funko pop. <laughs> hey, God. Oh. Oh. Stop. It would be funky. And, and go to hell. Oh, it smells uh, funky, maybe. Yeah, it just, oh, the money that goes to the hookers, part, yeah. I hope they spend in good health. <laughs> Liar. You're pissed off. You wish you had that money. Yeah. I hope I fuck a hooker so bad she stops being a hooker. <laughs> That's <laughs> Mike. That's his heroic goal. All these, these poor women. He's trying to save them all. But you want to go for a walk? Now we're doing the wholesome part oh, of the okay. documentary. No. How anyway, now that the hooker dogs. section is done. <laughs> yeah, how, how often do these dogs I'm go for a walk, really? Time's over. Uh, Whenever see. Boogie wants to make a video, maybe. Whenever sometimes. he wants to make a video yeah. is when they go for a walk, yes. Look, no. they're so eager to go walking. <laughs> yeah, they barely ever go out, I that's why. I find the two juxtaposition, weeks. the juxtaposition is interesting of like a really big man with tiny dogs. You know? Yeah. They're so small. They're such this, little doggos. Yeah, you can, you know... Be... He said, I yeah. love you because you'll never leave me to these dogs. Oh, yes. Well, that's but like, these are the kinds of dogs that cannot survive on their own. These yeah. are, they're not the big dogs. Like yeah, no, big you think that, dogs. but then when you realize in the wild, they travel in packs of dozens at a time. And then all of a sudden, that's true. they're quite, they're really quite, you well, know, yeah, they're like the, uh, the little bitty dinosaurs at the beginning of uh, Jurassic Park 2. Hmm. Well, it's a, it's a little fun factoid, right? Because everybody thinks of the lion, right, as being king of the, like king of the savanna, really, not the jungle. But it's like, and yeah, that's true. But like hyenas, which are not dogs anyway, and African true. wild dogs are incredibly successful as like a species. They're incredibly competent and work together, and they take care of each other. That's right. Hyenas are great. Hyenas are cool, and so this are African podcast wild has a very dogs. firm stance on hyenas and their mistreatment by yeah. media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the, the Lion guys. King, look, right, the Lion King, I love that movie, but the amount of damage that that film has done to hyenas. Their reputation, yeah, it's <laughs> really... <laughs> there needs to be a documentary made by Mike Clem on that. Mm. What, the, the sad, dark life of hyena? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually really love him a lot. Actually, How far do they go? I, it's a weird choice of words, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, I actually, actually like love him. my dog.
I when you let your dog shit hurt. outside, there's no way you clean up after it, Boogie. There's no fucking way. You just let yeah, him poop wherever they want, no and it's yeah. not in your backyard. Yeah, but Mike was like, it. you gonna get that? He's like, yeah, yeah, uh, later. Yeah. I get them all once they're all done. Yeah. It's also mm. kind of a long leash. I don't know if anyone else noticed that. I don't know. You just mm. Wouldn't you want to like have them closer like to you? If... On a leash. Yeah. The one behind the tree is just like wandering around with that. Well, you gotta hope it doesn't... Like, this is the thing. It depends how well trained they are, I guess. Mm. So they're not. Absolutely. There's no way. No, yeah. There's no <laughs> yeah. way to train these dogs. You can get one Mountain Dew if you sit. <laughs> Imagine them bouncing like off the walls inside all day. Finally. In an attempt to make ends meet, Boogie is selling his possessions. Yeah, let's see what that looks let's like. Let's see. He sells his dogs. <laughs> selling off these because I've been playing Magic for 30 years. And they're the only thing that bring me joy oh, these sure. days. It's so interesting. <laughs> I, I, do, I do vaguely recall that there were a couple of videos when he was doing the, uh, when he was like, ah, see, now I've, I, have you heard of stoicism? Like he'd finally heard about that as like a philosophy. And yeah, it's like, yeah. well, clearly you didn't. It, clearly you didn't like absorb anything from any of that. <laughs> well, stoicism still, like, is one of the yeah. greatest joys in his life. It's one of the ones he has left. That's right. It is. Yeah. Have you have you heard of Marcus Aurelius? Oh man, what an interesting <laughs> lad he was. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just heard about it for the first time. And did you know? Did you know that how you feel about a situation is different from the situation itself? This is some mind blowing shit. I'm 49 years old, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know the thing and the concept of the thing aren't the same thing. Oh my god! Oh my god. It's, it's oh, just funny because he's just talking about these possessions as if they are like they are indispensable. Like he can't imagine life without them. It's like they're things, man. And yeah. you need money. Hey, <laughs> like, he, in money, this yeah. documentary, he comes to that realization at the end of it. Remember. Oh, spoiler alert. Well, <laughs> the, the problem, of, of course, as Freeze just explained, he's already had it before. He does this a lot. He has <laughs> yeah, like, the yeah, same yeah, revelation yeah, every time. Happens, yeah. History. I thought I was going to get buried with this stuff, not making enough, so we're going to go so to the what? game shop. So <laughs> the expenses. It's going to keep me in a house. You'll be bankrupt in uh, six months. Jesus! Time. Well, I mean, that, that's, that's not the case, though, right? No. Because this was filmed over the course of nine months, yeah. so... Yeah. And I, it's just, I don't even understand how it could be possible because every time that you're about to have no money, just sell some shit and then you'll be fine. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what this is trying to argue that he's doing now, but I still don't buy that he's actually hitting bankruptcy. Well, even in even in the way they show him do it is retarded. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the approach he does. I'm selling magic cards on whatnot. I'm selling collectibles on eBay. I'm selling arcade machines locally. I'll sell it all. You know, sell so you should be fucking swimming in it because collectibles <laughs> go away like nothing. You don't understand. He needed to live in debt for nine months just so this could come out and show you all the stuff he could sell. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he couldn't sell it before. He had to wait for the documentary to be, like to be released. I sell enough to be able to play Magic tonight because. I don't want people wondering why I'm not there. I don't. I deserve to play Magic tonight. I don't want people wondering why I'm not there. You need to buy new Magic cards. Listen, playing play Magic. Playing Magic. I can open my fucking drawer right now, get my Magic cards, and play them without buying new ones. You absolute cabbage. Buying, what are you talking about? Buying and playing Magic is one of the only joys he has left in his life. That's oh, right. Take that from him. Yeah. Boogie wouldn't be a cabbage. It's, he would it's be so like funny a... because. Mountain Dew lotion. The, oh, okay. The list, when it keeps growing and it's like, oh, the only thing that gives me joy is food, watching TV, playing video games, um, like <laughs> playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> like when you just keep adding wow. it all up, it's like, wow, well, man. it turns out he just, oh, yeah, yeah, he lives either. by advices. He just goes, this, he's, if anything, oh, yeah, he's, he's kind of normal. Of he's just lying he's about all of it. it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Knowing I'm broke, like that's embarrassing. I can't afford $30 to play Magic. So I'm spending thirty bucks. You're a that. big what logic that, is that. That's another problem. They that's know. another problem that he has. He should. He needs to watch like Dave Ramsey or something. But then he'd well, just be like, "No, but you don't understand. Appearing that I'm wealthier than I am is one of the few joys of my life." <laughs> yeah, but does he make sense? This is, he's putting this into a fucking documentary that's going to be seen by everybody who knows who he is. Like what? And, and he presumably, he presumably, yeah, exactly. It's like I don't want people to know that I'm poor, so I'm going to go play Magic: The Gathering, and then this documentary will come out, and they'll all understand the depths of my poverty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's just lying. He just wants to play magic. Yeah. yeah. Isn't there a thing later? I don't know if you have this uh, have it in here where he tells his friends like, "I can't buy you all this food anymore," and they're like, "Yeah, we don't care." We yeah, we don't. You don't, need we don't. Yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> the adventure is still. We're still in the early days of the yeah. adventure. I just don't know what is all in in this cut, I guess. Okay, so this month I need from you about a thousand dollars to make mortgage. <laughs> 
So I need this to guy's like, out, I don't like, care. <laughs> like, this guy again. And stuff like there's a couple of cradles in there. Mm -hmm. There's a city of traders in there. Do you like my button down well, shirt with Goku on it? Piece on those. What? <laughs> Dude, I thought we were looking more like 400, 450 on each of these. 170. That guy's just like, I know you're desperate, bud. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I actually know We've the market. We've done this rodeo so. before. <laughs> I presume that I presume you know, he's the guy who owns the business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he wants to make a profit. Or something. That's right. Five yeah. Also, with, with, with how I'm not here to fund your Mountain Dew addiction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the way the rest of this gun, I don't believe that this isn't scripted and set up to make it look even worse. I think it's scripted. Yeah. I, I agree yeah. with you. The guy I looked think. like he was kind of smicking, like he knows how this is supposed to yeah. look. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say I want to sell these two cards. You're going to give me this low ball price. I'm going to pretend to be shocked because I'm going to say, but they're actually worth this. And then people are going to feel sorry for me. Yeah, because uh, I'm a misery broker. Mm -hmm. Good took, lord, uh, that took a beating. Like that hooker. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 no, cards, no. Cards, no, just his ex-wife. Yeah. They're not going anywhere <laughs> but up. Okay. Oh. Oh, you say that, but the dual hands went down. I mean, yeah, all right. As long as I'm getting mortgage money, as long as I'm getting some cards every night, okay. You, you, do you, Look at Gengar judging him silently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then Pikachu's just enjoying the destruction. Yeah, it must I mean, be funny for, for for the guy who sold that too. It was like, oh, I need uh, that much for my mortgage, and then he goes back into the shop and just buys more magic cards. <laughs> 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 like, and the guy, the guy is like, wait, is this in the documentary too? Like, what? <laughs> what's... You weren't yeah, supposed to film down. that. You're <laughs> supposed to make me look good and relatable. Mm -hmm. You want to sell on until I come back in here because I'm not going to sell on anybody else for you. Okay. Did what? He, didn't just take, he didn't take them? So what he's done is he's th those are the selection he was going to sell from and that he eventually intends to just sell all of them to this guy anyway, so he just said, why don't you just hang on to them, and then I'll you know, we'll sort oh, out okay. selling them at some point. Just like, eh, I guess he can't be able to carry them back and forth. So right, just right. showed that gentleman that he's got no bargaining position whatsoever and the guy yeah. can now walk all over <laughs> yeah. with price. Well done. <laughs> That's, that's good but also, deal. like, why not just sell it now and then, I don't know, yeah. invest whatever money you get into some kind of appreciating asset or, you know, paying off the mortgage now so that you can lower the interest payments as well. What, Like, what's the point of just letting him have them and so then selling them later instead of just getting the money now? Oh, uh, yeah, well, yeah. Is Look at me. Why, I'm, why I'm, is I'm he poor. paying a middleman? Sorry for me. Pity me. Right, but, but why is he even paying a middleman? Oh, fast food. Oh, my God. Because yeah, so it's a lot faster and easier. Player. Okay, but he has six months of runway. Why is he even doing this? This is such well, yeah, and he didn't even stupidity. He looked like he was surprised by the current like sell value for the card at the time. Yeah. Like he didn't check all this before. Yeah, I, uh, I believe. I, 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 this is this is why it comes across as just all stage. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. he, he might be operating under the idea. Like maybe he did a casual Google search and that's what he thought it was. And he checked like two years ago. Maybe. Nice. Why are you <laughs> offering? Such explanations for this man, like because the Fap is a fair and balanced podcast. We are we. You're we being unfair. You're being biased equally. in favor of him. Stop. Okay. No, I am doing my best to. I let let it never be said that EFAP didn't try their hardest to make Boogie not look like quite such a loser. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> What's paying for this? Shit, you're paying me back. <laughs> no. <laughs> the cards that you just sold. Are See what I mean? Like it, it's just like, oh yeah, gotta, we 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 have to cook our own food to save money. Anyway, Taco Bell time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We all look the same in a game. There's shop. my Baja Blast. It's still fizzling. Oh, you can hear. All right, this is the part where he throws all of these people under the bus as well as losers. When it's like, no, come on, just come on. And he, on. as he walks in with his Mass Effect sweatshirt hoodie. Well, yeah, the well, just camera bad <laughs> following him around. You can bet all these people yeah. are like, oh, for fuck's sake, he's doing this shit yeah. again. Yeah, that don't hurt. He's, do he's doing the sympathy game again. Yeah, Here we, we go. We all look the same in a game shop. It's because we're fucking outcasts. We're gonna no, what do you mean outcasts? <laughs> These are yeah, just normal I mean. people, I, I just, Boogie. I find it really Gamers lame how they have got a it, hobby. He, yeah. He's like, well, I'm going to be self-deprecating, but I might as well drag all of these other people who are uninvolved into my yeah. deprecating yeah. Well, like, well, remark. None of them look like Fringy. You know what they say? A low tide... Um, lowers all boats. He's dragging <laughs> everyone down. It's true. 
You guys are saying that now, but you're not going to believe how much Red Hoodie Kid spent on hookers. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. It's like, why is this voiceover? Why isn't he just saying this as he walks into the room? It's like, probably because everyone will be like, what the fuck? Did you just, yeah, what, yeah. what, what yeah. is this? What did you say, you fucking loser? <laughs> Yeah, it's like this guy's like, I come here once a week with friends to have fun. I'm not you. <laughs> like, we're yeah. for fucking nerds. It's called a hobby. Town. We're Get fucking on. autistic as shit. We're all <laughs> Dude, he's like sitting next to an actual child. Like, he's like fucking 60 years old or something. Like, like, I've gone to. Like, I've gone to Friday Night Magic before I played it, and it's just normal people. You, This isn't the 70s, like, where playing D&D &D was, like, actually you have to do it in a cave, that was make new, sure no one sees you. Yeah. Like, most people play video games. Most people have hobbies. People know who Captain America is. You can't be like, oh, we're all just social outcasts here. And like, no, it, you're just normal. This is a normal thing. Yeah. This is the normal world. I you know, know, yeah, he would be like, we're all weird, party. right, guys? And they're all like, uh... But yeah. if, he, if he's normal people, how can he make himself try and come across as sympathetic and miserable? Oh, we're all, yeah, that's we're all losers. Like, we're all losers. <laughs> no, no. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Just one of them goes like, no, I actually have back. a job. It's like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if we just be like, oh, I'm happy here. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm here with my three friends. We come every Friday. You know, we have a good time. I yeah. And then the other guy next to him is like, I'm married. I have two children and I run yeah. a small business. <laughs> <laughs> they turn around. They're like, you know, the room didn't smell until you got here. So you yeah. know, okay, stand back. All right. Kids that you're sat next to, that's my son. And we come here and do a father-son bonding session every yep. Friday. It's a g back here and... I'm looking at all the shit I need to sell, mm. and I'm surrounded by all this shit. And why do you I'm still have it? For YouTube sell videos it. and stuff. Sell it. And it's hard to not oh, think yeah, about. Oh yeah, I got it for YouTube videos. Yeah. Mm. Well, see this this shelf here is is like passing a million oh, subs. That, story yeah. fire, oh, God, which is a story fire. That's a failed app. It's gone now, right? It's a defunct. Oh no 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 no! They oh so I don't know. This is like a leak or something. But fucking story fire is back. Uh, Net nobody sky does Minecraft runs it now. What? And they were trying to shoot like a video to explain how they finally offered um, the ability for creators to cash out because we, we didn't have that for like two years. We, we couldn't get our money out of the website that we were uh, making or whatever. And I guess like while they were filming, they had to bring in a technician because they couldn't get it to work and they just couldn't figure out how to get the, uh, the money into uh, people's accounts. Well, all I remember is just it's an app that Boogie tried to help support and it just fell apart. Yeah. You but think he this... has a candid Funko Pop? And the most precious one here is the Game Awards one because that was that's the all time high. People thinking that he was amazing yeah. when he was the best gamer of the year, when everybody loved him. So mm -hmm. that one, priceless. Yeah, he would never sell that. No way. <laughs> Might as he... Yeah, that, that's based, that, that would be. In essence, killing himself if he, yeah, sold that. Fuck up I am. But that's why I go to the arcade. That's why I go to play Magic. That's why I have my friends over. Because for they're, just they're the only hours. things that make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> they're the only joy. I have nothing else to, to keep myself busy with except this and this and this and this. Except and my, this. my friends, my magic, my TV, my video games, my computer, <laughs> my arcade game, my food, my bath. <laughs> my dog. My I forgot about the bath, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> the only <laughs> joy. And like, he's the got the punching bag did. over there as well. He only ever used it for the, the video prepping for the boxing thing. Now it's just collected dust forever. And then he lost. He he's did. A, like, Miserably. Lost. Didn't underpunch. Didn't under <laughs> <punch. laughs> and his pants fell down. Well, <laughs> he had to like tape his pants on or something. Yeah. The clip that says he didn't land a single punch actually shows him punching wings. <laughs> Is it more, it's more of like a tap though, right? It's not like yeah, a... Yeah, I mean, it's still a... It's, it it'll counts, be, that would be I suppose. As a connection, yeah. I'm not that... I love this image. <laughs> <laughs> King of the Hill. Fuck up from YouTube, I'm just... Do, 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 I'm just me. Now nah, that man oh, has a job is, and a this family is my Saturday and a stable night marriage. Get every Saturday. Yeah, and he's, he's excited about propane. Yeah, oh, this is another. Yeah. This is another moment where you know all these guys are like, oh, we gotta uh, do this stupid documentary uh, thing. What do you mean? What do you mean? You, what do you mean they're doing a documentary tonight? <laughs> Can yeah, you do it like any more. other day? It's like, now guys, these... can you can you try and come across like you like me tonight? <laughs> Just a little bit. Now let's yeah, contrast this. When we were at the when we were at the hobby store and he called all them outcasts. That's bullshit. I look at this image and I'm like, 
Y'all are outcasts. <laughs> is that fucking Asmongold in the back? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because he's not contributing anything insightful or interesting. Wow, right? No, because the table oh, looks like a mess. Uh, no, it's, he's fine. He's fine. He's a good guy. He's fine. Do Smash Brothers. Leave Suck alone. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. This is my crack. This is my cocaine. I met him at the Magic. The only thing that you have many. You have many. Yeah. This is the only joy of my life. Like I said, it's just... <laughs> this is the only crack I have. A that hairline. And... That's uh, a that hairline is like a the wing from a, a Boeing 747. Jeez, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't saying shit right now. You got a great hairline, as. Yeah, I have no hairline because there's no that's hair. The, that's the fucking beauty of it. I was actually going to say that's not bad. It's when, you know. <laughs> that right there. Like, look at that. He's got the that's Chud Logic just... peak. <laughs> that's like someone's... <laughs> Chud's going to come after you. It's like someone's halfway pulled the drapes, uh, you know, uh, from the window or something. And that right the there is... Just... That's called Widow's Peak. Oh, oh it does kind of look like a mountaintop. Yes. <laughs> in the magic shop I'm sure he's now, a nice guy Jim, i met at the magic shop this guy I well, somebody that went shop. through it this i'm aware of this uh at the magic shop this guy i met because he was a roommate with a friend i met at the magic shop okay so i have a million dollar question for you guys that's poor chairs. every saturday jesus christ together. look at the size of that guy every saturday he's bigger than I, boogie. I think he was actually yeah i think what, he's pizza? he's i think that guy's a fluid what <laughs> if you yeah, could, he just takes the shape of his container. <laughs> oh my God. Fingers, tacos. Those are the things I normally get us, right? Like, I normally spend like $100, $150 every Saturday. Like, Why do I feel like that's an underball if he's paying for everyone's food? Especially These with like takeaway. Eat way uh, more than $150. I've seen oh, how yeah. big they are. There's no way they eat $150. How many were they? Like Double seven? That. What did I mean? Yeah, like seven, right? <laughs> if if say, each, guys, if each person got. Health. Fifteen dollars worth of food. Well, but like it's it's just ordering like um what would it be, you know like uh, DoorDash or whatever. They're like super expensive, right? Yeah. If you are poor and you order DoorDash, then you are a fool, and I have no sympathy for you. But you if know? you say to to your friends, Saturday, my house, games night, I'll put food and drink on for us. We'll have a good time. Don't worry about it. You know, this is this is a, just a good chance for us once a week. Yeah. To just Don't worry, I'm everything. famously poor. I got this. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then you sit them down on a documentary in front of millions of people. These yeah. people who you tell them are your friends, and you say, "Oh, by the way, I pay for everything. I pay for all the food, all the drink. It costs me 150 dollars a week. I could do with that money." And it's just mm -hmm. like the, the position you're putting them in right now is yeah, this horrendous. is fucked up. Yeah, I think the one guy even says like, yeah, we, we told you, you don't need to do this every time or something like that. They probably did, but he needs to do it so he's got something over them. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, someone in chat just said, doesn't reflect so well on the guests, true. It's like, no, it's not, it's not even that really. It's, you can see right through it. If, if these people were invited to this and food was provided and then, as Az is saying, like a year down the line or however long, it's like, man, I've been paying for all this, and you guys, you know, I'm, 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 I can't provide for you guys anymore. It's like, whoa, that was never the deal. Like, we, we, you just offered for us to come here and play yeah. cards with you, and you, you yeah. would supply food. Yeah, we just assumed that you were super alone, and we assumed you were a four million subscriber YouTuber who fucking yeah. was swimming in it, but I guess not. You've been bragging about it since we first met you. That you gave. <laughs> And we assumed you were our sugar like, daddy. I showed them my bank books today, and I'm not like, I've never wanted to burden you guys with this, but like, oh, fuck I've off. never wanted to burden you guys, you. but I'm going to burden oh. you guys on a documentary. Doing, yeah. They shouldn't have agreed to this. I'm well, this there. is like what before, sounds, like, this is private, and I don't ever show anybody this, so come on in, and I'll show you. It's the same it sounds thing. like they. It sounds like they're all like homeless, and he provides for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Every day. Imagine, say, you you had a deal with someone who's like, you, uh, they drive and you uh, pay for movie tickets or something. And then, like, a year later, you're like, I've been providing every time we go out. You know, this time, I gotta stop. They, they'd just be like, excuse me? Like, <laughs> what's it? why have you flipped this on me? What the fuck? Saving $300 a month would be useful. I mean, we've, we've been telling you for oh. years that we don't care about the food that much. <laughs> See? But, See? Yeah. No, 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 no. 
Okay, no one that size is going to say he doesn't care about the food that much. Wait, is this how he got a roommate? Like, one of the freeloaders just never left? That's why, like, we don't see him in the documentary. <laughs> when he says he's going, he climbs up to the attic. <laughs> <laughs> he also said they come around every Saturday, and it's about $150. Then he says, I could do without $300 a month. Mm. So, well, they coming around every Saturday or every other Saturday... So you're embellishing it, or you're, or you're playing it down. Which one is it? And well, yeah, it's Boogie, so he's embellishing it. We know that. The fact that this guy immediately says they didn't care about the food, the implication, of course, being that Boogie is the one that mainly cares about the food. And then it's like, mm -hmm. do you think he orders it and then eats, like, half of it? And he's like, I'll keep the rest <laughs> of the We all fridge. love that, right, guys? Oh, no. Yeah, that was <laughs> great. This is, we're all having fun, big yeah. Boys right I just, there. I just imagine he, he doesn't buy the food anymore and like all of them just start losing weight immediately. Like, <laughs> let's all get I, I can easily see his friends going, hey, do you want anything for the food? And Boo going, no, nah, no, nah, it's, fine. it's fine. I got it, I got it. I provide I for you guys. Easily I provide. see that. Mm -hmm. Easily well, see that. Especially given how much he cares about being perceived as being wealthy. Yeah. 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 Like, don't, like, don't get me wrong. I like... Yeah, he put it in the dock that he has to go to magic in order for people to see that he's not poor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How strange. Like, it's having they, snacks and soda when I'm over here because I don't eat those at my house. But <laughs> look at Boogie's face. Yeah. Like, why are you saying this? This ruins my whole point. <laughs> You're not me what defending I want. yourself. You're not the narrative. Yes, tell the audience that I take care of you. That's what I needed. Tell the audience that I'm a good person. Throughout the years, like you don't have I, to feed us, but I you. you, you hey, do it's told anyway, us throughout so. the years. Told us throughout the years, you don't have to feed us. Oh no, no. It's you know, like I said, I'm willing to buy that he like he sets out the food for them, and that like some of them don't even like some of them have already eaten before they come here or some shit. They're just like, uh, mm. thanks, yeah, I guess. Oh yeah. So, when are we? We saw all the fucking it, packets in his in fridge. fridge. Yeah, yeah, you know he puts it all in the fridge. <laughs> We're gonna start bringing girlfriends around. Also, when are we gonna start bringing girlfriends around that aren't hookers? Because <laughs> that's all. Look at that guy's, like, that guy's oh, face. Like <laughs> his face. Like have what you is seen this? What you... Not even hookers. Will think it's oh, ever. dude. It's such a like. What are you doing, man? Like what? What's you wonder? Well, you wonder what Boogie's like. Hookers around. I just want him to play board games. I just want to play some. Well, the theory <laughs> goes that the rest of these thirty-two like directly interviews, I guess. Like or Everybody else probably said, "I'm um, absolutely not." Yeah, yeah. You, you can film yeah. me having fun with magic, but you ain't gonna get me fucking answering yeah. specific questions. <laughs> around for five years. I mean, like we haven't had like legitimate girlfriends over in a long time. You haven't dated and. Jesus. Why are you doing run. this to them? What the <laughs> fuck? Like oh. Why do you hate your friends so much? Yeah, I can see why they keep coming back. It's it's such a moment of like, see, we're all shit, right? <laughs> yeah, we're like those outcast losers at the, at the hobby store. Where do they get them to sign off to be in this? I mean, after that, I'm feeling that you maybe but blur my face at, at the least. I don't. Do you think uh, they agreed? And then at the end of it, they're like, "Don't put that in." And Mike was like, "It's, it's going in." It's true. Right. Signed the papers. You signed the papers. You signed the papers. You signed the papers. Yeah. You signed the waiver. Yeah, you signed the waiver. must be. Yeah. You uh, haven't been in a while. I mean, yeah, a while. I'll you sign the wafers. Yeah. I mean, you, you like. <laughs> I, mean, I think he's a good guy. Yeah. I think that and then he's we ate definitely them. A, a good guy. Uh, he really? Loves his friends and his family. He just shuts all over you in front of millions of people. Like, this is what actual you're just you were I don't know maybe you're desperate for social well, interaction wait, and even if you only get it from Boogie he's probably got a more narrow view of Boogie than most of the people on the internet do because like he maybe he I never agree. yeah maybe Boogie says don't ever look me up on the internet ever and yeah and, well, and you know there's, maybe they there's don't know Boogie oh uh, yeah that's that, I guess they gotta know about the YouTube channel right they I'm sure, sure they know about it, but if they don't yes, yes, yes. yes. If yeah, they don't I mean, watch it, it might not be important to them. Yeah, yeah if they don't watch yeah. it and they just hang out here every you know other week or yeah, however uh, long. Wait a minute. What am I doing on the top right of this fucking table? <laughs> what does that look like you? <laughs> wow. What the fuck am I doing there? As <laughs> Mike, I didn't sign As the wafers. I didn't sign the wafers, Mike. Man. The truth we comes out. We did warn you, ass, but you just know. didn't listen. He, I, I, didn't I, I, listen. Must, I must have signed the wafers. It's <laughs> about people a lot. And you ate the wafers about the Boogie. Not a lot. He's a fun person to be around and to laugh and make jokes with. Uh -huh. Sometimes we open up and we have like really personal conversations and I enjoy Let me guess, they involve suicide. I, by the way, yes, I, wa shocked. I was the oh, prostitute boy. that night. <laughs> <laughs> As well. Willing to do things for us. He's offered to you know, take care of us or <laughs> offered us a room if he needs it. Um, 
he's still gonna make some of the same jokes. You know, we all Seth, have sort of boogie's friend. Of humor. Mm. Sincere kindness. That is uh, Seth. It doesn't friend. always show up, but yeah. uh, friend of boogie. He he does have a lot of a lot of compassion for people. That... I think he's just a guy <laughs> with good. <laughs> and I'm like a woman in this. But I don't think he's as bad. As <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. So interesting. I think as long as he stops <laughs> tweeting the N word, he'll be fine. <laughs> No, please, right, Boogie, Boogie, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> this is seriously, <laughs> please, Boogie. We spoke to you about this. You need to quit. It is just a word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll, I'll roll that back in case anyone missed that. It's That's so great, fucking... Boogie. It's such a great Based. intro to a chapter. Stops tweeting the N-word. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the N-word is He's just really a proud word. of that joke, isn't he? God bless you. <laughs> I was trying to get a clean version of that. It's so good. We got the first, the second half last time, and the first half this time. <laughs> the poor chat, they've got to know. The N word is just a word. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes perfect and no. It's <laughs> perfect clip. I love it. It's Practically, I agree. Pragmatically. <laughs> <That's laughs> <true, yeah. laughs> Staunch opposition. <laughs> if you guys left and these cameras weren't rolling and i was sitting here alone in the dark and i said I'd be the screaming it while i fuck that hooker <laughs> there's no magic power to it so say it oh no i'm not gonna say it on camera where it could hurt somebody i like where it could hurt somewhere hurt me, hurt me. <laughs> the, the face of the director is just bored as fuck <laughs> this guy like oh here we go another speech about the ad <laughs> like, no, no, not again uh, there's a fourth one this morning, Bookie. <laughs> Let it go. Like There's a reason why we don't swing by the Popeyes, okay? Uh, jokes. I say fucked up shit. I think the darker something is. Cancer. Like skin color? Rape. Or what? Murder. <laughs> child abuse. The Jesus. darker it is. Calm down. Bookie, you're being filmed. You're no. <laughs> to make jokes about it. All right. Yeah, I feel, I'm Here sorry. Controversial clips of Boogie began to spread. Oh, oh, good year, 2019. Like good year. Yeah, yeah go good year. Right? Yeah, that's okay. All right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm good still year. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so fuck her. And now she's dead. That's a lot of money, I guess. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Or is it mine? I don't know. <laughs> Someone says you can't put your finger into a clitoris. <laughs> Somebody here doesn't have a Does scalpel. Does people say clitoris? Handy. You display that. Yeah. People... Clitoris. Clitoris. Say clitoris. <laughs> Fucker just right. You can wrap it all around your fingers. You just gotta, you gotta shave real thin. <laughs> Wow, that's what? well. So this is the thing. Why? Some people hear about like clips spread of them. They're like, "How bad could they be?" That you you hear just a couple. And you're like, "What the?" F <laughs> you're like, "Yeah." What, what, what was? What were you saying? What was the objective? Woo! That's disturbing. That's the most fucked up thing. No, I'm oh, shoot you, buddy. no, oh, no. You want to gun at me? Yes. <laughs> 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 Fucking idiot. I might, he just like he just pointed it and shot that bullet. Yeah. Yep. Dude. Jesus, take the wheel. Across the neighborhood. Yeah. Is this what we have to do? Where it really went south is when one guy. Where it really went uh, south, I shot that gun. <laughs> one guy at all. You can't take my gun from me. It's the only joy. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this bully hunters now? We got into bully hunters. Yeah. <laughs> Spent like uh, a month of his time gathering every link, every like video clip, every like magic cards. Ever... Yeah, the which is also the, my only joy. It's funny he says like hacker keyboard collecting every clip. It's like, yeah, but you supplied so many. <laughs> Where do they come from, Boogie? This whole thing is so particularly fucked for me because he was live messaging me privately the entire fucking time this Frank thing was going down. I'm like, hey, dude, just I, I think he's trying to get like a rise out of you, man. Maybe you should just like not acknowledge him. He's like, my best move is to end him if he comes to my home. I'm like, holy shit, you needed to calm down. And he's like, oh, I thought you I thought you wanted stuff like this as a drama YouTuber. You know, this is what it causes, right? I'm like, I why, why? This is like the first time I ever talked to you. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was funny that every person who heard about any of its advice was stay inside and call the police if he gets close yeah. to your front door. Simple. Dude, did you watch the new thing, um yes. the new Halloween movies? Like the new trilogy of them. The, the second one, Evil Dies Tonight. <laughs> you say that's what Boogie was chanting when? Dude, he's like, oh, this shit oh, ends oh, today. Yeah. I'm like, no, 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 Boogie. You need to... <laughs> no, he's like, Boogie, dude, no. listen. He goes, if I can't do it and I shoot myself, you need to tell my story now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs>
It's so, he must have thought himself such a like fucking cowboy coming out there being like, is this what we have to do, punk? <laughs> Yeehaw! 1998, and he compiled it into this one huge mega thread. It's like 10, 15 pages long. Ah, uh, the beginning yep. of the end, really. And it was one of two. There was like a, another huge one. And then people made videos. I remember when I first saw the thread, I was like, oh, this... This is easy. This is basically a script already for someone's video to go viral with, and uh, that's the thing he dreaded. And then it started happening, not just once. Yeah. Th there might be more documentaries on him than most people. Not more than DSP, probably. Probably Jesus not more than Christ. Wings. I'm just reading what's on the screen. Rape backstory oh. contradictions. Oh, wow. oh, oh. <laughs> tie it down and oh. rape it until they take it away. What? Dude, <laughs> sexual you gotta understand, deviancy. That rape story is from Legends. Um, this, this is not in the current Disney content. Legendary rape story. <laughs> <laughs> and every time my name would get mentioned on Reddit moving forward, they would all link to that mega thread. Well, these people on Reddit began to bombard my sponsors to make me look as bad as possible. You look you bad. Dog? You do you look don't, bad. You don't look great, Boogie. <clears throat> no, I'm not saying I support it, but you don't look great. You made their job easy. Well, it's just like, what do you expect a sponsor to do when you make clips saying you're gonna splay a clitoris on your finger? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Why does he say it like Where that? Where are Is my sponsors like gone? It's like... <laughs> Every time I got a new sponsor, they would bombard me. And, uh, eventually they dropped me. I don't know about this makeover shit. So that's uh, that shake that I felt that day. Okay. But we're yeah. doing it. We're going to give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. This is, a, this is a scene that's come out recently, so this might be new for everyone here. I kind of feel like it's been lipstick I, on I don't pigs, think I've seen I'm this. I'm being honest with you. When I come back, I'm going to look completely different. I'm going to be attractive. I'm gonna be. Uh, wow. wait, what, wait, what is happening? He's I, getting a makeover. Know, something makeover. Crazy optimism. Like Damn. what? I'm, Sorry, hold okay. on. Wait, uh, is what Boogie or the dog? I'm not, and I'm being serious. I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> Boogie's going out for a, going? for a for a makeover. Mike's uh, okay. set up. I think. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, bye. This yeah, is the one time no, like, you lock the yeah. crew. I don't mind working out. Like, <laughs> <Let us> out. <laughs> the guy was clearly about to open the door up. Like, what the fuck are you doing, you idiot? Oh, <laughs> wait, just, 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 I'm sorry. I, just re I just realized. How how much does he wear his this shirt? A lot. A he lot. never changes it. Every day for nine months. I was is about the correct to say, it's like, we think of it as um, the superhero outfit. When he takes it off, he's Stephen Williams. When he puts it on, he's just, Boogie. Uh, do you think, Ooh. though, he's wearing it for merch purposes? To try and, to try be, and push yeah. people to get the t-shirt. Oh, maybe. Fuck, you might be right. Maybe. Or may oh, maybe he has like 12 of them. <laughs> <laughs> he has more shirts that say Boogie Night than Quentin has. Well, it's, like, it's like his uh, Mark Zuckerberg or, you know how like Obama only wore like two different types of uh, suits, right? Two different color or two different colored ties. It's like that. He's like a... He's like a CEO, you it's know? A superhero I outfit. From my day. Take my like, wheels, one hooker at a time. Night. <laughs> okay, not shut. Um, someone in chat mentioned as well, like, well, it doesn't seem fair, like, advertisers are responsible for everything Game of Thrones has in it, like, are they automatically, it's like, it doesn't work that way, Game of Thrones is a fucking multi, hundreds of millions production across all those seasons that everyone's watching approves of and understands is fantasy. The difference is, you have all of the streamers to choose to sponsor, you go for the safest and the popular ones. Yeah. You don't go for the ones to talk about. The things that he talks about. <laughs> He's like, no, I think we're gonna avoid that one. Do that occasionally. Man, I don't mind going on a date. I like going on dates. It doesn't make the sense. The only joy I have in life. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When he says going on dates, uh, legit uh, as well. Does he mean an Arkansas a date, or does he mean a website date? Don't know. Who knows? Too hard to tell. The lore is tangled. Effort into my appearance. When I am shaped like a beanbag chair. Do something. Oh my god. God. He might need a car ramp for, for the <laughs> I think he just needs some help. I think that he <laughs> You're right, um that. just looking at him, you know, he um <laughs> probably Say hasn't had a haircut nice, lady. in a while. Oh. And I think he's probably one of those people that doesn't really care what his hair looks like. You know, it's just do whatever you want. I don't really care. I'll just let it grow out. How are you, how are you feeling, buddy? 
anxious, a little angry. What, what are you? Little... Getting he's his hair cut. He's very anxious. Angry. He's I'm angry. So he's angry. a little he's angry that he's going to get a hair cut. Oh, thought, yeah, man. Oh, man. That's a lot. Okay. Scared? <laughs> I don't even know what to A little bit of everything. What? Ah, oh, this is what you mean. Okay. Men that keep up with their hair, I find that to just be more like they just they care about okay, the way lady, that they this look. This is your job. There's some guys <laughs> that bias. just don't. <laughs> so be it. If you don't care, then you don't care. So my my once every six month approach probably not the best for first yeah, impressions. Huh? Probably not mm -hmm. the best for for first impressions. Definitely not. How old are you? Do you believe 48? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought you were 60. Like... <laughs> I've never understood this whole, like, you look great for 48 thing. I was like, um, okay, I, I oh, guess. It's like all the extra fat and doesn't make any wrinkles on his face, you know? I think he's yeah, got the... actually, yeah, I think I agree with that. But, like, this, I don't know, you can, I think you can spot the age really easily around, like, the eyes, and then you've got the, um, you know, I, yeah, I forget what I it's mean, called. Yeah, but... there's signs there yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, uh, like you know, like he's got automatic blush because of the amount of, uh, you know, blood pressure problems he has and stuff. It's like mm -hmm. that. That to me is another sign. It's like, oh, you must be then like past the uh, oh, halfway bar. Gray his beard is as well. Looks that like too. The, uh... Yeah, yeah, the green. Yeah. yeah. You're 48. I'm 23. Mm -hmm. So I'm in a whole different category. Well, you way too old for Boogie awesome. then. <laughs> oh, um, no. I I don't <laughs> know exactly why it is. But the women that I've attracted most frequently mm -hmm. have been in their mid to late 20s. The women I attract oh, most of the... <sighs> 50s and oh. early 30s. Nice. I very rarely dated anybody my age. So I really have dated one my age. This woman deserves a fucking medal for this performance. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you know what? You know, what? I'm, I'm almost done. I'm getting there. Just, you know what? You just don't need to keep talking. That's fine. Not, yeah, nice. Because I thought nobody would go to you. <laughs> this woman is wishing she was shaving with a razor blade. It would have been <laughs> something for her to say. Would have been like, are these are women you pay. And he's like, no, no. They're just attracted to me. Honestly, you are right. natural charisma, as yes. you are now privy to. Have been my. <laughs> Demographic of women that mm -hmm. I've been dating since oh, my divorce. God. Oh, stop it! Leave the poor girl yeah, alone. Yeah, he just <laughs> said that she's in his demographic. Oh, uh, don't just uh, do make that. sure I don't want you guys to You're miss that that gold. Of, why it is? Yeah, outcast. But the women that I've attracted yeah, she's in your demographic. She's got have a been vagina. in mid to late twenties. Clitoris. And oh. early thirties. <laughs> nice. I very rarely nice. date anybody my age. So honestly, you closed. are kind of in my. Demographic of women that mm -hmm. I've been dating. Oh. Dude, that's this boogie trying to, you know, get in there a little. And he's like, yeah, you know, oh, you know me and you, we can. <laughs> it's like, okay. The horse. That boogie ribs. He deserves it. <laughs> he he deserves it. I think it could be better. What the fuck is okay. that? Since this what? is going to be his fashion helper makeover person. So I think that's probably the tone. God, it's excellent. I, I, I mean, honestly, is he really utilitarian, right? Okay. But there's some fashion here, like a, the Pac-Man Crocs. Those are nice. Like, that's my favorite what, video what, game. What, what? Okay. The doggies are real. <laughs> okay. This one is Leo. He's the mini poodle. Oh, God. This one is Sam. Oh, God. And he's the normal size there's poodle. There's a lot of stuff. There is no difference. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get why Mike Plum cut this shit out. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff, man. It's, it's so much cringe. <laughs> yeah. I've been yeah. collecting for the This has just turned into an Arthur Smith reality show from America. Ooh, Ten years now. Here, here oh. has a lot of Dungeons and Dragons blanket. miniatures and uh, a lot of magic cards and stuff. Look, you know, look really at the disgust stuff. in her eyes. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is this yeah. is like there are people who live like this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I bet <there's, laughs> well, guys, I think there's one element of this that is just not going to be understandable to us. But I imagine that there's an aroma. Oh. 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 So when she walks in, Boogie is used to it, so she, he doesn't know. Aroma it. is very, uh, that's a very soft word. Uh, I'm being very use. kind. I, no, I know. I, I, I um, commend it. I respect yeah. it. Um, Pungent but, atmosphere. But for her, oh my god, that's not so soft. She hasn't built a up a tolerance to it. She hasn't built up a tolerance to the yeah. aroma. <laughs> this, is new oh, this is a new yeah. world for her, yeah. This is How new, much do you yeah. think he could get for his bath water? Like if he oh. were to sell that. 
Uh, I think it's more like um, it's it's like cooking, like a like grease. Like companies have to pay someone else to get rid of it. It might be similar to that situation. Oh, what? Th that's an episode of The Simpsons where Homer and Bot are trying to smuggle out his Boogie's aroma grease. to sell it. <laughs> My because no! the problem, uh, the, the problem with Boogie's bathwater is that he's presented with an ecological dilemma. That being, he can't like burn it off or boil it because it pollutes the air. And he can't just disperse of it because then it will pollute the groundwater. So he has to pay people to, you know, put it in canisters, sure send it underground. Yeah, yeah, like stored in caves and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah. The environment that he's living in is not. It's it's not good. <laughs> to me, this is almost toxic. <laughs> you can't good. walk into Fuck. this and be happy in this type of environment. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. My friend Ed sent me this one. Ed McMullen, oh, Ed, you know him, Ed, right? He made Binding Ed. of Isaac. So he, do you think this got cut out? Yeah, yeah. Do you think this got cut out? Because after this, she just went, I ain't fucking going back. She, she <laughs> might have had the kinda... thing of like, so this is just a troll. Like, you're just fucking with me at this point. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I really I'm like a this legit one business I... woman. I ain't, yeah. I ain't got time for this shit. But he's melting. Oh. Mm. So I feel like this is a real, like. Oh. oh. Like, I think it's like a statement piece. Boogie wants people to be disgusted with him, doesn't he? I think so. We've it's got a fetish. It. This is it. Yeah. yeah. yeah the statement is that some uh, Isaac is masochism. Oh. So, so he can turn around and go, oh, I disgust everybody. I guess I'm just a loser. Such a hard life to I'll live. Blow my yeah. friends up. Blah, 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 blah. So you would like this one? No. <laughs> what is it? Do you, do you this shirt says I'm never getting laid again. <laughs> I made this one. Uh, it's a, a Boogie Nights. Do you recognize the logo? Uh, stop. You know, I is, hate this. This is Pornhub. <laughs> Never seen Pornhub. And so, like, normally it says porn and then hub, but oh. I'm Boogie. Well, here's the thing. If you ask people <laughs> that question, I bet half the people who do know will say they don't. Yeah. yeah. True. I would, I would just, like, I know, but I, if someone asked me, I'd be like, no, what do you mean? What is Dude, it supposed to be of? This is like the live version of the meme. It's like they don't know my shirt means Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> like <dancing. laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Nick, Nicholas. Yes. What is what's happening to your face? Are you like bubblegum or what are you Pepto Bismol? What's what's going on with your pink melty face oh it's a parody of uh i'm alex's old profile picture oh my I god know. that's know who that is that's yeah. internet law is he what's the latest on him is he completely gone what's uh um so he he went to tiktok or whatever but i think he's back he was making sniper wolf videos recently so oh. I, he's just not like really commentary anymore nobody really interacts with him i can't imagine why that's i don't crazy. even know that name maybe i don't think i know that name he, so. uh, you know who Kavos is? They used to have, no. like, beef, like, five years ago. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I guess just different circles of the internet. Oh, yeah. I just, different, yeah. No clue. Spheres. Yeah, I just See, Boogie is the know. great unifier. Brings do you guys... <laughs> okay, well, Matt, would you remember... Do you guys, did you guys ever watch Ask a Ninja way back in the day? Mm -mm. No. No? no. What a, did you ever go to Legendary Lilypad? No. Is that a thing? Okay. Yeah, nope. that was a thing. Am I being uh, okay. trolled? That's no, you're not being trolled. This time I'm being, I, just, as I you, always you, am, earnest. You, you, I was just curious. Those are real things. I was just curious because you had mentioned the old internet stuff that I didn't know about. And then I'm like, well, oh, touche. But <laughs> did you know about Legendary Lilypad um, and whatnot? So I, I was just curious. I don't know. What about <laughs> you? Remember Gone with the Blast Wave? No. It's a little bit no. more popular. No, no, you don't. Okay. Fair enough. You remember That's meat okay. spin dog? Anyway, let's just continue. Boogie Nights, I have seen that. <laughs> yeah. so, like, I have heard of that Nights. one. <laughs> but in the Pornhub like logo? Right, it's because I have an OnlyFans. You have do what? You, do you know what an OnlyFans <laughs> is? No. It's where you sell pictures of your butthole to people. Oh, she's just, oh, what, what? Do you oh, legitimately shit. want a girlfriend? I mean this legitimately. Uh, okay, well, legitimately, I would, I would like her to like me for me. Absolutely. But do you want The problem is no one does boogie. Yeah, it's kind of a, the first hurdle if we can get over, though. Respect yeah. you. Well, what I think, think a lot of it says in Braille. It, I think... This just, what um... What earrings say in Braille? Was that what you said? No, I said, I wonder what earrings say 
in braille because she's got like just all those studs in her ear. That's literally what I asked if you said, <laughs> and then you repeated it back and said no. <laughs> well, it was a banger. We had to hear it twice. Yeah. What? Yes this, or no? This, this documentary is causing your brain to melt. Everyone's like, melting. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's melting on the inside or the outside. I am dying on the inside. Yes, but I think a lot of women would respect the fact that I'm about to be Persona 4. It's a you really think hard game. there's a lot game. of women that would respect oh, sorry. that? He's, yeah, he's, he's trolling around. Man. He's yeah. fucking trolling. Yeah. Well, so around. Yeah, this, is, this is a good example. Yeah, this is a great game, Boogie. Yeah, Fuck this you. is like Birdemic 2 where the magic's gone. Well, no, it, no, no, it's not, not, it's not quite that. It's the we see it with the uh, the job interview lady. He's he like he's gonna sell it under the guise of like I'm really funny, it's but he's sabotaging every chance yeah. of his life yeah. getting better. Yeah. That's what he yeah. does. Exactly. You're right. You're right. And he's My also age. not funny. Well, no, he's, he's still very well, no, desperate. No, that's gay. As I will, those Seth mm -hmm. and Sam who are Boogie's friends, yeah. they said that he was really a funny guy. <laughs> oh okay. yeah. Okay. I take it back and I apologize. Yeah, so Seth, like Seth seven, knows what's seven. up. You know? <laughs> that's like, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of us, and there's mm -hmm. probably what, six of them or so. So, I mean, it's, it's almost half. It's, it's a toss up as to whether or not he's funny. Okay. I guess we'll have to let his success speak for itself. Mm. <laughs> it's not at 20. So, what's important to a 40 year old woman? Stability. Well, I Responsibility. Oh, I'm God. definitely struggling with that one. But there has to be an initial attraction. Oh, you got me there. <laughs> and wow. apparently, oh, I've heard a lot of these numbers are horseshit. Um, um, well, so th the thing is, is that um, the later years coincided with him making less stuff because he had all the legal problems with the uh, with the old. Uh, yeah, more fees, less videos. Yeah. Which would have helped yeah. kill his channel along with those uh, videos getting made and everyone finding out who he is. You said, you said more fees, less videos. And I was thinking, that's like the opposite of great, like, what, what is it? Taste great, less filling? <laughs> He's like the opposite of that. It's like more fees, yeah. less videos. Are you ready? Are you ready to step back into 1988? You ready to go back to my childhood? Because that's what's behind I thought it was in your house. The star. Is this another thing that brings you the only yeah, joy in life? This is the only thing that brings you the only joy. Now, arcades actually cost five dollars. Arcades do not me? cost five dollars over here. No. You, you're not going to get far with five dollars at an arcade over here. This is I wonder if this is what he actually comes here to do. Be like, look, I'm Boogie, everyone. Everything look at me. Hello. I'm and Steve. when I walk back in here, it's like going back in time, except things aren't completely shitty. See, it's the only joy. <laughs> it's the only oh, joy. No. <laughs> this is the classic. I can't play the ones at home because there I'm sad and alone. And here yeah, they're I'm shitty. These are the, these are the good ones. Those are shitty yeah. ones. I have a Pac-Man yeah. tattoo. This is the game I most identify You have with. all those machines no, at home. Right. Right. No, and you pay, no, none of that. You none of that. You, you pay uh, probably <laughs> takeaway. You pay for oh, yeah. machines. Oh, yeah. It oh, relates man. to Pac-Man, and it's like, oh, dude, this on. is what I most identify with. <laughs> most <laughs> identify with Pac-Man. That's not again to to bring it back to Snorlax. Pac-Man, you know, he gets out there, he does his hustle. He's running. Um, he's happily married. Wait, but what is his hustle? Let's let's be a bit more open-minded here. What does Pac-Man do? He runs around and, and eats food. And he runs around and eats. He's yeah. collecting yeah, he resources runs, runs, to pay for his family. Runs. Remember, he runs around and eats food, okay? He runs. And he's avoiding the pains and miseries of the ghosts of his past. <laughs> and then he also... And then he also he dominates. He exactly, yeah. <laughs> yes, he eats fruit every once in a while, yeah. Because it's about a little round guy. The symbolic fruit. Running through a maze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll have a cherry here. And there. Everything in sight. Oh god, don't mention cherries. And getting chased buddy. by ghosts. Of Why his wouldn't that? Because it's so a fruit and he'll. I, I mentioned something <laughs> earlier in the, in the. I'm not going to mention and, uh, it. Oh, okay. All right. Dude, look at Pac Man. <laughs> stoically doing his hustle. <laughs> you know, he just gets. Pac Man's out trying so much harder. One must imagine Pac Man happy. One must imagine Pac. Now I'm just imagining Pac-Man, but not like the not like the Pac-Man and you know Super Mario Brothers with arms and legs. Just like little pixel art Pac-Man pressing against the boulder on the mountain. 
Yeah. Someone what should make you? a movie. The myth of Pac-Man. Ah, oh, I I might have. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> I'm going I to about it. I need to make me look pathetic. What can I do? Oh yeah, my ankle. I broke the, the devices that allow me to travel. <laughs> <laughs> Sprained uh, it or broken it or something? I was walking uh, to the bathroom in there. You probably just some B-roll of this. And you probably just sprained it a little bit. There was bit. a loud snap sound. Um, if there was a loud snap there was sound, a loud I snap you're not sound. walking. You ain't no. walking. That's more than spray, my dude. Yeah, X'd you're not out. walking. x to down, x to down on everything that you've just said. Yeah. And now my foot is swelling in uh -huh. my shoe. Oh right. no, is yeah. my life so bad? Yeah. bad. Oh. I'm gonna sue the oh, arcade no. now. That'll be feel sorry for me. Feel sorry. Well, I mean, what else is there to do but get Taco Bell? You know, I feel like that's the next step. It's one of the only joys. It's the only thing that brings me joy. <laughs> Nothing uh, that a couple Doritos Locos tacos can't fix. <laughs> In a Baja blast. You, know. you don't know if you'll wake up tomorrow. Oh, Shut up. Come if... on. Dude, would you Today, want a guy driving you around who's wait? this openly suicidal? Dude, yeah. I was like, can I yeah, drive, but the, please? Maybe Mike knows the truth. He's not suicidal at all. He's like, yeah. oh, <laughs> bullshit. On? Yeah, or I don't know if I'll be here be tomorrow, Swerve. <laughs> I really don't have anything to look for. <laughs> Hopefully the foot he's driving with ain't the spring one. No, yeah, well, yeah, it suddenly that disappeared as a problem, didn't it? Like, it's... Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm in the car now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, what? Did he die? Like... <laughs> yeah, I yeah, he died last year. <laughs> fucking me today. Little meme in there in the dock. Do I think I'll make... Nice. 50? Yeah, probably. That's only two years away. Do I think I'll make 60? Which is 12 years away? Probably not. Here's everything that's wrong with Bill. Low testosterone. Oh, I'm shocked. Testicular <laughs> hypogonadism. Damn, man's got some big balls. Swelling due to blockages of lymphatic what is Seboric oh, excess. Chronic back pain. Yeah. Protein Hypogonadism. Yeah, I'm not googling that. <laughs> so uh, like, male, yeah. hy male hypogonadism means the testicles don't produce enough of the male sex hormone testosterone. There are basically two types of hypogonadism. Primary, also known as the primary testicular failure. <laughs> So let's just point out what a pause, what a frame. Protein and urine. Protein and urine. Look out. So Look out. It decreases sexual desire, decreases energy, decreases facial and body hair, and loss of muscle mass and bone density. Wow. <laughs> so, um,. I believe it's it's probably pretty clear, like, all of these issues he's listing, it's like, I mean, I feel like there's a common cause that you could probably nail all of these with if you just got rid of, uh, you know, the yeah. weight part? Damage, folks. That is everything keeping Protein me alive. Protein in we here. Have... Look at this, the miracle of medical science. <laughs> Losartan, tramadol, buprofen, sertraline, uh, did I deal with that? The way he looked back at the camera. He's like, is, he, is he doing his medical rant again? Like, <laughs> deal with nightmares. I'm always tired. I don't know the last. I'll time be I the did. testicular oh, hypogonadism. Oh, 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 if only my gonads were so hyper. Drowning in my own. I like how his hair grew back <laughs> after the last second. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. shot these out hey, of documentaries right. take place over many different. It's a uh, creative. Uh, you can tell because he's wearing his boogie <laughs> multiverse. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bypass, intestinal malabsorption, vitamin oh, D. Mercy would be death. Because, like most gamers, I hate the sun. Well, you can just fix Morbid that one obesity. pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can take supplements for that. Obesity, well, then again, he probably is taking supplements for that. That's probably why it's listed. I thought Major you walk your dogs every day, why well, you'd have that problem. Well, I'm, I'm just saying it'd be easy if you just went outside <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> no, no, that's the boring way to fix it, you can't do that. History of diabetes It's not very exciting, mellitus. it's true. Blood pooling in veins, 
varicose veins of the legs. With one of these just going to say veins. death incoming or something. It's like, yeah, it's one of them. <laughs> Imminent death. That's not how you spell that. Extreme peril. Yeah, that's not May how you spell May die from it. old age. Of lumbar and then they got it right in the next one. I'm with you, intervertebral Heart explosion. Disc. That means my bad. Turbo AIDS. Turbo AIDS. Caused by excessive Baja and black. And of course, I can't breathe so good. So asthma and allergies. Look at the dog, just like, is he doing, he's doing his fucking yeah, rant again, again about how he's dead. He's <laughs> again. I can't, this dog. I can't wait until I get to go outside next week. Yeah, <laughs> really. Like really. Sonata playing in his head. As the other well. dog's actually committed suicide. <laughs> oh, there's a cat of Mountain Dew there. There's always a fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> on one side he has a can of Mountain Dew, on the other he has a bottle of water. It's like the angel and devil on your shoulder. <laughs> Which oh way, my Mr. God? Man. Which <laughs> way? So, he eats the dog. It's a waiting it's game now. Expectation. <laughs> and it's just about making the best of it. Yeah, no, well, lose weight. Failing in lose one, weight. Yeah. I hate the whole, like, it's too late. It's like, it's not, but okay. He's already had the operation by now. The operation that was like well, not even close to what he needed to do. That, Dude, the operation might was say that he had multiple. Is there like a history of? Oh, I think wait, he did wait. one. They did like a and whole then, South Park sketch where Randy Marsh was an alcoholic, and he's like, "Dad, why don't you just stop drinking?" He's like, "Dad, Dad, it's my Stan. vice. I can't, I can't stop no, drinking." You don't understand. It's my disease. <laughs> you get, get Dad another beer. <laughs> Stan! 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 <laughs> Alcoholism is a disease, but it's definitely not the worst disease. Enjoy what you got when you got it. Yeah. Sometimes that's the chicken case of the year. <laughs> Wait. So I better eat this and bitch about nothing being possible to fix. Yeah. Well, it's, it's if only there was something I could do. Here. If only there was something I could um, do. <laughs> if only. Well, no, I, I think it's the, the argument he's used before is like, well, it's inevitable anyway, so I might as well just completely gorge myself on any and all, like, um, any and all comforts, any and all, like, whether it's food or playing video yeah, games. Yeah, I have or a very lazy. limited time to be a hedonist. I better, you know. So I might as well like make the most of it. It, it makes know, so great, little sense it? to me. Well, yeah. It, it, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Because it's yeah. like well, you're not happy about yeah. it, clearly. Hedonists, mm. yeah, they burn, yeah, they they burn today, so you know they got to pay for it tomorrow and all that sort of thing. But like they enjoy themselves, right? You yeah, know, you at least there's that. that you know, they feast good. today. Uh, and even look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. Can you just be normal? <laughs> 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 Like, um, like, don't wipe your face and with this image. Who's gonna have this one? Is great. Yeah, sure. Decides yeah. to take a break because it was so depressing. It's the next bit. Yeah, it just fucking yeah. cracks me up. It's amazing that Boogie talks so much about inspiring people and helping lives, and then the guy who comes to do a documentary is like, I had to stop because I got so fucking depressed. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. it was but look at his lovely, 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 lovely home. Oh well, I mean, uh, you, you know the story about the. uh the Tesla, right? About when he was going to buy a Tesla. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah I'd yeah, forgotten yeah. about the Tesla. Because, yeah, that was the... He wanted to get the Tesla, and then he went on stream talking about how he did mm. want people to give him money so that he... Because the Tesla was like $100,000, and the repayments was something like $1,700 a month. Um, that's insane to me that you can pay that much for a car. That's, that's $1,700 just... $1,700 like a an, month is... That's, like, that's an that's, alien that's concept mortgage. to me. Dude, that's, that's a mortgage. An actual that's alien enough. concept to me. That's, that's a thing that's people like say that I just don't believe. Like, how can you pay seventeen hundred dollars a month for a car? Are you insane? Monthly house repayments, honestly, on a pretty decent house as well, <laughs> like seventeen hundred dollars a month. No, he's reminded of the the well. Tesla drama. Yes, about how he a hundred thousand uh, dollar car. Yeah, that was a lot of people's jumping off point. I don't know if they mentioned yes. it in this because I don't. I think they would have if they did already. Um, no, it's not in this. Uh, no, no, no. But the one that my jump off point where I was like, I'm done with Boogie is when he lied about the swatting. That was like the most insane. Sh I, I, I never heard anyone do that before. But um, he told oh, yeah. everybody. Isn't oh, that I, when, yeah. when, he, when he goes like, oh, yeah, I did it to confuse the troll. So they're, yeah. uh, they're going to snatch on it. Yeah. Dang, this is got kind of that, oh, I, got, I got swatted like show four him. times this year. Yeah. But then it was like more two times. And then he wasn't even at home or something. Like, yeah, he, he tried to convince everybody that he had like a. We know Boogie for 
Yeah, he tried to convince everybody he had like an off the books agreement with the police department that they wouldn't yeah, log people going to his house. Oh, now yes. I remember this. Yeah, yeah, I it was this. fucking insane. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which the police definitely didn't did do. Yeah, they oh, definitely had to totally. deal with Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> he's done this so many times though where like lie himself into a hole and then the company or like the because the police came out and they're like we didn't do this what the fuck are you talking about like he lied about getting hacked at one point and he's like oh see they got into my account through this service and they're like mm -hmm. yeah that doesn't work like that we they didn't get in through us what are you talking about oh it's just he's just gross He seems very sincere. What are you talking about? Yeah. The mood was overwhelmingly depressing. <laughs> <laughs> the mood was overwhelmingly depressing. Yeah. I am envious of his friends who only have to show up one day, one night every two weeks. <laughs> and then get a break. It was generally entertaining. And then get guilt tripped into you the realize, food and drink. Wait a second. Everything he says is depressing. Everything he says. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> when the director has to breach the like to agreement. Realize this guy is kind of a. <laughs> he says, "Is like the saddest shit I've ever heard." <laughs> I might have to edit all this footage. Editing on a laptop like a madman. I'm doing. Who does that? Can't put out. Who does that? A documentary that's Attract this guy that. the whole time, because I don't want my brand new channel. Uh, to be known as making documentaries about the most depressing people that exist. Mm -hmm. It's just like... Oh, it's pretty stupid it. to we start do, with. <laughs> we definitely do. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened to this guy? What the fuck happened? <laughs> well, it's Is it your job happens? to tell us? It's, it's all on record. Well, well, I mean, he's... Uh, he's I guess he's asking me rhetorically. Dude, yeah. could you imagine if he was like a fucking time traveler from like 2009? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna do a documentary on Boogie. Let's see how it... Oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh god, no. <laughs> Just think of the views, mate. 3.8 million. Just think of the views. Yeah. <laughs> not not bad for a first video on a channel. Well, thing he um he couldn't monetize though cuz he put too much copyright music into it, which I wonder if oh. uh Oh. Well, you may as well just now. left it original raw mm. audio to get the real experience, you know. Yeah. The boogie experience. Or just non copyright music. The boogie experience. Just you oh, saying God. that makes me. Comedian and a YouTube I invite a <laughs> mental health counselor, a comedian, and a YouTube consultant to assist in analyzing Boogie's downfall. <laughs> and, a, and a priest. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's losing right. what made people originally like him. It, it could be as simple as just that positive attitude. Why not use your only life? To make the lives around you better. Fuck yeah. So you, the man. problem now is when I see that, it's just like I, I, I. The You're idea just, like, that he's like it the whole time, weren't you? So, yeah. The, the kind of like the way that I imagine it is, it's like he was always this way, but when everybody liked him, it was really easy. But then yeah. once he started to get pushback, he was not good at handling it. That prompted more pushback. And then yeah. it just started to more and more wear down at the facade. When I look at that one now, it, it's just hard for me to not look at it in any way other than cynically. Yeah. You, it's none of your fucking business. It's my body. It's my choice. Eat shit. And over time, <laughs> in yeah. content, we see this shit. Yeah, this is once the thing. You made like a once deal. Again, his solution is eating. You made like a deal <laughs> with his subs. Like, being like, I'm going to work hard. And we're going to do this together. The, you inspire me. You motivate me. And in turn, I hope I can inspire you. Blah, blah, blah. And then you just like failed miserably. And then someone brings it up on stream being like, you know, you... You say all this stuff, you do all this stuff, it's like, what is it all for? And then you're just like, fuck you, I can eat what I want. It's like, <laughs> oh. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you can say that, but that's just not at all the person you were selling these past few months. And it's just because you caught him on a stream where he's not got his, uh, his fucking filters up. And he instead past few just, years. Mm. I mean, like a decade of pretending to be that. Mm -hmm. Shift where he starts to become more interested in money. I just like making content. I just like talking to a camera. I just like doing cool stuff. I just want ad revenue. I just want YouTube to pay me a fair- Yeah, there's loads of quotes <laughs> of him saying this. There's, there's one that comes later in the in the Mudaha conversation where he basically says, like, the reason he's doing all of it, like, the lolcow podcast stuff is like, hey, it's, it's money. It's gonna be money, so it's money. And it's just like, man, uh, th th this is the thing that we've said a couple of times, but, like, I just think it's so true. He thinks himself like a, a crypto narcissist person who's gotten away with manipulation without people realize, like, no, he's really awful at it, and he's really bad at hiding it as well. There's some stuff that's like super obvious, 
Like step one, don't ever admit that you're doing it all for the money. That's probably a bad <laughs> idea. Yeah, yeah, it's okay to say that I'm doing this because it's part of my job and I'd like to make money. Yeah. You never say I'm doing this because of the money. I just want yeah. ad rev. That's it. Yeah, I Give me just money. want the money. I just want the money. Remember there's the clip of him saying, I don't know if it's in this actually, where it's like, uh, you can pay for my Tesla. Yeah, pay for it right now. Give me some money. Yeah. I'd rather you pay for it yeah. than I do. So stuff like that. It's like, ugh. Yeah, yeah no, it's all about uh, what, right? Big mistake, that Tesla. Concerns about money. If I can teach you anything, it's to hold on to the money you get. Oh, are you trying yeah, to yeah, 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 people you're great giving that. you money? The answer is yes. Yeah, Give this is the Tesla money. one. And more interested in complaining. Oh, I you like those not. obnoxious OnlyFans girls or whatever. Yeah. Thank you. It's or only five dollars. Give me money. Just do it. Get oh, yeah. Give me embarrassment, dude. Yeah, look at people. Well, you think I was John Favreau? <laughs> oh, he looks—he looked so different. A little bit. He does look a little bit different. Yeah. The eras. Disgusting. Better. I'm a piece of shit. I will never function the way you function. It's not possible. Um, that's why if you're griping to your <laughs> okay. eats quesadilla. Were... <laughs> <laughs> well, rags. This is only joy in life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're trying to take it away if from you don't have this <laughs> quesadilla. Why live? For complaining to your subscribers. I mean, that just leaves a sour taste in people's mouths. I think my win. Yeah, yeah manipulator that, 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 is the main. Manipulator, the, manipulator, yeah, yeah. The big one. Yeah. It's like That's you said, as what was it? A misery merchant. Misery merchant. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Cool. I really liked what was the one Mahler said? Crypto narcissist. That one I like. I like no, that's that a good one as well. That was yeah, a good one. Where, yeah. where it's all it's narcissistic so comment. No, well, it's, it's he's still trying to be crypto. It just doesn't work. Yeah, he's just yeah. Not, he's yeah. really bad at it. Yeah. 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 It's like a double always... entendre because so much of his problems surround crypto. So it's <laughs> 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 oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's how one, it comes, right. it's the two pack together. How I got rich. How I got rich. I need your help. It's already closed right so if there was money to be made and making people feel depressed fucking sure boogie would be in the right business like that's just my life <laughs> philosophy at this point <laughs> just face down in the mud that's that's pretty much how we live our lives yeah yeah don't yeah. bump yeah. us into this just like this every single time <laughs> like, like he's constantly just complaining to this guy i understand why the fuck he left because if the only thing you ever say to me is oh my life sucks hope i kill myself later but i might not live you know like like ah you know all it is everything yeah you know everybody hates me i'm fat and disgusting can't help it i'm addicted to everything i just need to shove this down my throat like mm -mm. There's got to be more to you than just this. And then, you know, oh, the only things that bring me happiness are these incredibly ephemeral, stupid moments of, of watching fucking the Marvels. Like, what? what is... <laughs> I don't understand these people. I would fucking leave, too. I would absolutely leave this man. I would walk away and I'd be like, I'm not even going to edit this shit. It's a waste of my fucking time. Why didn't, he, why didn't he pick the gnome up and say, but you can always pick yourself up? Because dust yourself off. It's too obvious. Because it's it's not all point, over again. He doesn't believe it himself either. <laughs> yeah. If it it's not, it's not what he wants to do. Messaging, I'd say. The gnome needs to yeah. learn to, you know, to enjoy the dirt, wallow in there. <laughs> yeah, wallow in it. Yeah, wallow, wallow in that dirt. Yeah, yeah wallow, wallow in, in that dirt. misery. Wallow in that dirt. An oh, unexpected oh, medical bill. But is it? I think oh, is medical is bills should be expected at this point. Oh no! The last of my money. Oh no! To fucking music. Tell then. something. The music is so dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> All of that is just it. a fucking stay alive. You love it. Smile boogie. You love it. You love this. Or some breaking boogie. <laughs> yeah. There are plenty of. Is that Doc the guy from Resident Evil Four? The. He. Uh, I don't. It looked like he had the you, the guy the guy you fight the with the sword. This Krauser, right? Krauser. With the sword. Is that yeah, Krauser, Krauser, but a, a rubber duck? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, okay. Whack, it, comrade. You do Resident Evil uh, uh, rubber duckies. I know that. Yeah, this is the days. yeah, this is the mushroom oh, one. Yeah. Where he's like, "Oh uh -huh. my god, I've learned how much of a bad person I am. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's yeah, really well, destroying most me." Notably, I have <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Boogie. We love you. The taco truck. Boogie says, "Tell you a man." Of... <laughs> COVID narcissist. Yeah. Mm. Would be mean to me 
because I'm so pathetic, right? Oh, I'm so fat, I'm so weird, I'm so goofy, I'm such an old man. I'm so, I'm such a... I grew up in an abusive family and an abusive home. Mm. The truth about why I'm so fat. <laughs> That's a real video. That's yeah. an, old, an old video. Well, when look he at was those likes, like... 227,000 thumbs up. Yeah, that's a huge video. That's how he's coping. That's in my head and my heart is... is so vulnerable cool. narcissism has a number of characteristics. Uh, a person can be considered a vulnerable narcissist without having them all. So with vulnerable narcissism or yeah. narcissism, <laughs> yeah. you see pessimism. I feel defeated and confused well, and lost oh, all the time. I bet you Every do. day. Mm. Hypersensitivity to criticism. I can't handle this kind of hate. I can't handle these types of attacks. I can't do it. Reactive anger, so they're not really thinking things through. Is this what I have to do? <laughs> is this oh, what I have to do? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Boogie. This is it. <laughs> Need for admiration. Can I get a round of applause? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That that clip was. <laughs> That clip oh, is even no. worse in context. It's uh, someone in the audience accuses him of beating his wife, and he says to the audience, I want you to clap if you believe that I uh, am not a, a oh wife abuser. God. Clap, clap if you think I'm a good person. And then they all do. This is like, what the f <laughs> All right. Oh. Clap for me. The self centeredness. I'm the perfect victim. I'm, I'm the perfect victim. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You are the perfect victim. Please go ahead center. and dig deep. I sure would like a free fucking test. Leaving oneself to be special. How many kids went on to get 4.5 million YouTube subscribers? One? Not Steven uh, Williams! You're just watching the same things over and over again. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie, Boogie 90, 90, Is that the comedian? Yeah, it's my rambling series. It's no different from any other video I make because it's just me sitting in front of the webcam talking about stuff. Series. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. <laughs> God, damn. No, these these are the fucking uh these are weights around his, his neck, these videos yeah. that make shit tons of money off his uh, existence. You know what I mean? Like like, that should be my buddy. <laughs> that should be well, my what did, what did he say about Christopher Tom? Are you familiar with that? He was like, because the kid, Christopher Tom, had, like, cancer or something. And Boogie went on, and he's like, imagine you survive cancer. You get a second lease, lease on life, and you waste it by trying to take down mine. Or something <laughs> like that. Like, uh. whoa. <laughs> well, we've, uh, I've talked about it, I think, last time. It was a fringy stream that I was on, but... Do you know about, like, the comments he made when TB died? Like... Where he oh, at first God. talks oh, about right, like how yeah. oh you know so sad the TV's dead. He did throw me under the bus though. He, uh, Jesus. he came after me when I had made a deal with some shady people and told me I shouldn't have, which was kind of a dick move. But you know, <laughs> it's like, what? yeah, what a dick he was to tell you that you were being. TV like, valued his thing, integrity dude. over our friendship, which you know, hmm, okay, yeah. <laughs> man. <laughs> So, I mean, he can't tell when he says this shit. He doesn't, he doesn't register that it's coming out until it's too late, and then he's like, oh, fuck. Yep. And he does the reverse of it, where he'll say something that he could have spun to benefit him, and he'll only do it later, because he'll be like, oh, yeah, fuck, I could have... He doesn't realize quickly enough, oh, shit, I could make this, make me look good. Like, he's the guy who would be eating his Taco Bell and finally be full. Which, you know, whatever, but like he, he tosses it to a homeless <laughs> person by accident, and he'd be like, Oh, no, 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 oh, you, oh, you hungry? Oh, oh, look, here I am. Oh, someone get the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Never let a good deed go to waste. I'm not happy about I'm it. Happy about <laughs> it. <laughs> It's less than ideal. Life could be better. Could be better. Sick of the shtick. And what would you recommend to him now uh, to get his viewers back? Lol. I don't think he's getting his viewers back. I don't think that's a possibility. <laughs> Actually impossible. I don't yeah. see what the hell he could possibly do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what he could do. Like he needs to fucking neuralize down. everyone and then have talent. These things are not possible. <laughs> Damn it. I think the only thing to do now is go a different angle. 
but I don't even know if that's possible. I mean, it, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but how do you it's change yourself? Like, that. Viewers are smart. Like they yeah. want to see you. They want to see it's, what it's, you're he's interested spot on. in. He's absolutely spot on. Yeah, One of the, the things you can't not. deny from an audience is they're, uh, they sniff out sort yes. of like authenticity is one of the bigger yes. ones. And yes. Boogie's like the complete opposite of authenticity. Yeah. Yep. And I don't know. You got to get a job. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Get a job. Oh, no. <gasps> no. Well, that's not going to happen now, is it? Yo, oh, this is going to be complete bullshit, bad. this whole thing. I like that the comedian had nothing well, funny this, to say. This whole conversation, the, uh, <laughs> the whole message sounds completely fake when he calls Mike up. Yeah, well... I'm going I'm to go back to content creation. Um, I'm going to no, go back to entertaining sorry. people. I have a different perspective. I feel like that is... Oh, wait, should we get to it first? Reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I was going to say, uh, as to the comedian didn't have anything funny to say, you know for a fact the comedian understood all of this was like, good God, there's no jokes yeah, to make. Like, like, not, this... It's just too sad. <laughs> it's all so sad. Yeah. Why well, you got to bring me down? Starting over. Don, I'm Boogie or Steve. Okay, yeah, yeah. what are you? Yeah, this is the extended version, by the way, of this scene. Let's go with Steve. Okay, Steve. No problem. This what lady is the MVP of the documentary. This lady's cool. She's yeah. uh, she's the like audience that. insert for a brief moment. And and she is in Boogie's demographic. So oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> she's she's one of the only joys of his life. <laughs> and so you are here today. Because you are seeking employment. Yeah. You're seeking out new work opportunities. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about your background and where you think you want to go with the experience that you already have. Yeah, YouTube mm -hmm. was a lot easier for me because I got to set my own hours. I don't know if I can work where I'm supposed to clock in at nine and, Look and at him. check out five you. every day. And work from Today home. We're gonna go see it's 2023. He could be someone's editor. There's editors are wanted yeah. everywhere. It's just yeah. Yeah. Hunter to see if there's anything out there that would work for me and i i don't want to hit Listen, him what is it with me and my leg today he he's he's my... oh Wait. okay okay the, so the issue with your leg boogie is that there are two of them and they both have to carry you around all day mm. yep <laughs> the legs are like come on we need he's, a break he's gonna bring up the uh, ankle again though that's yeah that. the legs are like yeah. give me a break please no more and his heart's like oh shut up <laughs> you think you have it on. Get in line. Uh, he can sit down, but what am I supposed to do? I'm easily injured. Put me on your workforce. Oh. Hi. Well, I mean, with that attitude, huh? Yeah. Man, I can't believe I'm advocating to lie to your employers. Okay, what do you prefer to be called? Honestly, Steve. probably Steve. Let's go with Steve. Okay, Steve. No problem. Whatever you prefer. And so you are here today because you are seeking employment yeah you're seeking out new work opportunities absolutely tell me a little bit about your background and where you think you want to go with the experience that you are background have. i guess it is gray um, a flat a little black in tv i think lots of collectibles rubber ducks oh, i missed it. washed dishes in a mexican mm -hmm. restaurant but the owner of that business has been deported so all that's so, fine uh, and it's fine to be self-employed so Tell me a little bit about your current. Yes, it's not that much. Like, what is not very fine if you're experience? here. What do you do? So I've been making online video for about 17 years. Um, I was one of the like original YouTubers to really kind of blow up, mm -hmm. and my entire shtick has been about like pretend, pretending to get angry about video games. I do a character voice like this. You. you that's not even oh, that no. really. Why like, are you making the voice? It's not even really true though, because like most of the time you spent successful in his career yes they have the viral francis videos but the whole shtick was that he was a very normal very reasonable very happy and wholesome yeah. man mm. who created some skits for everyone to enjoy that was supposed to be the angle you sons of bitches i can't believe you ruined diablo 3 this is my favorite game you know and the kids liked it oh and, it's like boogie uh, does his greatest hit mm -hmm. uh then i got a divorce five years later and i kind of completely and utterly Lost my mind. I also got bariatric this surgery, so interview. I lost my major coping mechanism. I, which yeah, is... like, she's this... she's like an advisor of what to yeah, like yeah. where to go he's next. Like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I, I lost my wife, and everybody hates. The thing me. is, though, she's 
she's a tier above like the shock of it. It's more so the matter of it. Mm. And uh, now I kind of need to transition into honestly anything because I'll likely lose my house in the next six months if I oh, don't no, you won't. gainful employment. No, you won't. Are you currently doing any YouTube stuff? Is that still yes, something you're doing still, and you're going to continue mostly commentary. to do it? Yeah, I mostly do commentary videos now. I am Great. disabled. Let's say, so you yeah. pretend to be angry at video games? You don't even have the passion to really be angry at video games? Hey. <laughs> uh, Nick, you'll be able to answer this. Is there any kind of animosity in the commentary community for people who put hyper effort into grabbing all the resources to editing hyper, and then the people who just vlog and go, this is my commentary on this situation. It's not very good that this person's wrong. Not really. You got your, like, turkey toms and your right opinions and stuff like that, and then there's just, like, the daily commentary people. I I don't know. I, it's as long as you're not XQC. <laughs> so as long as you can <laughs> speak English, you get the pass. Yeah, yeah, that's basically it. Uh. Uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's oh, that. Now, the, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed. So there's mm -hmm. some mental health issues that we bring. Yeah, that's about. normally a downside. Yeah, and then <laughs> positive. Yeah, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references. Uh, no work. Man, history, put your best foot forward, aren't no you? Education. Yeah. And when you, I'm Google surprised you didn't say name, I could send you Keemstar's number. He'll tell you. He's <laughs> <laughs> my reference. You, get... <laughs> you may know him. I'll get, I'll get beat up for ten grand. I mean, <laughs> let's get right into the CV. See rumors that I. Beat my ex-wife, and I'm also. A <laughs> this is all just for the purposes of the interview. This is yeah. all, of course, alleged. Pedophile, uh, but that could be an issue uh, for employers. <laughs> She's that like, yeah, research yeah, that so could be. Yeah. 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 Oftentimes, it is. Yeah. So where did, where did that come from? I don't know nothing about. You got a well, you got a conviction for pedophilia? What? Uh, well, no, the uh, the conviction or, was for uh, the the shooting the gun and stuff, right? The gun. Oh, gun okay. was the, the one. Yeah. Oh, he shot a gun in his school zone. From? The, the bullet hit him. Oh, okay. He's a fucking <laughs> moron. Ex-wife, and I am also a pedophile. Uh, but that could. <laughs> <be> <laughs> he just threw that in there. He's gotta be. Yeah. He's gotta be trolling again. No, well, th th to be fair, th that well, was cut I mean, a bit. He said. True. He said, if you read things, you'll you'll it'll say I'm that. Not uh, that you say he is that. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Sorry, uh, as I understand it, afterward he's oh, now dude. trying to say like, oh, it was like an. Well, wait. It was like an. Well, oh yeah, yeah. Well, okay, I guess maybe that I don't know what other context you've got here, but yeah, let's mm -hmm. finish up. Employers yeah. that would research me, so if we can find someone who won't Google me, that would be good. <laughs> wow, well, Jesus. that's difficult. I mean, I can't, I can't submit your resume. Google to is free, and so request the yeah. Google. everybody has. And then yeah, physically it's easily accessible. I, I'm easily injured. Like I injured myself coming here today. I twisted my ankle. And then oh, my work at the Why did you walk in here then? You, oh, so okay. he's done it again. This is the second uncle roll. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like he's just making it up as it goes along, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Hmm. Oh, 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 my ankle. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, I guess I can't work uh, anymore. No, if only there was something I could do. <laughs> if anyone's looking for a treadmill, I'm trying to get this out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Getting that out of my house is only one of the only few things that he gets enjoyment out of, okay? So. <laughs> the depression and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I mean, I do have some pretty big references. Keemstar. He... I, wait, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is an absolute... Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't know he was going to say that. This oh, is the extended cut. Kid behind a camera. Mm -hmm. You know, kid behind a camera. McJuggernaug gets my... I worked with him. I had a, a small company. Kid behind the camera has nothing to do with it. Is it McJuggernaug like the one that gave him the uh, crypto advice? Yes. And now they've they've uh, fallen out because of it. Yeah. I, well, because usually I, the way that he spins it is, yeah, it was stupid that I did it. I took advice from this person. I took their advice. But, you know, I was stupid for putting my money in crypto, but I took their advice. Mm -hmm. Like, that's kind of the way they'll always spin it, is always make sure to throw in, I took their right. advice. Right. I'm Green blameless. <laughs> Charles Green. Well, no, but, but he, if you said that to him, right, he'd be like, no, I've said, it was stupid that I did it, that I took his advice and put it in the crypto. It's like, <laughs> I, yeah, listen yeah, to yeah, this yeah. man, uh, that put go, his yeah. words as he told them to me, and then I took the advice that he gave to me, that I listened to, 
stupidly listened to, and that's my fault for listening to his advice. Guys, if I just was such a, I am just too good of a listener. If his advice was better, so well. you know. Listening yeah. to his advice is one of the very few pleasures that Boogie get. Okay. I do find the idea mm. funny though. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I, I do find the the idea of like, oh man, my future is in crypto. All right, I'm uh, I'm on the up and up. <laughs> Ethereum, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Well, it is funny afterward. Oh yeah, Ethereum's a safe investment. A sa Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. so you do so have that's the thing I like about crypto is its stability. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. could reach out yeah. to and call upon to give an example of what their experience was working with you. Yeah, I can't say that it would be a a, a a glowing review, but it would be a review. Should uh, mention I'm also a felon. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, I should mention. Okay. What's the nature of your felony? Aggravated assault. How old is it? <laughs> About two years. Okay. So I think there are some avenues you could explore. I definitely don't think it's impossible, but you uh, have some challenges. Yeah. Lots of things <laughs> oh, about yes, your mindset. That's the word for it. And you're using you can say that. weight. I like how she said that. That was good. You gotta, you well, gotta yeah, this, the this part. This yeah. is the best part. This, 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 this is the good part. Yeah. But you oh. have some challenges yeah. <laughs> lots of things in life are about your mindset and mm. you're using weight and disability i can't i can't i can't if mm -hmm. that is the attitude that you're going to have when you approach everything then you can't and you won't shock i did work in the Get porn industry wrecked. for the better part of seven years so uh, i mean whoa really, i'm sorry really what think See, that so was she, a she, hard transition she she, she just you? highlighted to him like it's the attitude is the problem and then his response is like I worked with porn for, in the porn industry for seven years. <laughs> I just like she's she's a little not stupid, so she's just like, okay, so you're every, just fucking around now. Thing, then you can't, and you won't. I did work in the porn industry for the better part of seven years, so uh, I mean, be real with me. Do you really think it would be a good idea to go to a real <laughs> interview and reference porn? It depended on the job, I would think. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, 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 see why his friends love to come over once a week. <laughs> Make some porn with him. Uh, what would Never you twice a week. <laughs> Jeez. think his chances are here of getting employment in the next three months? I'm not sure when it comes to the felony. We would have to seek cor corporate approval for that sort of charge in order to proceed forward with a candidate. And they would ultimately be the ones to make the decision as to whether or not we would feel comfortable. <laughs> that's a picture. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's definitely a picture. <laughs> Presenting someone like that to our clients. Oh no, really? Crimes or Hey, Mike. Um, you tried so hard, it, though. Uh, oh, I know we're making this documentary and everything, and I know you think I need to get a real job, but I just want to let you know I'm not going to. I, I'm not going to walk into some job <laughs> when I have 4 million <laughs> subscribers <laughs> oh. on YouTube. I'm one of the original YouTubers. Oh. What I'm going to do instead is go back to making content, go back to telling stories and entertaining people mm. and making money doing it. Uh, you want to check back with me in a couple of months? Let's see how things are going. All right. We'll so, so you're saying you you so, thought that was like fake as or? I think yeah. I I think. Uh, well, he that, definitely sabotaged let, it. Yeah. Let me yeah, present yeah, the alternative read. Fake. Let I, me I present the alternative. Oh, on. actually, finish finish your thought. Well, I was going to say, I think it's pretty clear that there was no legitimate intention to get a real job. No, so that, that part everyone agrees on. He sabotaged, yeah. This, this would be how I would interpret it. He said to him, go get a job. And then Boogie said, okay. But he knew that he was never, ever, ever, ever going to try and do it. And so mm -hmm. he sabotaged it. And then in this call, he's basically saying, yeah, I ain't fucking doing that. I don't want to get a job. And then in, in the, like, in, since this has happened, he spun it as, yeah, I was doing a bit. I was doing, that was like a meme. I was doing a bit. I view it much more as like intentional, deliberate, not intended to be comedic sabotage. It was going to be but, good, like, he went in there, yeah. like yeah, content he's no, for the he's doc. No, he's never going to get a job. Good content for the doc, but not actually, not not going to actually never, do it. Ever, ever going to try, and that's yeah. why he said all of those things. 
But yes, that lady was uh, she's my favorite person in this in this documentary. Mm -hmm. So good, she's, so much. she doesn't even buy into like the 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 bullshit he's doing. She's just like, stop, just you're being stupid. Well, yeah, that's what I like so much yeah. about it is she she's like she's she's multiple levels above in terms of her yes. interpretation of it. She didn't know anything, and she figured the whole thing out like straight yeah. away. <laughs> that's great. But even the other woman, the the one that got Imagine. cut out of the documentary, the. Uh, I don't know what fashion the lady. Was. Fashion lady. Yeah. Fashion lady. She was. She was. Like, this guy's a fucking clown. I bet she just left and never. They never heard from her again, or she never returned the calls again or anything. <laughs> Go lay down. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. So oh, I mean, no. Oh, no. Me Things are great. Um. Uh, people are still mad at me on YouTube. Negative <laughs> fifty thousand <000 laughs> subscribers. <laughs> They remembered uh, they were subbed. Get <laughs> <laughs> for numbers are pretty much close to zero. I'm having trouble breaking 10k on an upload right now. So he just didn't go get a haircut again after. That's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, not cutting his hair is one of the only joys he has in his life. And uh, <laughs> not not everything is bad. I've got at least one good thing going on. Uh, I show you. They got oh, a no. fucking Taylor Swift quote. I love yes, Taylor Swift, <laughs> truly <laughs> the philosopher of our age. <laughs> if the chat didn't know what was coming, <laughs> yeah, chat. <laughs> sorry about this what? one. <laughs> the dogs. This is Desi. What? Desi. Oh yeah, you don't oh, know. No. You don't oh, know. No. You don't know. Yeah. I don't oh. know. Oh no. What? You're not a boogie fan. You're not a booger. What? They met when she was 19. Oh my! Oh. And Selzy got no excuse. <laughs> Look at them having a romantic McDonald's <laughs> meal. Do the math for you. At least once a day he cooks them in in that kitchen. Oh, of course. Uh, you know what? This th they this... should have showed it. They should have fucking showed it. Cook a meal, boogie. Do Rags, it right how now. can they What's show it? There's fridge? no footage. None. This this never happened. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They needed to get footage. I would have been like, all right. Tonight we're making a meal. That would have been no, funny we're as not fuck. Going to the grocery store because you obviously have stuff in your fridge now because you do it every day. He so like pulls out a pad a that he's like, "All right, there we and go." <laughs> <on it. laughs> he puts a plate on top of the pad, like <laughs> hands upside down on the stove. He's like, "How do you turn this on?" He starts gnawing at the wooden ladle. Fiber. I like him. He's His daughter's going through a lot. <laughs> wasn't his um, wasn't his ex-wife called Desi as well? Yes, that's why people start assuming that he named oh. this girl. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> he was that's like, oh, no, it's just a coincidence. It just doesn't really. Why did you say that right? name? There was just something there. What the yeah, fuck is her angle? Well, uh, everyone assumes that maybe she's going for his life insurance. <laughs> 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 she's had no. Well, he he did not have the money for that. Yeah, it could also be that he's taken full advantage of a very damaged young girl. Wait, wasn't the thing yeah. that uh, maybe, maybe? he said that they bonded over trauma? Wasn't it? That's something that he that's, said. I kind of, think she's fucked up in the head. I think that's. I, I think that's. Well, I yeah. think that's Occam's razor. Actually, I think that knowing all this, I I, I think that's what safe said, to say that said. Taken full advantage of a damaged young girl. That's that's kind of the summary. I can't. I I got a man. Oh well, we'll see. I guess we'll see. We yeah. spend, we're the same person. Same uh -huh. thing. Look at me. No, she's got to plan a fucking. Old. She's got a plan. <laughs> I hate to say this. It's gonna look like content for a lot of people. That's what it's gonna look like. Dude, she's gonna inherit so many fucking ducks. <laughs> Yo, she's, after a duck. she's, oh, she's the, heiress, the heiress to the duck fortune. <laughs> hey, they could um, duck dynasty. call her Miss Peabody. They can cosplay James the Giant Peach, Aunt Spiker and Sponge, right? Ooh, Ooh. nice. That's wholesome, as it's not what, sad. What brought you to Boogie? Well, <laughs> claiming somebody's life insurance is the only thing that gives me, <laughs> me joy. <laughs> <laughs> they were so there for it. If I propose right now on camera. I'll say yes. And I'm not Jeez. alone. Oh, so look, he's petting you like a dog. <laughs> oh, well, I got three dogs figure. now. That so was last year. <laughs> I don't ever want to be alone, Again. so I just, I don't ever want uh, to I, I just, I... She maybe she's like oh, she's mentally fourteen. You should yeah. not be doing this. I want to be alone? No. So Moved in after three months. Wait, how many people are, mo are living in there now? I think it's uh, her and the other guy. 
Yeah. Mm. I get him. I get him his water. I, you know. I, like, like, I get him his water. <laughs> you mean his Mountain Dew? <laughs> his Mountain. Yeah. Yes, you're the Mountain yeah. Dew yeah. 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 You're the Mountain Dew Gopher. I, I just. <laughs> Dust off his arcade machine. Yeah, she's a bang maid from Always Sunny in Philly. Yeah, sometimes I, I pick weeds. I'm not just doing this for the better. documentary. Yeah. This is so like what? we did this for the one time we ain't doing it again. Put it in the yeah. fucking dock. Just okay. pull them off. I'm not doing a good job. I don't do this very much. <laughs> yeah. Would you just have one of those tools? Very much. Interesting. <laughs> well, the theory is they bought these tools for the dog. <laughs> yeah, she handles it so deftly. Yeah, she's know? so familiar with it. For a all the time. Oh, jeez. What is and he doing here? Snapchat. That means you're a creepy dude. Turns out my theory was right. I have a Snapchat, and I am a creepy dude. Oh. Um, all right. Are you going into the Matrix? What's going on? I found that person, and they what, have. I, I, I legit don't know what he's doing. And I get that it's a sleep study or something like that. To yeah, date oh, somebody something like that. half your age or younger. I thought it was but medically assisted suicide. People can call me creepy <laughs> if they want. Canadian, Canadian healthcare. Yeah. It literally said people can call me creepy if they want. It's like you just called yourself you creepy. You called yourself yeah, you, creepy. <laughs> you got that one covered. Happy, and I'm happy. Then I will be the biggest creep you need me to be. What? No, don't as say long that. As her and I'm so blowing my fucking mad. mind. I gotta see. Well, like, what the, what's the angle here? I don't understand. <laughs> Poor you. He's trying to make happen? sense of all this. What's the master plan? There's got to be something. Sexually, we oh, both no. seem to be Sexually, having an not that. excellent. Oh, brace yourself. Oh, oh no, I this is not the. Why was the dog on the bed? That was weird. That's not nice. She's a very. I'm sure she's very pleasant. No, don't take off. No, uh -oh. don't do it. Ah, the soap in her eye. No, don't. Oh god. No. Ugh. Stop. Frame it. Oh, no. Every frame. No, no don't no, do that. No, no. It's not in there. No. Fast forward. I figured no. that. No, every frame. No, no. I figured. I figured it was better this time. Did you? I did. Okay, I'm good. sorry. I saved good. chat. They could just listen oh. to all of your screams. Uh. <laughs> Oh no. Ugh. This displeases the rags. This is also the extended version of this comedian roasting the fuck out oh of Boogie. Oh my god. I don't think I've seen the extended version. $27 in drinks, you yep. fool. Yep. Uh, yeah. Think about that's like 50 <laughs> Mountain Dews. <laughs> that's like a whole <laughs> silo of Mountain Dew. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you could see it, but. <laughs> 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 in the front here, and I think. Did you, what are you? Are YouTubers on there? Yeah, yeah, I've been. Uh, all YouTubers are off 17. That means he told right? you. You've been on right? YouTube for 17 years. Four million subscribers. Four million subscribers. Okay, I didn't ask for your fucking. I'm just. 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 Oh, all right, you're just proud that you're proud that he has four million subscribers and you're not one of them. Like, uh, I mean, I'm sit down comedian. You're a sit down comedian. What? Why would you uh, say that? Sit down comedian. A sit down comedian. Okay. That was, that was an okay joke from him for once. <laughs> I think and he was serious. Down. I don't know if it was a joke. Like, yeah. I think, I think it was, it's got to be a joke. Hopefully. Well, no. Does it have to be? <laughs> well, no. Listen, I'm going to give him credit for like the one second out of the 59 minutes, 39 seconds we've been watching. <laughs> That's what I'm giving him. Your, it's, my, it's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend, who is much younger than you. Is yeah. suspiciously... <laughs> I mean, he's, he's not a adult. He's <laughs> she, that you know, it's never good when you say, "Well, she's an adult." Yeah. Oh god. That's not the. Okay. Oh uh, god. There, there is a there's a 29 year age gap. So it's why would you? Why would you? Loves the humiliation. Loves it. Yeah. Loves yeah. it. Loves so, it. Loves it. Tempted to look up. Yo, y'all are clapping like if you took your age and minus 29 from that, it would be you'd be on the next episode of To Catch a Predator, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 30 years younger, man. 
and he's crushing it. 30 years younger, bro, 30 years younger than you is gonna be like 14. <laughs> How old is she? She's 20. Uh, okay, so you're, t all right, okay. I hope that's water in your glass, miss. So she's 20, yeah. and you're 49. Yeah, I just turned 49. <laughs> have you ever thought about the fact Wait, that she's was just it? Did he hand her a glass of... Yeah, I assume she has water in her glass, or whatever. I don't fucking okay. know. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so you're, t all right, okay. I hope that's water in your glass, miss. So she's 20, <laughs> yeah. and you're 49. Hey, I just turned 49. Yeah. Have you ever thought about the fact that she's just waiting you out and trying to think you're full <laughs> of pain? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> She's like, you just exposed my whole fucking plan. Really? You're not supposed to say it out loud to our faces. <laughs> Oi. I'm out. I, I, I'm broke. You're broke. I'm broke. Oh. Yeah. Four million subscribers. Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. How did you guys end up meeting? Uh, she she watched a couple of my friends on YouTube and saw collabs and oh, decided yeah. to write me one day and. Yeah. She, she Not even your own YouTube, fan. Wrote you a text and you <laughs> said, This has never gone wrong before. <laughs> <laughs> Responding to a young fan on the internet <laughs> seemed to work out for Chris D'Elia real well. Um, oh. Uh, hey. Okay, and, and, and so now you guys are dating. Are you from here, miss? No, I'm not from here. Where are you from? I'm from, like, from Missouri. You're from Missouri. Okay, okay. so not, not a long business. What is it about him that you love so much? That he doesn't judge me. He's he doesn't judge you. Yeah. That's sweet, because, you know. That's <laughs> sweet, because, <laughs> you know, because, you know, we all are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone in this room. <laughs> the world that he lives in is full of judgment, so I get that. That's a nice way to put that. I do have to say, man, you are the youngest looking like person in his 40s I've ever seen. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's right. probably because I'm guessing you spend a lot of time indoors away from the sun. <laughs> oh, I <definitely>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just windows closed. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean to hate on gamers, man. I just, I get it. I, you know, I get it. Like you guys, that you stay, you stay forever young. Also, I, I will say this, all right. Uh, I've never had a couple in the front row of a comedy show just both show up in various types of Crocs or slippers. Like that. <laughs> yeah. You guys, it's weird because your footwear choices are the same things that people in their, in their late 50s choose. They're like, we're gonna go out, honey, we're gonna grab the milk, and we're gonna go right back home. <laughs> That joke would have been better if that guy hadn't dropped that glass, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you guys are together. Any oh, thoughts man. of marriage? Or are you married already? We, we talked about we it, talked yeah. About yeah, marriage. yeah, yeah. Children? Maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, God, can you imagine? Is he, is can you imagine? Time? I don't want to. Stop. That would be cruel at that point. Like, Don't make me. Yeah, I mean, the hell, Matt Jarbo's got a kid. Fuck it. Are you married already? We, we talked about we it, yeah. We talked about yeah, marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Children? Maybe, maybe. If, why do you keep looking? Is he? Is this a sex trafficking situation? <laughs> <laughs> like how that—that that was a line cross. Like, don't fucking imply that. Jeez. Never answering the question. Hey, hey. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. He just starts Who's aggressively that? blinking. I feel like, oh, is that? That's a little close to the heart. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sex trafficking thing. Yeah, I don't want to be sex trafficking anybody. You don't want to be sex trafficking? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of... Well, you know, that's good, because none of us do dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I, I too am human. The Missouri kids, they're all for it. Right, yeah. I hate it when people single us out. I hate it when people, like... We're going to do that, that the front row. Expected. Yeah, it's right. I love it. it. Yeah, and playing also, into yeah, it and along with it right up until that last joke, huh? Yeah. This might hurt my reputation. Mm. Oh, wait, Ooh. never mind. Fuck him, right? Yep, fuck him. Yes, have sex with him. I will, Boogie. So, like, <laughs> with regards to this whole thing, right? Like, I'm not going to infantilize some girl, right? Either mm -hmm. she's an, an adult or she's not. And if she I, is, I she can make what whatever fuck? fucking decision she wants, including who is she dates for not being an adult and, and what <laughs> age that person is. I'm more concerned by Boogie's reaction to this whole thing, where he is clearly platforming her as an accessory yeah. in order to fulfill his degradation kink. Mm hmm. I, I, I think that what he did there was disgusting to her. Because of how he essentially served her up as, look, I need you to see this so that you can insult me so that I can be the center of the discussion again. 
he had to have tell, told somebody that he was a YouTuber. You don't just go to a comedy club and sit down. And they go, so you're a YouTuber, right? Yeah. He told people, I'm a YouTuber. I have millions of subs, and I'm going to mm -hmm. sit in the front. I'm going to sit here with my young-looking girlfriend, and I'm going to have you point her out so that I can be the center of this discussion again. This is like the terrible version of Ratatouille where Remy's dad takes him to the extermination shop and is like, look, see how the world hates us as a way to try and bond them together. This is the nefarious evil version of that. The world hates us. Going to us. the front row of the comedy club. See, the world hates us. They don't understand Just because we love each other. You. That's all we did I, wrong. I mm -hmm. understand you. I get you. I won't judge you. But all of them, they hate you and what you're doing yeah. in us. You should stick the, the, with me and never leave because the world can't accept you. Manipulation earlier. This is very classic manipulation. This mm. is, I've set it up perfectly so there's only one outcome that can possibly happen here. Yeah. I'm sitting in front of an insult comic with my young looking girlfriend. I've told everybody I'm famous. I've told everybody, you know, that, that there's this huge age difference. I didn't have to say there was 29 year age difference. I didn't have to say that. I immediately surfaced it up so that you could make the joke so that mm -hmm. I could be the center of attention. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's Pretty a much. narcissist and, and a manipulator yeah. and holy shit. You know, I've met Boogie several times. I didn't I didn't mention that before this because it's irrelevant. But 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 like wow, conflict of interest. I knew wow, it. Wow, bias. <laughs> Your friends. It, it doesn't make sense. To, yeah, are, you are, you are you the only joy in his honest? life? <laughs> are you young enough to be married to Boogie? Or are, are you, you the only enough? thing in his life that brings him joy? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing is, is that the, the last time I saw him, right, uh, um, we were talking at a convention uh, and he spent a good 35 minutes just trauma dumping at me. And at that point, I was remarkably, I don't know, I don't want to say sympathetic, but empathetic towards it. And at this point, I'm now looking back at my own fucking life and going, holy shit, Boogie, you even manipulated me. Wait, which convention? Uh, I go to too many games a lot. Was this the one? Oh, okay, no, because there was one this convention right where he, he found out. No, no, but there was one convention where he found out that iDubs might make a content cop on him, and and there was oh god, I wish I had fucking something to show you about this. But he was going around talking to YouTubers, telling them that like when he dies, he could be like the martyr this community needs to like end <laughs> YouTube bullying, and he was going oh. and pitching this idea to like big YouTubers. <laughs> It would have been 2019. I got a photo of him actually doing the Buddy Christ because that's what I thought would be funny to me. Um, but but that's like he, he spent the whole time just just trauma dumping at me, mm -hmm. and it just never like I was always like, wow, that sucks, man. Like, oh yeah, this is happening, and this is how. Eventually, the security guy had to come in and force him to leave. And, and <laughs> <laughs> just I just oh my god. Like this, th that section right there is just so very bad, and I don't know how you could come away from it and and, and think anything positive about this man. He's not manipulating me. I love him huh. for him. He doesn't ah. control me. We're Let's a walk team. slow. He supports me and everything I, mean, I do and everything I want. He's he's my support. He's just nuts perfect. Walking this slow. Boogie's just perfect. It's a love walk. It's a romantic walk, Rags. It's not about the walking. It's about being together. I just yeah, don't fucking I, uh, get it, I man. guess I'm too busy for love. Let me get Look at him go. a Mc... Buy the fucking McDonald's. Uh. Crispy, <laughs> deluxe... <laughs> deluxe if, if anything you're eating large. starts with crispy deluxe, don't <laughs> buy it. <laughs> Or muck. It doesn't matter if that shit is a crispy deluxe broccoli. Don't <laughs> buy it. It's a trap. What do I think about his dire financial situation? McDonald's. I think it's scary. Yeah, what's so scary about it? Um, that he might lose it all in a day. He might just be homeless one day. But no, is this so? Many... The fucking thirty thousand. He hasn't even cashed out a bitcoin yet. Like that's a huge net. That's uh, he's just unwilling to use. So if I'm broke, if I go broke, okay, if we end up back on disability, it's like all other nights. It's me, you, and Chad living in some small apartment. <laughs> the guy's called. Why Chad. is he bringing the roommate? Guy named Chad. I was say, why are you? Why is your gaming chair here in the living room? <laughs> it is underrated that the guy is called Chad. <laughs> Chad.
By the way, there is a Mountain Dew in frame. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they hid these like Easter eggs. For, like, a nice if spot. you find the bowl, you get a free you. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Can you find the 49 Mountain Dews and unlock the secret at the end of this video? <laughs> And we're eating McDonald's every day, and that's treating ourselves. Why? Oh, <laughs> you don't even treat it her to McDonald's. <laughs> you gonna be able to handle that? Yeah, you I guess it's that? me, you, Chad, and McDonald's. It's McDonald's. me, you, and Chad. <laughs> Do we ever see Chad? I don't Does think he... so. They couldn't pay for his likeness. He's too big. <laughs> I would like you to recall I bought you the crispy deluxe burger <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> it was so romantic. Living like kings. Bought... Jesus. <laughs> Because, I mean, I'm hopeful that people will... Does she get Happy Meals? Go back to watching it <laughs> on YouTube. I hope that people will be... Knows. I'm hopeful that people will, like... You know, I can go back to live streaming full-time again and do, like, six-hour live streaming. Yeah, that's a good fucking idea. You know, honey, idea. you could start... That's a <laughs> really good idea, Boogie. Yeah, you do, do, do that. that. <laughs> you know, honey, you could start an OnlyFans any day. <laughs> <laughs> you and Chad Boogie, could start know... an OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Boogie, you know, talking about it isn't doing it. You, you know, like you know every, that, right? There's a every difference. other streamer and like grind it out. But I mean, there is a very real possibility that one day I won't be able to do that anymore, and we're gonna have. Well, to that, that's a question some people have asked. Do like, why now. doesn't she have a job? I mean, because he makes all of his dis disabled excuses, but like she could, you know, she's able-bodied, correct? He's doubled. Yeah, she's living she here for free. Job. She's get a job. here for. Uh, I don't know what she's here for. I don't understand. <laughs> Pulling the vines, picking up the weeds. Yeah, that's the The arcade machines. She's here for like, like, terrible, terrible, awful, horrific sex. <laughs> yeah. Live off of whatever we can. Are you prepared for that? As long as I have you, that's all I need. Yeah, Boogie, you're great. As so romantic. Say it with more of an expression yeah. of, like, terror. She's usually like, such a sweet girl. Yeah, if he does Possibly be horrendously damaged. You know, Did he not, not mention that he has attack. cancer in this? I, I haven't seen him say it once. It's, He's got blood cancer. Show right? up oh, yeah, yeah. Once. Thank God there's so much blood in there to dilute it. <laughs> I am a walking time bomb. Fucking No, Boogie sorry. would never. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're having that's a true sad. human moment. Yeah. Look at that. We wish I had taken better care of my body. You can start the whole, now. You can keep doing uh, it. Now. The whole, the whole thing it. is so deeply uncomfortable, isn't it's it? It's so yes, very deeply uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Dude, he's lying to it. Like, he's like, <laughs> oh, you know, if only I could have taken care of myself better, we could have had a wonderful life. It's like, you're still eating McDonald's, Taco Bell, and fucking shoving yeah. Mountain <laughs> Dews down your throat hours. every day. What do you mean? Yeah. You're lying. The truth is that we like to meme about it, but you are only 49. This yeah. is like the a first yeah, world yeah, country still, in 2023. Still, you can't sell me on this. time left this if you actually like take care of yourself. Stan, I have a disease, Stan. <laughs> Get that a beer. <laughs> it's it's absolute horseshit. I don't buy it at all. The fact is that he's he's right now, if you ask him, it's like, oh, you'd do anything for an extra day with it, wouldn't you? And you'd be like, yeah. And it's like, so why not no. stop eating McDonald's? Like, but you understand, well, it's the, the only, only joy he has. Noise. It's the only she joy in his life. Sentence, and she looks at him and she says, you do anything for it. And then he chimes in, a Mountain Dew? Someone in chat Dew? said, I got fat. It's terminal. This is not reversible. I'll never be ready for it, but I know. Fucking music, the man. Fuck yeah, the, mu the music is... Girl. <laughs> It's the tiny touch of artistry that this documentary alone. needs. The oh, death of Boogie is a sad thing. We'll have too no more for me. content. Yeah, it's it's just I don't know what exactly the the aim of the documentary is here in terms of like what you're mm. supposed to think, but all I'm thinking is like Jesus, mm -hmm. holy shit, yeah, <laughs> what the hell is this? I actually appreciate that it's sort of shown without any sort of commentary, so that the music, man. Yeah, but the music well, is I, the commentary. Yeah. The music is isn't this sad? Whereas it's like no, this is disturbing. Yeah. Oh, it's just the bit where he's just told her everything that's wrong with him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, you know... vile thing I think I've seen in a long time. Tormenting her as well as, you know, everything else that comes with it. Vile. 
I've talked to my therapist since me and her have been together about you got to, it. What, is, what kind of conversations is he having with his therapist? The therapist he, oh, is, is just milking him at this a point. Therapist too? Oh my! God. Yeah, he's, I think he's had a, ther a therapist for a long time. Same thing when you learn to love yourself. I love the Christmas lights. When was the shot? <laughs> oh, uh oh, wait, right. are we about to That's get into decor? Boogie? That's just a little decor. I, I think I think we're transitioning into the boogie discovers philosophy for the first time in his life. Well, yeah, that'll Actually, be the uh, end section of yes. the doc. Then I turn to my doctor and I'm like, "You lost 200 pounds. What more can I do for you?" Fix yeah, yeah now it's up, up to you to change your ways. The doctor, the doctor, can you help me lose weight? It's like, dude, you just you had gastric bypass surgery. <laughs> you sold the treadmill for You've free. already <laughs> cheated, like in terms of science yeah. helping you. That okay? shitty shelf that you gave me didn't help at all. <laughs> I can no, barely fit me. any Mountain Dews on that thing before they roll <laughs> off everywhere. Well, they always fall off. And then I, can't I have pick to get your face fucking... to clean it up oh, for but me. Then he but that's the that's the ultra like 4D chess is see when they fall down, you gotta pick them up. It's like squats. So really, yeah. the treadmill was in your heart. It was the treadmill the tre was <laughs> the path to <laughs> the path to your salvation. The path to <laughs> joy. The, the path treadmill. to pure joy. That's right. The path to real joy. Me that I'm the one that has to fix it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Making it's a lessons. really simple calculus. It's pretty simple, okay. though. It's just so funny Stop to eating have the each meat. of these sections intertwined with just visits to the fucking fast food restaurants. It's like, yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just, it's what Brian what could said. it be, Mueller? What could it be? What does that have to do don't with know. anything? We gotta don't find out where well, his money uh, and his health are, are going. Are his, what are his earnings? <laughs> wow. Oh, look what it is. Remember, chat, this is where we brought you in on the story at first. Oh, boy. <laughs> How exciting. Hey, How very exciting. So, Mike, I just got off the phone with Keemstar, and he has a boxing event coming up, and he's giving me a slot on the card. You got it. This is 800 pounds <laughs> in one ring. This fight pays $10,000. Oh. <laughs> no chance against me. Which is true. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are going to see me win this thing. This is where I turn it. Man, all the around. undersides of those right holes here. haven't seen sunlight in years. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that defeated boogie there. Another loss on the road to death. Yeah. Yeah, wings. Redemption. <laughs> the redemption, <laughs> finally. Oh. Look at him go! <laughs> he was, he was intimidated in that. He was going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Here comes his punch. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> oh, man, still got a Meta PC sponsorship. Can't be that bad, right? So, since you guys were here last, I did have a bit of a win. Oh, this fall. part's fascinating. This fucking imagery, it's man. Bullshit. It's absolute yeah. bullshit as well. Mm -hmm. Which bought me some time here in this house. Uh, Literally. The problem with that is I spent more than 10000 getting that fight together. No, you didn't. Look, at, look at, at this. Meals. $2,000. $1,750 for a hotel? How long right. was he there? Right. No, 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 no. So Keemstar paid for the hotels. Keemstar paid for the flights. The only yep. thing that uh, Boogie had to pay for was the boxing lessons. We oh, just flat out lied here. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's actually, it's actually worse. So I oh, asked no. him before, uh, oh, oh, oh. I, I messaged him last okay. night before I got on here. So they paid for the flight, hotel, medicals, trainer. They paid for one of his MRIs. The reason there's two is because he got the wrong one. And he was also <laughs> no. paid $11,000. Wow. So we got 11000 <laughs> So, so wait, wait, here's, uh, here's the nuclear part, okay? Okay. When we asked Boogie why the fuck this happened, like how did this get in there, <laughs> he blamed Mike. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Good. Look, I said wow. it to you. He blamed wow. Mike. He said Mike fucked the numbers on this one. I don't believe. Wow. You. He did say it. How did me catch <laughs> it when he proofed the doc? He proofed the doc. <laughs> he proofed the and, doc, and, and, and also, Mike. and yeah. also, he's just he dead. says what he says here. Is that he basically had to? He lost all the money anyway. It's not just yeah. what the numbers were up; it's what he said when yeah. he was recorded in this moment. So mm -hmm. Mike would yeah. have had to fuck it up in a way Mike that would, well, just wouldn't Mike have would made have it possible. 
Mike would have had to have known that Boogie wasn't telling the truth right here in what he's saying. Would like, he? Maybe, well, play, play what Boogie says in full. Maybe go back so like 10 seconds. All that was done. Wait, yeah, let's roll it back. Let's see exactly what yeah, Boogie claims. So since you guys were here last, I did have a bit of a windfall, which bought me some time here in this house. Uh, the problem with that is I spent... He sold his girlfriend in trafficking. ...more than 10000 <laughs> getting that fight together. Oh, so no. by the time Just as the comedians all that foretold. was done, <laughs> all I did was put that $10,000 back into savings. So you guys were talking over it a little Perfect. bit, but like, yeah. how can he clarify this as Mike screwed up when his statement here while being recorded was, oh yeah, I spent so much money in the process leading up to the fight that I basically didn't make anything from it. How's that Mike's fault? You said that. It looks like, yeah, Mike has just tried to make the math work out. Make it make sense. Yeah. Which is because probably why Meals is 2,000, because he's just like, well, I don't know where the fuck all this <laughs> yeah, money's the, going. The, the first I'm curious, when, when how do boxers who get like, I don't know, under $1,000 for their first fight, how do they train? Like, are, are their Meals $2,000? Or is it just like <laughs> multi-millionaire YouTubers who are fighting... Well, so for fucking charity. Nah, that gets people Before like you would explain all that, when, when I saw this part for the first time, all I thought is, there's no way that none of this stuff was paid for. You're telling I me- I didn't yeah. buy it, yeah. Like, oh, you get $10,000, but you're not going to get paid for all of the things that are essential for you even being there to do it? That yeah. just didn't make sense at all. Because yeah. why the fuck would he agree to that? Yeah, because he's exactly. clearly in it for the money. Yeah, at that point you're like, not being oh, paid, you, which is the whole reason amount, you're signing you on. You have to pay more. Like, the what? issue with Boogie is that he got a prelim fight, so it wasn't a pay per view one, and those pay for like way more. Um, like I think well, yeah, this. I don't know if you know who Andy Worski is. He made like five times that. Indeed, I do. Yeah, but the, I, I, I thought everyone was clear that Keemstar was doing this for the internet memes, so of course he was going to pay them oh, yeah, to get them in, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, which makes sense. And the yeah, the idea that it's like I'll pay you 10k, but you have to pay for flights, boxing lessons, physical therapy, <laughs> any health checks, meals, hotel, gloves, boxing, boxing shorts, three hundred fifty dollars. What the fuck? Well, just, that's a sheer, Muller, That's a sheer material cost. <laughs> it didn't even work, Rex. <laughs> These numbers. Well, are really he didn't buy a good though. brand. Two thousand dollars for meals. I know, Why? He's just Why? Me. That's the most shocking <laughs> one. It's like, what were you the, buying? Mountain Dew really? wedding Dude, cake. His his pants were three hundred and fifty dollars, and they couldn't even. Three hundred fifty dollars for some shorts. And they couldn't stay up. Yeah, that's the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Apparent. Right. Wing said something along lines of, "If I've got this wrong, uh, chat or whoever might know, just correct me." But Wing said that our shorts were paid for, but the reason why Boogie's put his on is because they were the wrong size or the wrong something. The wrong trousers. So he had to. You, yes, you already the used that joke in, a, oh, in an did I? TV. Yeah, you did. It's not out yet, but you've already used that joke. <laughs> God damn it! This is the OG. <laughs> So uh, he had to go and get himself some I other I thought Fringy would short. be my biggest defender. Let Az continue fucking hell. <laughs> it's okay. So it's a fight. It's, this is a nothing burger. The boogie had to get some other shorts, uh, which didn't fit properly. That's why it was a cost of $350. Uh, and it cost $350 to buy $350 for pants. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, this, this is what I mean. So I think $0. Mike was told by Boogie he basically earned nothing. And he's like, so how did the 10000 go? And it's like, well, these are all the things that were... Like, I can't believe the idea that Boogie would, had no responsibility at all for the fudging of these numbers. He, well, he, he, would, he definitely wouldn't pay for gloves. He definitely wouldn't pay he's for He's the rats. source of all the information for Mike. Yeah. It doesn't make sense that Mike yeah. would be like, oh, you told me not to include this, I'll include it. Like, why would he do or that? Like, tell, oh, you, you don't just understand, tell me the numbers Mike, and I'll just put um, down different... <clears throat> You don't understand, Mike. I had to buy the Firefly edition of The Last of Us for PS5. <laughs> you can't put that on. Yeah, but... I we're, had uh, to. We're almost at that. that. We're yeah. Almost at that one. Yeah. Being in the new relationship is great, mm. but I mean, she can't help pay a twenty-two hundred dollar mortgage. Why not? Yes, she it's can. It's twenty-two hundred dollars. She can help. That's not. That's that's not that much. Go get in a job. I'm not getting it. I give it six it. months before they start making sex tapes. Oh no, God, Jesus. I already Christ. said, her and Chad are wicked on it. <laughs> <laughs> An actual... <laughs> Those two doing that is one of the only things that brings him joy in his life. 
<laughs> okay, let's go through my monthly bills Making for sense. a second. Uh, uh, monthly my bills. Here we go. Oh, this shit's so funny. I have five hundred dollars worth of medical bills. I have five hundred dollars worth. Uh, of don't don't take any issue with these until he got the list out, okay? Because yeah. we're gonna spend yeah, a while okay, looking I'm, at this I'm shit. Trying, okay? I pay for yep. doctors' visits, physical therapies, labs constantly. I still have to pay for the car. That I drive. I still have to pay for car insurance. I still have to pay for health that, that's, insurance. Diablo uh, yeah. 4 came out. I had to Welcome buy to adult uh, Final Fantasy. Diablo 4. <laughs> Just, look, we're going to get through it, okay? We're going to get the full list. Full <laughs> list. I had to get the Deluxe Collector Edition for the himself. There you go. We got it. Wait, why did Diablo come before groceries? It's, so here's the thing. I will I will give him every. I don't know if the actual numbers are accurate, but I'll give him all the medical stuff. And I uh, gotta get Diablo Four. I gotta get yeah. Final Fantasy Sixteen. Gotta get Just Tears fucking of the Gotta get Netflix it's and not Hulu. Like it's he's not, he, he, it's not even that he's why is Hulu seventy bucks? Dude, he's gotta pay for all his friends. And they metal's right. <laughs> These metal's right. These aren't investments. Yeah, he just he's not buys buying them. He doesn't for stream work. them. He doesn't make videos on them. Yeah, tax write offs as well, right? A thousand dollars on physiotherapy a month. Come on, fuck off. Come See, on. the funny thing is, like, oh man, I'm really struggling for money. Had to buy three brand new video games, three of which, all three of them would be enough to get you through. And this is discounting the fact, why don't you just get Game Pass? Just get yes. Game Pass and play all the games. Yeah, I don't think you even had to buy Diablo 4. Did also, you? wait. That on? Oh, well, actually, never mind. Is that. This... But the point being, is this monthly? <laughs> This is monthly, uh, right? Yes, this is his monthly. Why is Hulu seventy dollars monthly? That's what yeah, I Hulu mean. plus TV. Seventy dollars. It 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 is if you have the TV version. Oh God, maybe Jeez. don't. Maybe don't. Maybe yeah. Don't. Fuck man, Netflix that's crazy. You got yeah, Netflix. Then, you probably have Prime. I mean, that's something he hasn't included really, in here. You must have Prime. If you're on a if you're on a budget, YouTube is more content than you'll ever be able to take mm -hmm. in anyway. And if well, it back, like, okay, I gotta watch seven the C's, maybe. Insert uh, Hulu's the only joy he gets. You know, eight hundred dollars for groceries. I don't think I believe that. Bro, it just killed me. I mean, like car insurance, car payment, Diablo Four. Like what? The yeah, fuck? Diablo Four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then my groceries. But I don't know. I don't know if I. And also, what's this? Seven hundred and fifty dollars on dates. dates. Yeah. Dates. What are you doing? Dates, but dates are you going on dates oh, every right? night at McDonald's or what? Dude, this guy doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Seven hundred fifty dollar McDonald's <laughs> date. The crispy, the deluxe crispy. Oh, yeah. crispy yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> that, that ain't cheap. That stuff ain't cheap. Yeah, crispy well, like, it's funny. He's night. paying yeah. for all these other things that could act as dates. You could go on walks. That's free. You could then yeah, watch Netflix and chill. It's a classic. You can go on. You go on waddles. It does easy to do it. Waddles. I just, I, I like. I, and and it's funny that even looking at this, I'm like, I don't think I even believe the groceries one. I think it's higher than that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we're doing Uber Eats on this, bro. There's no way. There's just what, no what way. Two thousand bucks just for food. Yeah. yeah. Well, if he eats out that much, what? Why is he buying hey, groceries? Oh uh, yeah, can't even. No, but, but <laughs> how do you? Like, you can't yeah, buy like, fucking. You don't, you don't get chips and Mountain Dew like that's Yeah, right. Ice cream. The pints of ice cream he melts cream. and puts into a tube yeah. that goes cycles no, into no, his we room. Sell, oh, we yeah. sell them bitches by the gallon here in the states, my dude. So he, <laughs> you know, he's in the big old tubs. It, is, <laughs> it really is unbelievable. Like, oh yeah, I had to get Diablo Four. Are you fucking kidding? I had <laughs> to get Diablo Four. Well, so I think that he's exactly got enough that. of a brain to know that he's adding that in there, Whoa. knowing it'll piss people off. Like, yeah. He's yeah, like, I'm going to say I had I'm to get not. these games just to just to make people go, what? Oh, you don't so have jokes to. On you, I was pretending to be retarded, basically. No. Yeah. No joke. Well, he wants everyone to be mad at him. Ah, uh, so, uh, yeah, right. I get you. I would even the accept it, though, if, if it's his content, again. right? Like, he has to make it for, yeah. for content, but he doesn't. <laughs> well, yeah, where's his Final Fantasy 16 video? <laughs> That's what I'm looking for right now. Not what about yeah. stream? Looking for this did, uh, did he stream it? I'm no, typing into YouTube. Doesn't... Where is Boogie's Final Fantasy? Well, remember he said to um, video. to his GF, like, "Oh, I could start streaming again." It's like, why the fuck aren't you? It's like, oh, right, because you say racist shit randomly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. A, it's not me. a random. It's prompted by the things black people do to him. Like pay oh. him. <laughs> oh no! There. But if you take out all of it, yeah. you take it out. All I eat is sandwiches every day. <laughs> 
shouldn't eat <laughs> Boogie, you shouldn't eat sandwiches. That's a lot of carbs and bread. You it's just so it. funny though. <laughs> he says that like it would be some fresh hell because he's not getting McDonald's. <laughs> Can you believe I have to eat sandwiches? That's way different from a burger at McDonald's. You can't just put meat between bread. <laughs> All I do is sit here. Mm -hmm. I don't pay for any Netflix subscriptions. All yes, you I do. Pay for is Wait, that was on the list. That was on the list. No, he's identical. saying that if he was to wipe it all out, except for the health Basically, stuff. basically the, the story that he's spinning here is if I didn't spend on anything and I was absolutely miserable because these are the only things that give me joy in life, it still mm -hmm. wouldn't be enough. So fuck it. Yeah. That's the, that's if I pay for just that, I need $7,000 a month. Why? Where is the sympathy here? You all talk, you, this documentary is meant to go out to fucking regular people. Regular people on YouTube that work fucking hard and they probably get a pissy ass wage for their work. And you got a guy here who's had everything bitching that I need to make seven grand a month <laughs> to break even. Oh, woe is fucking me. By the way, do like all my arcade machines behind well, me? Well, don't forget. Got them all for free. He's got a direct connection to Keemstar who's desperately trying to set him up on a podcast that will make him money indefinitely mm. it's so fucking yep. annoying all the opportunities he has and he's still like no i just can't do no, nothing no, 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 no. he is completely making... out of touch with with people yeah. this is a guy that was a, meant to be a people person this is a this is a guy who people gravitated towards because he was saying things that they could relate to who's now sat in his ivory fucking tower bitching bitching to people he's looking down to about where's my fucking money yeah, complaining that this ivory tower is too expensive to live yes. in, but I don't want to yeah. leave, uh, don't want to leave because this bathtub is big enough for me. It's like, what are, what are we doing? Hey now, I don't want to leave because this ivory crazy. tower is the only thing that brings me joy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Also, I'm miserable all the time. Pity yeah. me, pay for my Tesla. It's yeah. the only joy. Seven thousand dollars a month, and I have no clue how to do it. Get well, a job, could... DSP. Yeah, get, <laughs> get, it, get yeah. a job, like, get a work job, harder, make more videos, money, you know? take advantage of the connections you have, do more interviews, actually, like, just make things, as crazy as that sounds. Try, try being sincere for the first time in ten years. I try think, I, I, honestly, I'm not even sure if he knows how to do it anymore. Uh, me neither. To me anymore. Neither. Yeah, it's all lost. <laughs> there, was, there was once a human in there, maybe. The, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. 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 room for plenty of humans in there, yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> boys. What does that mountain do for fuck's sake? Yeah, it's <laughs> a wise mountain do. It's a wise mountain do. Oh, there's, there's another one. There's another, there's there's another one. <sighs> so there's something I've always wanted to try. Is it mountain? There we go. Who can discover philosophy? Who can discover philosophy? Hey, let, it's psychedelics first, okay? And then this, you know, it's yeah, great. Yeah, can right. The philosophy comes second. Brains. Yeah. People who experience childhood abuse. People who've gone through trauma. Oh, true. We go post traumatic stress disorder. And I'm all of those. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'm scared shitless. No, you're not. It's one of the only things I haven't tried yet. So let's give it a shot. Well, that's McDonald's. <laughs> I went to the local shaman in the scariest <laughs> forest <laughs> on given, planet man. Earth. That's Ryan, Arthur. These Gilead are some North Gilead. American woods. And he lights his fire with gasoline. Stuff. Oh, yeah. There's one thing that's. No. <laughs> He's not an amateur. He doesn't do it just for a hobby. No. He's professional. He got paid for this. Exactly. He, got paid. he got knows paid. what's he got, up. He yeah. got paid in Funko Pops for this. In rubber duckies. Oh, that's a lot of duckies. Undeniable is that there's always this question about why. Why am I here? Existence. What's really happening? Existence? Who am Why am I here? Existence? <laughs> Why am I here? What? Existence? It's a question. Existence? See, I can't, I can't help but be like, so intro to thinking. Intro <laughs> 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 thinking. Yeah, try right, thinking on drugs. That's what happens when you seek out hallucinogenics. It's gonna look yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. like hallucinogenics. Hallucinations are real, man. Probably uh, nibbles on them a bit yourself before we started. To relax, the emotional stuff is gonna come out, trauma's gonna come out, Whoa. but afterwards your atoms oh, are gonna go back. He's stroking boogie. Original <laughs> <laughs> positions. That's why. Are you ready to eat the mushroom, my son? All one together. 
We're all connected. I think biggest like, trauma is that people can actually old... see who he is now. That's oh yeah. Name. Dude, the, I mean, how the how the the dark starts, right? It's like I, I used to be on top of the world, and I lost it all, and I'll never forget it. Like, yep, <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. You get to a you certain that, right? point of understanding. That's a, that's a big old chair there on the left. Mind. <laughs> that... Multi man <laughs> chair. <laughs> At least he can like add drugs. Oh my god! Oh, I, 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 I didn't even notice that chair it's is so wide. That's a oh, wow. chair. Holy God, <laughs> that can fit like a the one boogie, but three like three people on it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Connectivity, you realize your hands are basically playing like USB ports. Your hands are USB ports. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. I didn't expect so a professional. Oh to be God, getting a little familiar there. Uh, okay. Uh, it's crazy to think that something what? that just grows out of the ground has so much power. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 Something that just grows out of the ground you with so much fucking power. Fucking moron! The amount of like, things that grow from the ground that kill you if you eat it. <laughs> yeah, like, but also like, you know, you know, fruit and vegetables. Are fucking <laughs> 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 like, do you know? Do you know what this is, guys? He has no idea where food comes from. <laughs> I just thought it was at the supermarket. I just bought it. <laughs> they grow it in the supermarkets on the supermarket shelves. That's where they grow. It's so fucking <laughs> stupid that most of what we can eat in the world would probably harm us. And he's like, wow, the power to make me see things. This burger hmm. grew in McDonald's. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was... I'm actually holding Do they make these deep right fried? <laughs> <laughs> they're crispy deluxe. Oh, that, fuck, dude. <laughs> there we go. Those mushrooms are the only thing that brings joy there in us go. life. <laughs> no, you're supposed to measure those things. Oh my god. I'm amazed that's they not a Mountain Dew. Honestly, that doesn't taste too bad. Mountain Dew is something the shaman dry. drinks every, every morning when he wakes says up. Kind of earthy. Wait a minute, is the shaman drinking a Mountain Dew? <laughs> 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 It's, it's the deal <laughs> that Boogie makes. If he has to drink water, someone around him has to eat and drink Mountain Dew. It's like think, product placement. Do you think yeah. before he came out here, he had a shower with the, the Mountain Dew wash? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. How much will it cost me? <laughs> One Mountain Dew. <laughs> What are you buying, Mountain you Dew? With you on <laughs> what are you selling, Mountain Dew? You selling? <laughs> I can smell the Mountain Dew lotion on your skin, Boogie. Okay, so <laughs> I think we've been about... <laughs> he sits oh. on fire, it's too much Mountain Dew. About 20 minutes in. About 15, yeah. About 15. So we're about 15 minutes in, and I started to feel... Things are kind of wavy and kind of disconnected. It's kind of like my brain works on multiple channels and like I have to pick and choose what I'm concentrating on. What? Boring. <laughs> it's boring because it, it's just like... I have no clue where the fuck I am or even... Who. It's like a really shitty movie's attempt at replicating what it's like to be high, but it's actually yeah. just the boring experience of Boogie getting high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I reckon I, I don't even know if he is. Honestly, here. I don't even know if he is. Yeah, you could just be faking it. It's the second Imagine, part. Like regular of... mushrooms to see what would happen. Well, <laughs> you're talking over a flaming star. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, He's damn. a professional shaman. Sorry. He's a professional. The realization Apologies. of letting go. And we're going to get to the other side of it. Well, I see in the woods here. It's going to get nice and bright in about five more minutes. Yeah. And the reflection in the water is really cool too. So, what do you think was the first trauma that you experienced, which had, which basically set up like a defense mechanism for you? Why would you ask him that? <laughs> <laughs> Say some it's embarrassing shit for your documentary. <laughs> <laughs> they were in cahoots. Uh, yeah, I like the idea that the shop was just like comfy. Yeah, yeah the mushroom tastes a bit weird. Yeah. Anyway, so where's your trauma yeah, come from? Was... Like childhood or? <laughs> What wait, happened with yeah, your mom? Wait, one wait. guy and the shaman, what? Mr. Star, they were in <laughs> he paid him isn't, that, isn't that a Simpsons thing where Bart has to get a talk show and he just uh, tells one of the guys, like, let's just skip to, skip to the part where you say something embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be all of this documentary. Yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah, my parents are just crazy. They're broken people. Parents? Baron? Wait, my my <laughs> club, my club, <laughs> my club just super chat. <laughs> oh, did he? He said thanks yeah. for reacting to the film. No problem, dude. It's uh, oh, bet, yeah. it's been incredibly entertaining.
Oh, like, yeah. Oh, are you That's thinking you not right. killed yourself, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Funstein, you have brought us like, so much joy. If you need to talk to somebody, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can reach out. You can just, reach yeah, out. Just, I hope you're doing okay, because there's lots of shots of you in this documentary <laughs> losing your mind. <laughs> yeah, if you need someone to watch Star Wars with, let us know. And we'll <laughs> yeah. okay. If you want to feel worse about yourself, watch Ahsoka. No, oh. oh, we don't want him to kill himself. Cool. Watch it with yeah. Boogie. It'll be fun. <laughs> Boogie will just be happy that someone's there with him. Uh, Stewarts. Oh man. People who are like trying to. to, to oh, okay, okay. He's just right. his wallet now. <laughs> He's taking its wallet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where the professional part comes in. That's how he's a professional comment. He like, opens up the wallet and there's just like... Right there's like three dollars and a button. <laughs> <laughs> that a lot of sense, it was a Mountain Dew all along. Isn't it? No. no. You must sit from the dew of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't... I mean, that shit doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. That was the dumbest shit. Oh, and it happened so long ago. <laughs> like, I've just been waiting for the right time to just drop that shit. So, uh... Wait, what? When did you feel the need to drop that shit? Personality? Is thing I want to hear him say. Is that what was oh. that like <clears throat> what you uh, used as a Something I maker? find kind of interesting but also strange is the questions lead in a very specific direction. They're not very open questions. Yeah. It's like it, the questions leads to a sort of conclusion, which now I don't know. I don't know if that's like the the standard shaman way of uh, <laughs> writing people. I'm not very familiar with the way standard of the shaman. shaman. But, like I don't know. I just <laughs> is that how it works? You just it's just I, like you essentially I, I ask assume. questions that lead to the conclusion. Uh, yeah, he's trying to get to the root of something. I guess. Yeah. I, I, like I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm I'm not an expert in shamanism. Yeah. No. <laughs> you're Frankie, not. You're too modest. Yeah, we all know that you're an expert. Come on. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I, that, that's what I do. That's so, my uh, when I moonlight as a shaman. Yeah. Shaman. That's why you're so critical yes. of this you're shaman. Up there you in know. The moonlight, yes. You know how. Well, and instead of hallucinogenics, it's the goo. <laughs> why not? When did you feel the need of this separate personality? Is that what was that like? What you used as a coping mechanism to socialize with? Oh, well, that's exactly what it is, right? Like I don't know what the hell. I don't know how to communicate what I was dealing with or what I was going through, and I just... Right. We put on these different faces in order to deal with situations in society. Some might call it two-faced. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of funny. It's, it's just like... Is, is this like the first time that Boogie's heard of the concept of the persona? <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> like maybe. No, it has to be revolutionary. It has to be a blow, a mind blowing oh, it's just, epiphany. It's just so funny how like a lot, like all of the things that he realizes are like the most basics of like existentialism or nihilism or like the most fundamental ideas of someone like Carl Jung. <laughs> it's like the most basic, straightforward, like normal things. But he's nearly fifty. I just, yeah. it feels like he just needs an excuse to every morning come and say, I'm fixed. It's a new leaf has turned. Here we go. You try to yeah. give people what the hell they I'm want. I'm going to get back to content creation. That's right. Yeah. Oh my God. He's discovering people. the persona. Whoa. Here we go. Like that was the need to make up Francis or other personalities. Yeah. Are you ready to let all that go? Yeah. But in all fairness, the Francis videos just get demonetized now, so there's no. Yeah, he doesn't there. make them because uh, they don't make money. It's not at all yeah, to do with like yeah. something he needs to do. Exactly. He's already. He's already he's ready to let it go. Mm. Oh my god. This is the first time I've ever felt happiness. <laughs> that is absolutely <laughs> okay. an awesome. fascinating. Just to be, just to be clear, so does your uh, does your girlfriend know that you said that? <laughs> <laughs> does your girlfriend, does your, your ex-wife, does your, your magic friends? card? Does his your wife? Friend? Listen, yeah. wow. you guys are great, but you're not a mushroom I ate. So. <laughs> it's just it's no, such the, a great cap to the constantly <laughs> thanked. Oh, okay. It's such a great cap off to all the the theme of being like this is the only joy. This is the only joy. It's like he fucking takes a mushroom. He's like finally happy. <laughs> happiness. <laughs> <laughs>
I know we have to. This is the only after. thing that's ever made given me joy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I guess if, 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 if now you can just uh, drop that that house finally and get your finances in check. <laughs> yeah, Great. there we go. Good. Oh, good shit. Man, Guys, bitch. we figured out what Boogie needed to be better. Drugs. We drugs. did it. <laughs> These mushrooms only cost four hundred ninety-nine dollars a month. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Happiness. Like, <laughs> this is the first time. I've Another set. Maybe the shop was like, <laughs> "You're full of shit." <laughs> yeah, no, it's all, Even he's bored out of his head with this guy. Oh, you hear that? You hear what he's saying? Oh, 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 the voice is in his head. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Happiness. This is the first time I felt it. So what's this all, man? First time I've ever felt it. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Oh my god, he's watched Rick and Morty. Oh my goodness. It's all bullshit, Morty. It's none of it's real. Oh my god. Oh no, disembodied boogie face. Francis is just a persona of Morty. I don't know there. Francis is only pretending to be angry at can games, you, Morty. Can you get up? <laughs> Hello? Guys, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> now he's evolved. In he's in a new plane. Where's That's not an alarm oh, yeah. going off. That's the heart monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cared who I was till I put on the <laughs> 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 Nobody cared who I was once I put on the mask. He's literally Bane's outfit. I'm still not me. sure I'm like really literally. here yet. Do you feel in charge, Mike? Mountain Dew for the morning, Mountain yep. Dew. Just, it's, well, it's the morning Mountain Dew, we all have that. Let's, yep. Water, yeah. You gotta get them. Cells you powered. wake up, you roll Remember, out of bed, you, like you reach things. over to the nightstand, and you drink the warm ass half. Yeah, hopefully it's open, night. of course. <laughs> for convenience. Is, this, is, 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 the amount, is the Mountain Dew a sponsorship? <laughs> <laughs> you know for a fucking fact kind of, that they're I like, mean, stop the showing right. our <laughs> fucking product in your stupid documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Makes us right. look insane. Like, if, if Mike is still in you Mike, how much did Mountain Dew pay you? <laughs> You know what? You know they what try to pay him really to stop. Want to drink Mountain Dew is if they associate that with Boogie in their head. <laughs> a decade of failure. They're like, God, I wish I could drink more of this. If I was Mountain Dew, I'd sue him. It is 2023. Oh, is Mountain Dew. That's just, that's Boogie true. is more Mountain Dew than man. Wait, uh, you're man talking to do. Over Boogie's philosophical revelations. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize, Boogie. Here yet? Left another Dew. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at it, he inspected it. Dooby dooby doo. That's just, that's a change. Ooh. Jeez. Now he wants more food is a change. Is that's what he said. Wait. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, he said no food or more food. He almost he certainly said breakfast. more food. He said so I want you... breakfast, which is a change. Oh, so you had drugs and now you have the munchies. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. It's just all bullshit. Like, none of this matters. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh wow, he's discovered existentialism <laughs> for the first time in his life! Wait, he doesn't like the TV it. anymore! And then, and then, and then next <laughs> the like, TV no longer brings know, him that, joy! Did you know I heard that <laughs> suffering stems from attachment? That fucking blew my mind. That was the first time I heard this idea. I can't believe it's like, oh wow, I just realized that maybe everything is everything and everything is nothing. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> A construct. It's all. Insane. It's all a construct. Oh Shut my up. god! It's oh, all made god. up. It's all in your head. It's a fucking video game. Imagine Mike it's right now, game. like when oh. he's filming this. Oh. Like... He says, "I don't, I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere." <laughs> you know when you die? I think I died last night. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not so, so yeah, ego death. Yeah, you were yeah. not so lucky, Boogie. <laughs> I don't know. You had a pretty big ego there, dude. I don't know. No, but it's the ego death. He had the ego death, yeah. and now he's mm. reborn a new man. Oh, right. He died in the pit. Yeah. He left as a man. Yeah. You've left your show a door open, I mean, by the way. This only lasts for like a couple months. I think I went back it's into a leap of faith, Boogie. The void we come from. <laughs> So, uh, I, I gotta I got tell you, when Boogie wants to start getting like into religious sort of thought, it really is like the most embarrassing <laughs> shit ever. I think um, 
you you can tell like directing this at this point, but like you know, we're, it's the end of the dock now. You know, you don't need to. <laughs> like, it's, it's time to stop. <laughs> no, let me let me talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wait, calm well, down. No, he, he, does, he does like the vague appeal to Christianity. He does it so that it's vague enough, while not being like definitive enough and concrete enough and being grounded in like any Could sort you, of you know mainstream Christian thought. It's the Could most imagine, inoffensive. Yeah. Imagine he came in and he's just like. You know, I think Prophet Muhammad was right the entire time. You know what? I, after that comedian made fun of me for dating show. someone 20 years ago. I've old, realized I so much. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Aisha. And I, I realized it all made this sense. is the way. It all makes sense. Maybe I should do sex trafficking. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> like, oh, God, boogie. No, no void I'm trafficking now. <laughs> well, the girlfriend's vanished, so I think she's gone. She's gone into <laughs> she's survived. She made it. She's out. <laughs> And <clears throat> like one flew of the think, cuckoo's nest at the end. Uh, I think I'm still in it, except I'm also in this physical corporal body. <laughs> corporal. corporal. Need to fix <laughs> he discovers corporal. spiritualism for the first time in his life. No, his body has joined the it. army and it is now a corporal. It's a corporal body <laughs> I just, now, yes. I, I just can't get over it, presenting the most <laughs> basic, like normal sort of concepts in the most revolutionary way. But I'm also the incorporeal. Do you think maybe he just really never had these thoughts? Corporal. I, I, corporeal. Corporeal. I, 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 never I, I don't, really I don't know. Him, no. I There's don't know. That, and and the thing fat. is, Fringy, in order to position, like, to say these things and be like, oh, wow, either he's always had this and he's lying. Right, and he's like, "Oh, look, this." Well, is no, it it, maybe to be. maybe it is as simple as like he was just a hardcore hedonist. He was always it was always for the longest time it just worked of buying things and eating food and playing video games and watching TV, and that was like sufficient. But then once he's gone, no one would admit to that. Actually, so he'd be well, like, "Oh, it's trauma. I was abused. Yeah. I was I was a victim. Yeah. I needed yeah. it as well, coping yeah, mechanisms. I have anxiety. I have depression. I have BPD. I have I'm a, what do you say, a covert narcissist?" Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Mm. I have but all of these yeah, things. It's not that I just him. fucking suck and I just want to eat food and drink and sugar. Then he just, yeah, and that now he's finally being put in a position where he maybe needs to think about what the meaning of life is for real. Uh, or, or put another way, get some fucking responsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God mm. damn it, I feel like I'm in control. <laughs> I feel like nothing I'm changed. Myself for the nothing first changed as well. Time. He's done this before. It was... Well, it's because this Many is kind times. of like... This Many is like times. the story that's way easier, right? That you just have one event happen, and then that causes a massive shift in your the personality. Stuff that I, I when in reality, really worry about. that's just it not how it typically that way. works. Like as I'm listening to him say these things, they don't feel like they're original thoughts. They feel like they're things that he thinks he's supposed. I've heard these words yeah. before, he's... and that's why I'm mm -hmm. saying them. Because mm -hmm. there's well, no yeah, way it's that like... he would say "corporal," right? Like that's not a word that's in his his vernacular. Clearly. <laughs> right? He's heard yeah, it though. He's, he's heard the word before. Not, like one video talking about like spirituality, and then he heard some of these concepts to do with like yeah. the soul or the corporeal body and the well, physical the world versus the spiritual world. Yeah, I guess maybe the shaman <sighs> mentioned a couple of the the shaman, yeah. the shaman. You're infecting me with your Clitoris. weird pronunciation of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and yeah, he heard it, and then he's relaying it as if these are his revelations. When really, yes. these are like some yeah, of the most basic feels. thoughts. Yes. Yeah, because like he, the, he went and he heard them and whatever, but it doesn't feel authentic at all to me. Nope. None of that it feels reminds, authentic. It reminds me of like when you got some guy who's trying to do his mm -hmm. like hustle of his drop shipping. And he brings up Marcus Aurelius. It's like, oh yeah, sure, mm -hmm. yeah, bro, yeah, I totally believe that. Well, <laughs> like, as Marcus yes, Aurelius yeah. once said, "Buy my merch." Buy my. <laughs> I think he'd give it. Don't forget to hit the bell, smash the like button. That's stupid. Marcus my, Aurelius. <laughs> sign up for my day trading <laughs> program. <laughs> Subscribe to Quibus Giftus. Also, wait, um, <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, Nick, curious have you spoken to that? Mike Clem at all? Who? The director of the doc. No. Set. I was going to say, not. if if he's listening still, welcome to come on and clarify whether or not you were the one that got all the numbers wrong, according to Bookie. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. I would also yeah. really like to ask him, if, if I were going to ask Mike one thing, it's how authentic do you think he was uh, when you were there, right? When he's off, yeah. how, how authentic was all of this how authentic was the 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 earlier stuff as well or is this all just for show was he playing the camera the whole time yeah i'm my oh, it's all so incredibly stupid he's discovered oh, wow that uh, sounds like what a loser he's he's so far. doesn't Stop have it. any of those things anyway now he's let me discovered. slip this mountain dew <laughs> the profound idea that there's a difference between how you feel about reality and what it is what? first time in his life
So he's not high here, right? He's just no. Like, he's just realized so stuff. much. No, he's no, well, his he's mind has been opened. And again, because it's it's nice, it's it's easy to present it as oh, one thing happened and then an instant switch in your personality. Whereas the reality is that people change slowly and gradually with a lot of hard work. Well, no, like I mean, the, if you do take shrooms, like that, the high lasts for like a good few weeks. So, oh, yeah. so like last, right. so the oh, night before, he was in like yeah. the world between worlds, and now he's like Boogie the White. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Boogie the White. <laughs> he, went to, he went to a different dimension, and now he's <laughs> Boogie the White. <laughs> this is what I mean. Whether or not, like, if someone was to say, like, oh, he's high right now, I was like, oh, well, why does he sound like he always does when he's fucking yeah. trying to manipulate everything? Like, it sounds yeah. exactly the same. I like the idea of Boogie fighting. <laughs> Boogie's falling into the chasm. If he really took it, I smoked his ruin upon the mountain. And it's not the same for everybody, I guess. But a lot of people, they 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 take the stuff because it, it, it just floods your brain with serotonin for like a good few weeks. He needs to well, die so he can be it, Boogie the Light. Because uh, I think Sam Harris has talked about the uh, yeah, has right. talked about like hallucinogenics and and that the, there's I I don't even want to paraphrase what his perspective was on it, actually. I just find it funny this like. Yeah, Boogie's sitting here like, oh my god, nothing matters. Did you guys ever think about that? <laughs> well, you know, if you followed him long enough, all... he's had these revelations in all forms of life. Therapy has given yes. him this revelation many times. You'll come with a video yes. and be like, oh, I'm a new man. I'm going to be, for, you know, I understand things better than ever. And then it's just like fucking back to the same cycle. And the interesting thing is that um, because of how much more desperate he is, he can't even like, he can't stick with like the new philosophical concept for any longer than like a couple of weeks. So exactly, like he had his yeah, little stoicism it. arc. And he's already off that, and now he's on, like, a spiritual arc. And then he's gone for, like, the vague pseudo-Christian arc. And it's just so interesting to see him jump between mm. all of these in the hopes that one of them can stick. Mm. I think I'm yeah, going to enjoy making yeah. YouTube videos again. It's like, shut up. No, no, I, I don't buy that. <laughs> it's a good enjoy it. Since the, document whoa, whoa. Since the documentary uh, released uh, a couple of weeks back or so, what has Boogie's output been on his channel? Well, it's we're going to see a bit of that soon. That's um, right. He's been he's been working. <laughs> he has been doing a little the bit of work. Girl still in the picture. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Maybe. Did yeah, she get caught and brought back to the house? <laughs> <laughs> the, the the short vision is worry, he's more worry. miserable he's, now he's than ever. And she has, uh, yeah. Yes. I've seen. I think in the attic is just like the hunger, and it's just a bunch of people just withering away in coffins. <laughs> Only a few. That is still my dream job. We got to try and spin it a bit more positive for the uh, for the Well, because yeah, we're about to end. And if you're going to end the, yeah. the dark, you may as well try and go like, hey, you know. <laughs> try and present some kind of arc. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, I ate off. one mushroom and now everything's fixed. It's like, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Well, no. remember, as what happened was he had the first one and he was fixed. And then the second one was incredibly depressing and bleak. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's like, like totally yeah. Bad. Dude, his heroin <laughs> arc is gonna be insane. <laughs> oh no. Oh, but Think of the lessons he'll learn. So when that star burns out like every star does. Like yeah, but him. some stars last for billions of years. And I, I, I prefer yeah. the, the, the dynamic that themselves. the few sparks of his star that were left, Wigs just sucked it all up. <laughs> like, this is mine <laughs> now. Wigs sucked it up. <laughs> mine. <laughs> It's incredible that, that both of them that, that really got so much positivity coming out of the boxing match, neither managed to turn it into anything positive at all. Not really, no. We we got an opportunity to shine really bright. I mean, yeah, that wasn't I mean, okay. <laughs> yes. Wow, well, yeah, the, here's the, the problem. Really... These words are coming out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it's just that he would have to accept, yeah, but you understand that like that brightness is now like tainted, right? People look back on that. Yeah. And think like, oh, oh, you know, like it's not really. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, you, silver linings, right? I wish he got like Morgan Freeman to do like an outro. Be like, Boogie did not <laughs> change yeah, his yeah, life yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, this will be. Yeah. Okay. Boogie yeah. in no way changed anything about anything. Set of highlights now about the recent things that have been happening. This is where Nick will be able to come in very handy. Though your 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 little extra tidbits have been fun already, so <laughs> it's been pretty yeah. good. We love but your this, little extra tidbits. This is like uh the, the timeline's a little bit complicated for me, but you'll know it better. Um Nick, this mm -hmm. was before the Mutaha conversation, right? The the recording so, of the yeah. first episode. So there was an issue where Boogie and Muda started fighting on Twitter because our group chat leaked. So I don't know if you heard about any of this stuff. 
but my group chat with Keemstar for like last, since January, whatever leaked. And Boogie found out that people were like trashing him and making fun of his girlfriend or whatever back in like June or July. So I don't know what I, this, I don't even know if this part's public, but like this put like a strain on Boogie's relationship. They thought like it, it was done or whatever for a second. Boogie had like a meltdown and the mood of Boogie stuff happened all over Twitter. And then um, the first episode was filmed. Mm -hmm. Then after that, the culmination that you'll see from Rich's yeah, yeah. stream is after. Yeah. And so that's why uh, Boogie's in a bad mood when they're recording this because he's currently fighting with Mudahar, right? Like, yes. Yeah. Okay. So this, yeah, this is just a collection of the funnier clips I thought from episode one. <laughs> and on three, when I, uh, when I say the word three, clap into your microphone. Can we all handle that? <laughs> all right. One, <laughs> two, like going, children. three. Do it again. One, two, Three. You guys line up. We think we're good? I don't know, man. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I tried to clap on three. It was really difficult. This, by the way, especially for chat who are unfamiliar with Boogie, we're about to get, like, for real Boogie now. Because the documentary Boogie is still something that he can, like, prep for you. He knows he's being recorded. Stuff. This is so much more candid because he's so annoyed. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah. <laughs> This is kind of the dynamic of a lol cow. It's kind of hard to explain. They're just, it's just everything they do is so funny. All right. On th when, I, when I say the word three, I'm going to clap to my microphone. So this, One, but this is without two. DSP, right? DSP didn't. Yeah, the, the lore there is. Well, you didn't want to do it with Keemstar, right? Was the idea? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it was. He didn't want to do it with Keemstar, so he tried to outmaneuver Keemstar and set it up without him. <laughs> so Keemstar kicked him out. I think. I think that's what happened. Mm. Two, three. <laughs> wow! <Did> you... Wow! <laughs> Boogie, did you even attempt to clap? <laughs> yes, you can see it on the video if you don't believe me. All right, sure. That's good. Well, if you can see, if you can see your hands, it's probably easy to line up. All right. Well, we're not start. using an app that does. See, that, Wings just doesn't. He's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. You know, <laughs> Wings is outright like, normal compared to Boogie. The idea that other people have to do the work for his podcast, and it like it fills him with like he just can't even like be nice enough to <clears throat> clap on a number, and it's not even a very high number. It's a really, it's a really low number. It's only three. Just a clap on the three, so someone else could make the podcast nicer. But maybe we'll figure it out next week. Maybe there's a way we can see each other. I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is the way they want it, and this is the way we're going to do it. Well, I'm just saying there might be a way for us to backwards engineer still seeing me able to see each other. Well, I think we, 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 we probably want, could do you know? live. If, if this thing gets popular, we probably could do live. Well, it's, not, it's not as big a deal, Boogie. Like, we just do it the way they want to do it. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, Boogie. The, the Wait, wings, wings of Redemption. redemption. Yeah, All you have to do is clap. Wings of Reason reasons. coming in, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Like, Boogie, no, I swear saying. to God, I've done it once. I will do it again. I will go over there and I will beat your ass if you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm just saying, three. maybe there's still a way we can fight. Why do you care? Yeah. yeah why do well, you I'm care? just saying. All you got to do is send the video in. That's it. Well, Tommy Tommy said, I can't see you. So I'm like, well, maybe next week we'll find a way to where you can. That would or be you cool. can just clap on so three, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most easiest <laughs> thing. In That's what I'm like. I don't know what's wrong with what I'm saying, but I was just saying that maybe next week we can find a way to where you can. Okay, let me start the show. Let me start the show. I don't know what I'm saying is wrong. I never do. You didn't say anything wrong. You're perfect. <laughs> You're perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Sure really you know what's great about this, too, is that Boogie would be like, oh, God, this show's a disaster already. While everyone else is like, no, no, no this, this is, is great. This is, this is why we're here. How live is going wrong? <laughs> he put out a tweet like a couple days ago. He goes, you know, I don't really understand why people like uh, watching me get berated by Keemstar <laughs> and Mudahar, but I'm glad some people enjoy it or something like that. <laughs> You know what? That's a great attitude to have. Buddy. That's why we love you so much. That's why we love you. <laughs> like, I have to get in a good mood. I have to get in a jokey mood. So you, you, you can do this all you want. You're not ruining my day. All right. Hey. And in fairness to fucking Boogie, I'm the last guy right now to stick up for Boogie2988 because you have no idea what an asshole you're the only guy. The show, to, right? Hey, man. I I, I'll be honest. Before the show, just so people know, you're, you're I, a jerk I, off. I, I told him there was one thing I really didn't want mentioned. And you're like, you're just trying to manipulate me. And I'm like, no, there's just that? one no, thing I don't oh, want to pause, pause, pause. pause. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what he's talking about is he wasn't going to bring up Mudahar or his girlfriend. So he lied to Tommy, who's like running that part of the show, and telling him like, oh, we have a like a ceasefire. So I messaged Muda. I go, what the fuck are you doing? And he goes, I don't have a ceasefire with Boogie. Where the fuck did he get that from? So then Muda <laughs> sent the message like, what are you talking about? Because oh he like tried God. to sabotage the upload. Brilliant.
Yeah, you're like, you're, you're you manipulating me. Agreed. You're trying and to yes, get out of the show. Right. And then when I agreed to it, what did you do? You made one more demand. And then when I no, got, I actually and then had when we got two. by that, then, oh, why don't we record things different? No, I just pussy. had two. Anyway, I had this, two requests. This is the, this is the problem with no, your whole life. No, no, no. Anybody that speak. tries to Let help you, you try <laughs> to sandbag and manipulate. Let me speak. I had two requests. There's a content creator. Who, Don't bring it uh, up I if just, you're going to no. talk about it, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing this. We're not doing this. How? Holy shit. <laughs> That's, that's the start of the of the of the yes. first episode. This is pretty good. This pretty, <laughs> this well, this how is live and amazing was going like this. I mean, th this is a like no one keep stars trying to make this work. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> 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 and it's so funny to me that Boogie is just like this isn't working. This is a mess. It's like no, it's just keep being miserable. I guess no. like one want, thing I don't exactly want to exactly as intended. It's one thing I don't want to talk about. Okay, so there's this one guy who's like, no, don't bring it up. <laughs> Content. We're there's not content, doing this. We're not doing this. You're creator. not gonna bring this up. I'll, I'll I'll talk about him right now. If you were not doing this half ass, if you told me no and I agreed to it, okay, you're not gonna sit well, there and if, walk if, right if up need, to the door. If, Drop it. I guess it. if you Drop speak his it. name, if, if you speak his it. name, you speak no. it. Yeah, exactly. You're trying, and you just yeah. proved to the entire audience that you're trying to control me. So drop it. Well, I'm just saying. So let's get back to Charlie. Charlie. Manipulate there someone like that. <laughs> There's two things let's I didn't get, want to talk about yes, today. And if you, yeah, you, so and you're hoping I talk about <laughs> Look at wigs as well. Just be like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> wigs is just like yeah. I just gotta sit here and get paid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to get paid. That's all. I just want to get paid. Give me an excuse to walk off the podcast. Yes. No, well then let's start. This well then, thing, drop right? it. Drop it. Drop it. Let Drop me hit. It. Let Drop me hit. It. Okay, good. I'm going to do a boogie dust. I'm going to do a boogie dust. Tell me it doesn't do this thing. Like Can we start over then? <laughs> no, 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 this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Even this is why you're here, Boogie. Even Wig's like, no, no, this is perfect. <laughs> I look this so is... normal by comparison and reasonable. Uh, Perfect. Then... So let me ask you this, Boogie. <laughs> when going you were mad. spending that money on those women, did it never cross your mind? <laughs> <laughs> God oh, damn. <laughs> Dude, shark gonna... smells blood in the water. What the fuck? Jeez. Gonna... He's just going to continue. Yeah, Wiggs is going for it. He probably had notes mat. ready. Holy he was shit. like, this is going to be how it works. To, like, maybe pay the house off. <laughs> yeah, but you got to remember, I was suicidal back then. So Wait, I what? Know, Do I what? Okay. You ever, yeah, you're sick today. Yeah, Wear LA tens and you're fucking fooling yourself. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always exactly. knew that, Tom. Yeah, yeah, but it sounds good on the, on, on the video if you're saying they're LA tens, right? I mean... <laughs> Again, <laughs> that's one of my favorite parts when he's just like, I don't fucking know what to say anymore. <laughs> I can't get myself out of this. I'm such a loser. The struggle, yeah, the absolute. It's like a you know dialogue options, and all of them are just dot 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 dot. <laughs> on, on the video, if you're saying they're LA tens, right? I mean, again. It, <laughs> oh shit! I did some dinner. stupid shit with him. I sent an autistic kid to fucking school, uh, like this I one. Think it's more like that's where things. they go. Yeah, autistic kids get to go to school, buddy. What are you, what are you, yeah. what are you I, talking but about? You need to really you know, hone in on how he describes dungeons. it, right? Just that's how he described it. Um, well, no, but I'm saying like like that. No, I'm saying like so, for shit. someone that's I like, knew. Do you see wings? That's not stupid shit. You're like looking out for somebody. Like, yeah. I sent I sent their kid to fucking school. Oh, it was like, like it was I spent my money kid. on doing shit like that. Yeah, it's, like I did. Said, oh, I did oh, Shouldn't this be the one thing yeah, you should be gloating real. about? To the it's funny you say that, you Metal. Die. Look what oh, happens yeah. later on. It's true though. I only dated one woman in 2020. My last real sugar thing. His son was autistic and couldn't tolerate wearing a mask, so I paid for a year's education in online school specialized for autistic kids. Not ashamed of that one at all. Did you hey, already fucking introduced it? It's true light. It's true light. Just, true uh, light. I, I left the audio on the back of this again, so just listen to it. Okay. I did some dinner. stupid shit with him. I sent an autistic <laughs> kid to fucking school. Wow. I sent an autistic kid to fucking <laughs> school. Some really stupid shit. And this is what I was talking about earlier, where it's like, he realized too late. Oh, fuck, I could have spun that as a positive. Fuck! It's, uh... He's what really cool. bad at being manipulative. <laughs> he's very, well, very, the thing, very yeah, he's bad, bad at, at it. it. All the things that are bad about him, he's bad about being those things. Like I told you, Wings was the one that points out immediately. Like, hang on, that's not that's not stupid. That's not retarded. That's like a nice thing. Yeah. Getting a kid through well, the school. The problem is that Boogie's too he's too solipsistic. It's all framed through the lens of yeah, but I lost money because of that. Yeah, like he couldn't. That's do what outside spending money means. Yes. Mm. Well, it's just it, yeah, exactly. But and then he realized like oh oh, and then that's why <laughs> it's too late. Exists.
I'm not ashamed yeah, of it. It was just a like... retarded, stupid thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> ugly bitches, yeah. by the way. Ugly, yeah, yeah, ugly yeah. broads. Oh my god. Is that, is that, yeah. is that an argument? I think there's a grain of truth that he thinks I'm a piece of shit. Yes. And here's why. Because yes. I am kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> You think? Uh, you know, I, 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 I definitely fucked up, but it's some really stupid shit. I don't think <laughs> like the nodding. Like, it's, yeah, you're kind of a piece of shit. That's true. They both have a piece of shit. Yeah, 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 well, about being manipulated. Yeah, I mean, piece of shit. Like, I think that comes with that job interview. Do you really think it would be a good idea to go to a real interview and reference porn? It depends <laughs> on the job, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a work. Yeah, I thought it was so, a work too. I thought it was a fucking actress you, you know, I'll tell you what it was. I'll tell you what it was. It was him trying to get out of this fucking podcast. They he went into that interview, sitting there telling everything that you shouldn't say Well, again, interview. I didn't want to I'm, I didn't want to get out of the podcast. You didn't want to work. You didn't want to work. You didn't want to work here. Like if I didn't want to work, I wouldn't work. Yeah. No, but mm. but there, I'll tell you that, what that, actually happened. Work. And Michael okay. could oh, he's talking about We went into it with every intention of would it actually be possible to get a job? That's the fingers crossed, right? Yeah, no. No, you didn't. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Back. And so we do that was like his, before. like, Sargon depends on the child type moment right there with that question <laughs> that he took. Cameras are rolling. We sit down and we talk a little bit. And it's very clear from the get-go, this company has no interest in me. Yeah. So we basically decided to... So you told I, them you I were just, the porn industry. Right, I decided to do the Andy Kaufman thing, oh, which is just try to be fucking uh, hilarious. No, that was because, hilarious. Jesus Christ. You might as easy, it, was it, was it was a modern bit. day Andy Kaufman. It was a bit. It was a uh, meme. Yes, it was definitely a meme. He's it's invoked Andy meme. Kaufman so many fucking times to try and explain away his yeah. insane behavior. We already found out that this shit's shut down. Like, this is a non... I have a really hard time believing that the director... And the woman themselves, all these other people, because there's like multiple camera guys we've seen. Like we're talking about a significant group of people all went in there with like, ha, let's do this Andy Kaufman shit that no one will fucking get and think you're an asshole about. I, I don't well, see I mean, that happening. Well, apart from That's the Andy the Kaufman shit is, is he was fooling everybody. It was, there was no uh, wink, yeah, wink right. the camera. He was, he was no, there to he said, fool everybody. He said, he said, oh, we, we came, we decided we were going to go in there and do it like this. This is what no, he just no, said. No, 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the the fact that, that the all is, like, station. this uh this whole thing. I don't know. I don't exactly know why he decided to do this documentary, but it has absolutely not had the effect that he wanted because all it's done is make his reputation even worse than it already was. I don't think he cares yeah. about because that. of course I, I, I think it he's would. Just, he he's trending again. Um. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, no, I, I don't think, think it's not I, attention, I, good I, or bad. It'll no? sink back I down don't... and it'll sink lower than ever yeah. before again. It'll it'll yeah, reach a new definitely. sort of uh, seabed, so to speak. Have you gotten from this that he thinks that far ahead? No, <laughs> no, he, I never said that he did. <laughs> I I believe he made a very bad move, but he's still trying to justify it as that as a good move. Starter, we are here and we are wasting our time. There's nothing this company has. No, Charlie thinks whatsoever. you sandbagged it. Charlie thinks yeah, you I know that. Well, I, 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 I kind of thought so too. There's some, there's some film on the cutting room floor that happened in between the, some of the conversations that we've seen. Yeah, yeah. There's the extended cut, which you can see, but then there's also stuff that was said when the camera wasn't even rolling. Uh, and and so at the end of the day, it was a real job interview. We went in there in the hopes that this company would be able to no, do something. No, for him. no, he no. never took it seriously. No, no, way. no. no you never I took mean, it seriously. I, I I get the impression that everybody else did, but he didn't. He was never. Oh gonna yeah, do it. absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that attitude he has the, in the message the afterwards is is what he felt yeah. the whole time. Like I'm a fucking yeah. four million yes. sub YouTuber. I'm not gonna Fuck I'm not gonna get you. a I'm nine to five job. Yeah. Could you imagine if she turned around and said, "Yeah, I have five opportunities for you. Would you like to look at them?" That would have been like his person. Personal 9-11. In this economy, <laughs> we're just short of people. We just need people to do jobs right now. She's like, yeah, so I actually need work for you. I need a felon who's familiar with porn right now. So if you can just me, <laughs> <laughs> but it became abundantly clear on some picky right clients. Away that By the, the way, most you was... suffer from depression? Yes. Perfect. The Perfect. Period. That's the one we need. <laughs> it's the trifecta that we need. Yeah, he's like, I'm disabled though. She's like, oh my god, oh it's it's like a job where you don't even need to move. It's great. On the way oh in. Yeah. <laughs> and if you've been accused of pedophilia on the internet, then it's just like, oh that'll Wife be the best, beating. Thing on yes. The yeah. Mock interview and we practice. Well see that, so that doesn't make any sense because, because oh, that doesn't no, make any no. sense because at one point the woman says to you, Do you think bringing up porn would be a good idea? 
Well, she was trying to like train me. Like that's what they oh, do. Oh, that was what it was. Yeah, they're basically yeah. like a head. So, so I had to learn that. They're gonna send, send you on. I had to learn that. Yeah, like trying to fucking recontextualize the fact that she called him out immediately on his bullshit. Yes. Like, oh, it was it was a part of the whole thing. Yeah, it's a fun thing. See, I thought that at a job interview, I should tell them that people online think I'm a pedophile. So I just think that's a good thing to bring. Yeah, up. you got to bring that up. You need Randomly, to. You know. so yeah, away, there's, there's allegations I beat then... my wife. Like, <laughs> and so yeah. so so Charlie misunderstood that because he took yeah, that as you were it, you were trying to it, sandbag the whole thing. Yeah, like, that place is basically like a headhunter place. Once they like approve of you, then they'll send you out to companies like that need agency. that Makes kind sense. of. Person. It's a stat. Yeah, so we, it's we, a staff we, agency. It was the fact. Which, by the way, on my first job, I worked in a big hotel. And we used a staffing agency nearby all the time uh, because, you know, big groups might come in. We have to do this. We would just need bodies to do some work. And over time, we would specifically request certain people who were good and were there sense, and did yeah. a good job. So some of them were shit and they sucked. And we said, no, don't send these people. And some of them eventually got jobs at the hotel as like a steady, you know, employment gig. Partially because we're like, oh, they, they, they do good. We we want, you know, this person, this person, this person, because they're like really good. Did so, you ever getting get a like place at a snap? Did you ever get like a disabled felon with a speciality for pornography? <laughs> <laughs> I am may certain that some of them probably, <laughs> probably might one of them. Yeah. You do get a wild bunch at these staffing agencies sometimes. I think that's got to be a tax thing, though, right? Like a, a disabled felon sounds incredibly hireable for diversity tax purposes, right? You, yeah, you fucking roll the, the dice you and you're like, hire. Yeah. what's what's his bonus affliction? <laughs> Pedophile! There we go. <laughs> so we rolled a six. Oh, you're a protected closer. class. <laughs> like... In fact, your girlfriend was like mowing the grass. I'm like, they had to go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't own that Dude, Wings fucking spitting fire. Yo, well, so true. he's putting up, he's pointing out the things. So what I wanted to do with this out. was like, I didn't want to show all of it, obviously. So I've cut out just pieces. I recommend the Lol Cow Life podcast yeah, episode I'm, I'm one and two. Sure. It's funny as hell. Wings is easily like the better. Part. Like it's it's like Wiggs is farming boogie, <laughs> which is <laughs> it's fine with everyone else. I think. Well, he knows he has to be top dog. Otherwise, yep. uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's making it too easy. Yeah, there is, uh, you know, we, we gonna do be one have long a lawnmower. I, I ain't never fucking started it. Hey, baby, you, you know. gonna mow the lawn today. It's not looking really good out there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get, I get flack all the time because I have, I have a person that mows my lawn, but, like, I ain't fucking doing it. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. You can't. I, can't. Why, I like the difference it. between Wings and Boogie. Wings is yeah, like, I, I don't want her. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Wings is the honest on, one, on, more I authentic. authentic. He's like, I just fuck it. I ain't doing it. Too lazy. Do it. But Boogie's like, no, I couldn't it possibly. No. I can't do it. You know? But it's like, um, man, how's this little little fucking tiny girl out here mo have this push mode? Like, how can you do a boxing match? You can't push a lawnmower. I'll be honest with you. So <laughs> his YouTube channel, his girlfriend was three. What? Well, good thing I. When Boogie oh. started his YouTube channel, his girlfriend was three. Oh. <laughs> push more. Like How can you do a Little boxing match? You can't push a lawnmower. I'll be honest with pussy. you. So, like when Boogie started his YouTube channel, his girlfriend was three. Well, good thing I didn't date her then. I'm interested oh, now. And I told what you the today, fuck? I just didn't want to bring up Muda because Muda scares me. He scares me. He, he does. He's got a very Why large audience. Why would you audience. say that? <laughs> Mooch just scares me. Does he scare yeah, you? And there are some crazy right. people okay. out there. And I don't oh, think Muda's... I don't, I'm not scared of Muda. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm, I should it's, not say I'm scared of Muda. I'm just like. scared that there's a lot of people in his audience that, that might wolves. Frank Hassel my ass, and I don't want that shit to happen again. But, but here's I the thing, though. I can't Frank Hassel ain't the worst again. thing that happened. Like, you made, like Boogie, you yourself made the Frank Dude, Hassel I spent, thing worse. Dude, I spent $29,000 to oh, stay yeah, out of town. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you're an idiot. That has nothing to do with, like, yeah. the person so showing up. <laughs> they didn't put that audio in there, what? but it was so hard to defend him. It's like, oh, this guy's coming to your house. It seems like the easiest thing to defend Boogie on. But then audio leaks, and he's like, I'm going to kill you, Frank, and I'm going to enjoy it. It's like, like oh, okay, bro. Like, how do I, what do I Say. Very hard. Well, and that stupid cowboy shit where he comes out and he's like, Is this what we have to do now? Is what this it? You brought me to this. <laughs> it's like, just stay yeah. inside, you fucking idiot. Well, stay. We should it settle was this pretty tonight. fucking bad. Oh, your own mistake. Bad. Yeah, but <laughs> if somebody else shows up at my front door tomorrow, don't expect me to handle it that much better. I ain't that fucking sane.
Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I'm dude, not a very sane have you been person. Swat so then you're not afraid of Moose, you're afraid of yourself doing yeah. stupid shit. Yeah. I just all? don't want to be, I just don't want to be put back in a situation like that. And Mudahar, I, Mudahar, I have no ill feelings towards Mudahar. I don't particularly like the guy, but I don't dislike the guy. <laughs> He's, just like the guy. <laughs> He's just the no guy. Feeling. Okay. Um, but like what I will now. say is Mudahar is very, very open with how much he dislikes me. And... That, I, that's just hard for me to handle. That's just, that's just so you, hard so for me to handle. So you like picture like somebody with like a shrine to Mudahar in their closet. So as soon as he says, oh, I hate <laughs> no, Boogie. I, no, what I picture. Right, evil no, dies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Wings cracking the jokes, man. God damn. And, and, and I just, Wings it scares me around him. very, very badly. And I have an anxiety disorder. I have a diagnosed. Oh, shut up. You might be crazy. I, for but crazy. I do. I have a diagnosis. Right, I'm, 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 and this shit's just hard for me. Sort of, sort of, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have anxiety. I have BPD. I have the I have anxiety. Have I have this. Thing. I have this. It's and hard for me. I have all me. of these things. That's all I'm saying. That's why you come here to vent. This is better therapy. Come on. Every, every fucking middle-aged housewife has an anxiety disorder, Boogie. I do as well. Where's this wing spin, my I know, right? He's hey, listen, shit, he he would win. He, he he this episode out, I water. think future episodes will cover. Wings, other. listen, wings, listen. If you can beat my ass, I know Mutakar can. <laughs> shit, I'm Mutakar. <laughs> fuck. Come on, I can beat Mutakar. I'm just about to make his face on the front of a car. Yeah, no, <laughs> fuck He's no, Mutakar. Dude, like what? What? The dude's a tech guy. Like, come on, he ain't about that life. <laughs> yeah, he ain't about it. He ain't about it like a southern boy. You're a country boy. You know what you're fucking doing. You whip his ass. <laughs> 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 so, this th this that like context wise is that uh I think Boogie streaming and then uh, yes, he's playing Mario. Review Tech USA invites him to talk and then tells him that Mudaha can join the Discord. And is Review Tech do you have the context of why he's yeah. he's naked? I don't know why he doesn't have a shit on. I got nothing. I don't watch his okay. stuff. <laughs> but in any case, this was annoying to try and sync. The the Twitch VOD's, like, timeline doesn't match the YouTube one. So it's like, I, you're, he's gonna skip around here and there, uh, Boogie, to try and sync him up with his uh, his own audio. It was annoying, but whatever. Tell me, for a man who's watched this documentary before its release and you stood by it, how could yeah. you stand by such glaring discrepancies? They weren't that important to me, and I forget how important So you're telling me the exact amount of money you make when that's such a big part of your, like, complaining? Of like this whole thing, yeah. yeah. Well, I know how much money I made. I don't care what you guys know or think. I, that's not that important to me. But you said, so, you're willing, so you're willing to give us false information when we try correcting yeah, you on it? Yeah, it's a documentary. Snippy? But he's, he's, he's the one who said, he brought it up. Nobody else brought it up. He brought it up. He said, I made $10,000, and here's all the money that got spent. It doesn't, oh, well, yeah. doesn't matter, me, doesn't matter no if you money. know. What it matters is that he knows. It doesn't matter. But, it doesn't but, matter but if you know, even the though the, the point it. of the documentary... It's the whole purpose of the well, documentary, the it doesn't matter. It's for other people to see it and know, but it doesn't matter. If, I don't really but care. But if he didn't want to, he could have just said, yeah, he doesn't care. Tell you. He doesn't care, man. He doesn't care. Yeah. I don't God. understand. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's <laughs> wrong with you. And that is why you failed. <laughs> Well, uh, again, like I said, you you got to take that up with Mike. Unfortunately, he he ballparked the numbers. Oh, Mike! What? Oh. <laughs> he ballparked oh, it. Mike, I don't believe you. I, I like I said, I'm inclined to believe that Boogie was like, I had 10k. This stuff and things cost me 10k, so just write it up. Mm -hmm. You know, write it up as split it. However, it's... I don't even think that. I don't think Mike came up with those numbers. Yeah, I mean, I, this yeah, is the thing, though. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm giving some level of like Boogie wouldn't lie that hard, would he? And it's like, I well, it's Boogie well, would lie about what fucking T-shirt he's wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Wait, wait, you gave the information. You were the to one who said no. I didn't give him. No, I did not give him that information. I did not. What do you mean? He had access. Nice. You were the one talking about this with him. You were in your tub showing him your bank account. Hold on, you were hold there. on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Boogie said that Mike. he got paid $10,000 for the fight, and he spent more doing the whole process of the fight, from the flights to the hotel, to the food, to the gloves, to the training, to everything, which we know is bollocks. Well, there's, so there's that. Like, which which one that? do you believe? Do you believe the guy that is... As already been called out by the other competitor for lying his ass off or do you take the word of the document uh, documentary maker who was going off what he's been provided what's the thing we all know mike can't like 
have his like he would have taken it from Boogie. The, the, where else is he going to get yeah. all this shit from? Exactly. Yes. I love that Rich is naked throughout this whole thing. <laughs> I'm just going to make up. Fi- oh yeah, I'm just going to make decorum up. decorum fi- that this conversation deserves. <laughs> I, I imagine Mike wants credibility going forward, so he's not going to make this shit up if he wants credibility. The the proven liar is denying that the proven liar has lied. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think we know which well, one. Well, and, and doing it while also saying, well, I didn't really care that much. It's like, oh, so you throw on top that you were apathetic about being correct anyway. <laughs> like, like the ninth, the right? Liar, I though. think this was uh, November 9th. While this exact part was happening, Keem was erupting. Like demanding yes. that Boogie get off the stream. Well, wait, leave that, now. We'll we'll, yeah. we'll oh, see wait, that. Wait. <laughs> That's gonna be the end of this. It's so fucking funny. Like, oh boy! Right. No, wait, do you have the, do you have do you have uh, in this part that I never did? Did you yes. leave that in? Okay, just, good. Again, good. well, apparently Mike's one level, level of insane more... scrutiny that you guys feel you need to have. I guess Mike must like uh, absolutely. It's... This is Boogie looking at Keemstar, fucking na- like just yeah. roasting him right now. Because <laughs> he's he, he, Keemstar doesn't want him to be on this podcast. Is the context for that, or rather, this stream? What the? F- if anyone, but if anyone else made a documentary like this that had discrepant, big financial discrepancies, they'd be. Yeah, you'd be f-ing mad. You'd be yelling at us. You'd be like, "We're no, I wouldn't." I'm so used to you being wrong about me. I'm numb to it at this point. <laughs> How am I wrong about you? Uh, I don't. I called I, about I, these discrepancies. I, that's what I'm, I'm talking about you. in the past, man. And uh, how I have I been wrong in the past? Please explain exactly how I've been wrong in the past. My 18 year old girlfriend's like start when she's not 18. That's I never made a public start. statement. You tweeted that never. last week. You tweeted when did I that tweet last about, week. When did I tweet? What you did said I tweet you're exactly? telling people she's 18. I never uh, fucking no, did. Cause I never did. The one that talked about it in that leak. No, but you chat, tweeted it. It's in. on your f-ing feed right now. You tweeted what it out. What do you mean? When you you're tell the, people when your you girlfriend is 18. People, when yeah, you tell people. I never did. I never did. That's what he told us. I never did. But I did. But you are factually incorrect. Because I never did. Did I speak about that publicly until you made yes, it's on that? your Twitter feed. Yeah, I quote tweeted you because yeah. you were bringing no, it you up didn't. publicly. Yes, no, I did. you didn't. That was a yes, something. I that did. was a completely separate yes. tweet. You were the one. <laughs> fucking TV's face in emote form, <laughs> phasing <Yeah>. past Boogie. <laughs> I wonder how he would have felt yeah. about that. Sort of one of the bigger parts of his legacy would be in emoji form. So it's, mm, it's a good, yeah. it's a good reaction. One that brought it up. Yeah. The point that I'm making is you are still. Lying right the now. point that I'm making is you're way, still f- wrong. There, I never you're still f- f- I have her ID in my wallet. I have her ID in my wallet. Why? Why do you uh, think? Why? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. God, thanks uh, for saying that. And that in no way implies that she's a hostage who can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Nor does it imply you are regularly asked and immediately hold it up and go, see? See? You know, see? You, you remember, you, you guys all, the joke in Transformers 4 where the dude had like a laminated card explaining why his relationship with Mark Wahlberg's daughter was okay. Oh, it's like yeah. an energy of just like, um, excuse me, what? <laughs> was it the, Rome, uh, the Romeo, Romeo and Juliet, Juliet laws or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, oh, and that was meant to be like a joke in that movie. It's like, dude, if you're carrying around a laminated card explaining why this is okay. <laughs> like, it's, what, it's what the, um, the, the guy, expl- the, the comedian, he said, if the first thing you say is, she's an adult. It's exactly. Like, it's just. Yeah. It's it's just. Uh, I know how you old she is. You literally just she's lied not, she's so 20 hard. years old. And now you're so how mad long? that you got caught in this lie. It's because not a lie. Quote, it's on your Twitter quote, feed right now. Yeah, Go check quote, your Twitter feed right now. I'm looking Go at check it. your quote, Twitter feed right now. Some context to add, by the way, before this is Boogie pl- uh, played the same strategy he always does of basically being incredibly docile, but then gradually sneaking yeah. in more and more jabs. Like, mm. what was the thing he said? Like, I respect your... I respect that when Mudahar was basically calling him like a completely dishonest asshole. Yeah, dishonest yeah. piece like, of oh, shit, I worthless re- human being. And he says, I respect yeah. that opinion. I respect that opinion. <laughs> and of course, everybody's like, what do you mean? You respect his opinion that you <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the facade can't last for too long. The more that he gets challenged, the more that it then leads into this deranged, which mm. this is pretty, like, just, just... It's not a winning strategy to just repeat yourself over and over and over and I over and over and over, over again. Exactly, yeah. It, it, it makes you look right? unhinged. It, it, it makes it? you look unhinged when you're like, I never did. I, I never, never did. did. I never did. Like, it just looks weird. You know, it's on there right now. It's on there right now. It's 
Right there right now. Go look at your Twitter feed. It's on there right now. I ain't lying to nobody. It's on there right now. Go look at it. Perfectly hinged behavior. I can't believe you can't tell how unhinged this looks. Such a mistake. A the, stiff -ass I mean, face. streaming was his problem. So, yeah, yeah, and he, the funny thing is, Keemstar's mad, not because he's like, you're ruining your life. It's the, I want to make money from this, you <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Put it on the podcast. Not only that, it's like, you need money. You need money. Put yeah. your drama on your show. I mean, I, I don't know. I understand how it comes off kind of unhinged if Keem's producing the show. But in reality, like, yeah, you should get paid for this conversation. Why is Rich getting paid? <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for that part. It's so funny. It's not there. I'm not lying about anything. It's fucking on there. Yeah, you said I'm it. Looking at it, you're the I quote. You said it. You said that I said that, and I never did. Quote I never did. I never did. I never did. Yeah, you did. I never did. I got a quote. I never did. I never did. I never did. I can't believe he thinks this makes him look good. Yeah, I'm not sure he's doing this. Good. Uh, I never did. I never, I never did. did. I never I never did. What is he doing? That's, That's you being wrong about me. 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 Oh, what? How's it feel, Muda? How's it feel, Muda? How's it feel, Muda? He's such a disaster of a human being. Context: Rich was blasted. Like he was fucking stoned to all hell. He didn't know what was going on during this. So he's just sitting there while this fucking argument's happening around him. <laughs> what is he supposed to do? Well, there's nothing yeah. he can do. But... There's nothing to do. Yeah. Like, like he, he was just like, whoa. Oh. Just <laughs> let it happen. Let it happen. He never did. He never did. He never did. He never did. He's right, you know. He never did. This might <laughs> look good. I call him the Damn, I look good. Woo. How's right, it well, feel, well, Moody? for you to calm down, I guess. Jesus Christ. And then I can deconstruct exactly how you're wrong. I How am I wrong? You. Did you tweet that I, I said that she was 18? Yes, I did. I quote I never did. No, oh I never I did. Tweeted, I never did. I never did, though. Oh. I've never it's said it. Some of them eventually show this. I've never said it. Stop it, please. Jesus Christ. I've never said it. Jesus Christ. I've never said it. I never will say it because she's not. She never was 18 when I knew never her. Was. Oh, yeah, I never was. Yeah, I the fact that you were talking about how long when I knew her, not 18. How long were you talking to her? God damn, dude. For. Uh, we just celebrated our one-year anniversary today. We officially started talking mm -hmm. uh, November 10th. I mean, and, and she legal pe legal is legal, and that's all that matters to me. But you don't think No, I mean, you're... it matters to me. I wouldn't want to date an 18-year-old. I wouldn't want to <laughs> date an 18-year-old. I would want to date a 19-year-old, though. Wait, legal? What do if we're talking about legality? Like, you can date an eighteen-year-old. The Asian well, no, 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 Rags, you're missing it. What do you? What Boogie's trying to do here is take a, a a more moral high ground of like it's not about mm -hmm. the law; it's about the development of a person. I don't want to date an eighteen-year-old. That's too young. Like, like yeah. mentally, it was like, but, but I will 19. date a nineteen-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she's a really she's a really sharp. That's what I mean. Like, he's wise. so fucking wise bad at this, trying to feign these like sort of standards that he has. It's like, what, yeah. what 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 difference does that year make? She's now an intellectual that she can yeah. she's <laughs> fully develop. Wiser than you'd expect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is why that's why it, like like Rich was confused. He was like, Wait, what's happening? <laughs> uh -huh. Don't you think that's like put kind of dumping your trauma on her? I mean what? I mean no. he doesn't care. <laughs> True, he was no. sitting there telling her every single health issue that he had and she started to cry in front of him. What do you uh, think I she's believe... gonna go through? So this is my belief. I believe, and you might disagree. But I believe that if someone is going to be in your life, they I'm need gonna, to be I'm going to stress that there's a very high chance of that happening. It's, 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 like, it's really hard to escape a lot of what was intended in the documentary to be a sweet moment, right? Where they're, mm. they're sharing how they may not have all the time in the world because of his history and stuff. But everyone else is just like, what a fucking horrible thing you did. Where you just yeah, like, <laughs> torment this girl. Thing. Because if you've just got together with somebody and there is a stupid age gap between them... That Yes, it's legal, but what the fuck have they got in common? Fuck all. What can they relate to? Fuck all. It's it's a disaster waiting to happen anyway. And you know that she's vulnerable, and you know that she's got all these these issues. No father, yada, yada, yada. Clearly attaching herself to you because of that father figure-esque, look mm. after me, daddy type of business. And you go, oh, by the way, look at all my fucking ailments because I'm just such a covert narcissist. I need your pity on me. I need you to feel sorry for me. I need your sympathy. It's everything is about him. Him, 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 him. I don't know if he even cares. I think he's sociopathic. 
I think he's sociopathic. I don't know if he's actually got he's got all workable the things. emotions. Yeah. Mm. Jeez. I so like how we went from him going crazy mode, like you never did, you never did. So like did. now pretending like everything is chill again. It's like, oh, you might disagree with this. Like, no, don't. You already went to insano mode. You can't just go well, back you, down. To be fair, again, I can't help but see the the manipulation of it. It's like you might disagree oh, yeah, yeah. as a setup because it's like everyone's like, oh, okay, maybe I will. And then you explain something very reasonable, which is that you should probably let your partner know about like the yeah, things that yeah, relate yeah. to you. You know, something broad and hard to disagree with. <laughs> As if that's what he did with her, which is not at all what he did with her. Believe, go no, through no, no. So this is my belief. I believe, and you might disagree, but I believe that if someone is going to be in your life, they need to be informed. See, uh, that's not at all what the criticism yeah. is. It's that's like, not what, no. that's not nice try. That's no. not what happened. Mm. And, and so I want to make sure that she and basically fully... basically remind them that you're basically at death's door. I oh yeah, that's really I good, I wanted huh? to set her down and make sure she fully... Luda's right there, though, right? That's exactly what he did. He said, look, I'm going to die soon. You need to feel bad for me and Have suck you considered, my cock. though? Have you considered that he never did? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you considered that looking at Boogie is enough? Mm -hmm. He never did. He's the only joy in his life. He never life, did. Okay? Fully understood what she was walking into. What do you think her reaction was going to so be? So you thought you'd do that on camera gonna... for millions of people to see? Okay. Yeah, they, 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 oh, it's, it's all so fucking, <laughs> like, good luck trying to convince anybody you, you're authentic in any way. Yeah. Or get up and run yeah. away, or do you think they're going to get, you know, forcibly attached to you because, shit, I'm a real bad yes. person if I run I mean, away when this got person's got dying. A, yes. She's got to pray. Yeah, so Muda's hit yeah. hard on the head there, like, you know, what yeah. you've done is basically cornered her. What's she going to do? Say, oh, you're dying? I guess I'll leave. It's like... No, this is a fucking horrible, especially for someone her age. She wouldn't have, like, the knowledge and experience to realize what you're doing. Great place to go. I don't know if you're aware of this, but do you know that one of the biggest causes of divorce is people getting uh, sick? Did you know that? Did you yeah, know that yes, people have... Yes. You're not even married, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, it's like, what, what are you trying to highlight? That it's like, no, she would leave if she wanted to, you see, because a big reason people leave each other is because they're ill. Answer, their significant others leave them very frequently. Did you know that? Yeah, so yes, yeah, the, we, we know this. The, the, one of the most common responses to someone being as sick as I am would be to leave. She chose. Yeah, to but stay, she's and I think awesome. yeah, but she's psychologically damaged though. Yeah, I, I that's mean, got daddy it's issues. Unbelievable, dude! I still can't yeah. believe it. I'm just like I'm still in shock. <laughs> it is shocking, isn't it? It is truly shocking. Well, I didn't do it enough throughout the stream, but I'll just apologize again to chat and to the cast. <laughs> this, you know, it's like uh, this is a weird, and absurd, and uh, <laughs> forms of torture I put all of you through. I saw someone say it at the beginning, "It's like no, not again." It's like, well, you know, I had to play Lord of Ring Gollum, so <laughs> like, mm. there you go. Me too. Oh As man. Too. Mm. Yeah. Don't even. Is I mean, kind of. That's I never trauma. did. That's real trauma. Yes. We can trauma bond over that one. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll check in with ER, you know, per week, just to see if he's okay after all this. <laughs> <laughs> she even he sat there and was switch, like, right? if you cheat on her, you're good. she'll still let it go because you're a YouTuber. Yeah, we had a, we had a really like a good moment. We had a really good moment on the live stream the other night. Yeah, there's a, I think uh, it's one of her extended scenes. Yeah. I didn't put it in because it was, it was like, it was some top tier, like, cringe. The, 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 the extended scene of her talking about how much she loves Boogie. And she says if Boogie cheated on her, she would stay with him. Like, there's no way she would leave him. Oh, oh my God. God. I, 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 see, I think I've seen that one. Man. Yeah. It's like, ugh. Yeah. I mean, shit. She but he said in the documentary, there, though, he said Boogie spent uh, 200000 whatever that number is going to actually be, on prostitutes uh, from 2018 to 2021 or wherever it was. <laughs> he didn't get divorced until 2019. Uh-oh. Well, I guess... Uh, so, okay. were you fucking prostitutes during your marriage? Is that Trouble in paradise why? in the yeah. last parts of that year, I guess? I don't know. Maybe. It's like, if you cheat on her, you're good. she'll still let it go because you're a YouTuber. Yeah, we had a, we had a like really a good moment. We had a really good moment on the live stream the other night, and she mm -hmm. came in here. I'm like, baby, if I ever cheat on you, you got to promise me you'll cut my dick off. And she's like, of course. Okay. I'll use that just... thing that you got for the, the tree branch. Yeah, for the tree. <laughs> I, I wield it so deftly. It, uh... Doesn't seem healthy. Somehow the jazz doesn't seem healthy. Is a good yeah. <laughs> healthy. You know what? I think that's a really good point, Rich. It doesn't, doesn't seem, seem healthy. healthy. Yeah, I get that. At the end of the day, <laughs> I get that. <laughs> this is the longest we've gone without a Mountain Dew product placement on this. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because he's, he switched to the Mountain Dew IV drip. It's it's <laughs> <all> <laughs> He's got like a patch. 
<laughs> yeah, directly into his veins. <laughs> Reverse. Well, he atmosphere. could be having a Mountain Dew enema right now. We just can't yes, see yeah. the. <laughs> you never know. He'll be in the background. Like, where's Waldo? You know. <laughs> <laughs> parents will take care of her, and uh, when she's ready to go, she'll... her loving parents. Clint. And uh, yeah. I'll be glad to help her. Uh, you know, at when the end she's of the day, ready to go, she can go. What are you waiting for her? Oh, to look leave? at the chat. Somebody <laughs> no, puts this hookers count as cheating. <laughs> <laughs> thing, if that's something she decides she wants to do, she's you don't think do it. you don't do think it, you're you, know? you don't think you're necessarily being selfish, taking away these years from her life. I think that she is an adult. I think that she has agency. I think that she knows that she has multiple places that she could be. She mm -hmm. knows that she's got plenty of people that would pursue her. And that's why you've got her ID in your wallet. That's why you've got her ID in your wallet. It's a yep. little weird. Boogie, I'm just saying, it's a little weird. I have one person's ID in my wallet. <laughs> it's um, which is not my own. That, that is, <laughs> it's smaller, yes. That is very strange. It's smaller, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's strange. Then miss her very much. We're going to go have Thanksgiving with in a couple of weeks. Could oh, you imagine? God. She has a lot to be thankful for. Could you imagine? You're you're the family that belongs to this this girl, and she brings her boyfriend, who's thirty years older and like a balloon. You just be like, um, <laughs> balloon. <laughs> what's going on? And they'd be like, oh, you don't know him. He has four million subscribers, and he's broke. You're like, I don't even. What <laughs> oh. am I supposed to do with all of this information? What's happening? Oh, you haven't seen my husband on the Lol Cow podcast? <laughs> <laughs> he's famous. <laughs> um, and she knows that she has options if she chooses to be here then she has every choice to be here. And I'm going to make it an awesome time the whole time she's here. Uh, we have a good time. We watch your shows. We, we play our games. Uh, we, we take what little time together we can. And she's happy, and I'm happy. And if she's ever not happy, I fully expect mm -hmm. her to tell me so we can solve the problem. Simple. Hey, Rich, I'm going to send you um, I'm gonna send you something in the chat. You think you can put it in the, on the stream? I can't this is see a, that. This is the, uh, this show is the, me. Uh, can you read it to me or whatever? Tweet. This is the actual tweet that um, Boogie is uh, saying that he I never mentioned did. about him. Eighteen. I want he you to tell did. me who I'm quote tweeting in this. Wow. Who started this uh, contract? Who started this uh, first? Please. What are you read, that? Read, read the tweet. Read the tweet to us. Zoom, or I sent it, it to you in the Zoom meeting chat. Yeah, read the okay. tweet to us, please. Yes. Read the tweet exactly. And I sent you an image as well too that shows you the deleted tweet from the individual I quote tweeted. Just tell me that individual is. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say I didn't start the conversation. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you you were literally hiding that. You were you were screaming like a baby. Under it, I said, when you tell people a girl you met just turned 18, because Keemstar was the one that told us about this in a group chat, and we were kind of a little bit grossed out. But I didn't make a public matter of fact statement because that's just Keemstar's word. I'm not gonna publicly defame somebody when there's no hard proof. So before you go, I never did. I never did. There you go. That's your lie that you got caught up in. So uh, wait, uh, so you talk your way through it. Mm. Read the tweet again. Uh, when you tell people a girl you meet just turned eighteen, it creeps us all out. You're a gross. You see, organizer. I never said that though. So there, Keemstar said that. Keemstar told us that. Yeah, but I didn't, and that's what's important. You said okay. That I okay. Said so it. then, so then, you why are you getting mad at me? Get mad at me. You said that I said it. You said that I said it. You, said that? you just yeah, because Keem said that you said it to him. But I never did. What am I going to do? Well, anyway. So team star, team star, team star, there hey, you go. Local chat. All right, so Why do you work with a guy man. that just slandered you? What the? F <laughs> You're such I, a bitch. I'm <laughs> for money, God, Boy, man. I need that money. I, 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 what? Uh, team star's gonna make me money. I'm just here to make money. Team star's gonna make me money. I'm here to make money. Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Around and you're okay with Team Star it. just wants fuck? to make me money. I'm here to make me money. I, you know, Man, you're the one who tweeted it. Mad, bro. Didn't you point out that it was a private oh. chat? Didn't you point out it was a private? You're the chat? one that mentioned it. You brought that private chat up into the limelight. You mentioned be my name in that post. That's why I both he, he got offended when anyway. people were talking about him like four months earlier in a chat that nobody would have seen, and mm -hmm. he blew it up and showed it to everybody, and then got mad like Muda. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Mention a private Team chat. Team asking me to save it for the low cow podcast. I'm gonna save it for the low cow podcast. <laughs> but have a good one. Wild, you bro. did say that publicly. I said that she was 18. I didn't right? say shit oh, publicly. Team Star. You, did. I didn't. you did say that. You did right I didn't there. Make a public tweet. matter statement. The tweet that he just. Then you need to. Right you need to go back to a fucking school and relearn how to read properly. I, uh, read, that, read that to me one more time, could you? Please. The part where he says that she's 18. 
Could you do that again? Yeah. I did. I say that. I said people said that she was eighteen. No, in no, the group no. That you were referencing. Re read it again for me, real when quick. When you tell people a girl you met just turned eighteen, it's see, just I never did though. Have when you night, tell guys. people night, a girl you just met, but I never did 18. though. That person, I never did though. I never did though. Have a good night. Okay, so you're saying, all right, cool. No. Okay. Because he did all of that. And he kept doing it. There was something happening in the in the I guess the lolcow group chat, which you're in, right, Nick? Yep. And, oh, uh... I, the person screen recording it. If you're showing the screen. Recording, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. So, um, well, we get text first, which <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> Do you need attention that much that you just gave away our entire fucking second episode? Fucking shoot yourself in the face and hit it right now. God, I fucking hate you. <laughs> and then, and then the gold starts to come in. Cause that's uh. It's even better. Oh yeah. Well, I went there to promote the show. I had no clue Muta was gonna come and show his ass, but I respect your decision, Keem. In retrospect, I should have. Uh, left when your boy decided to pull his ship. Whatever, be well and good luck with the show. Fuck you, retard. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. Roger. Oh god, what a. And then what a we get a little. Fuck you. We get a little audio. Oh my Stupid goodness! Oh yes, man. you're fucking retarded. Fucking I, th head. I think this is the. Uh, I think this is the uh, the Keem spin. I think this is this is the manufactured side. Now. I promise you, a oh, hand to God, it is not. <laughs> this is, yeah, I was gonna say I'm I'm relatively familiar he with Keemstar. This, this is genuine. Yeah, dysfunctional. This is real. This this is not new for Keemstar. He does this with loads of people. It's funny as fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, here we go. All right. Fuck you and your stupid fucking head. Your fucking retarded fucking head. I talked to you before you went on. I, in my other group chat, people were like, oh, Boogie's calling into Rich. I fucking called you. We spoke. I said, don't give Rich the tea. Your exact words to me were, oh, I'm just going to go on there and tell him I'm busy, right? So you call into Rich. You tell him I'm busy. He starts milking you. You start answering every fucking question because you're an attention fucking freak. And then you have a Face off with Muta on Rich's stream. The face off between you and Muta should be on your podcast. That's monetized. That you make money on. Fuck you and your stupid. This is the obvious head. businessman. Is <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. even a smart move. It's just a normal move. <laughs> it's not a yeah, mistake. It's the default behavior. This is uh, not an accident, you fucking retard! <laughs> you did this on purpose! I talked to you before you went in! I fucking hate you! Fuck you! All the time and effort into this fucking show to help you guys out, and you don't- you can't do the simplest task! I fucking hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Retard! <laughs> I, I think he's. I think he's upset. <laughs> yeah, you might well, say he's yeah. upset. Frustrated at Boogie. Mildly miffed there. Yeah. <laughs> and the Boogie response, which is exactly what you'd expect. I just, I just yeah. see wigs of redemption in the corner. Goes like, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. this really is like I can understand that this frustration at someone being so yeah. stupid, yeah. anti-content, <laughs> like. I, he oh. needs to make a mortgage payment, dude. Like, what the fuck? That was amazing. I doesn't. I think seventy dollars uh, for Hulu. Ego, ego becomes more important. I think the attention is more important than the money. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. isn't this what you want? You want to do these podcasts and you want to do the internet stuff for a living, and then you finally have the ability to get something super juicy and super amazing that will draw eyes and get people on your podcast listening, and you oh. don't do it. <laughs> And the other issue is that, like, Boogie's getting a lot of shit here, but Muda's also a part-time host of this show. So, like, he shouldn't have done oh. it either. Uh -huh. But he's not, like, an owner. He's not making the money on this. Yeah, Me, there you go. Turkey Tom, and Mudahar are donating our time to this fucking endeavor. But, like, Boogie... I, it's, again, this is his money, so it's, it's really stupid on it. Yeah, he's with fucking his with his own yeah. money. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. He, it's almost like he's retarded. <laughs> that seems to be keeps <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> Obviously, I fucked up. Uh, I was just going to go there to promote the show. I didn't know Muda was going to come in there and pull his shit. I should have left when Muda showed up and said, save it for the show. Uh, but you're right. I respect your decision. Let me know if you need any passwords or anything like that. I'll be glad to hand them over. And uh, let me have to change your mind. And also, you didn't Jeez. call me and you didn't talk to me. You sent me a message here. 
But you didn't call and talk to me. We didn't talk. I mean, I understand you're upset right now, but we didn't, we didn't talk. I need you to fuck belly. off. Like, seriously, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to fuck off. <laughs> I need you to fuck off. Here. It's, you didn't um, call and talk to me. We didn't talk. I mean, I understand you're upset right now, but we didn't, we didn't talk. <laughs> I need you to fuck off. Like, seriously, fuck <laughs> off. I need you to get on your fucking hands and knees, have your girlfriend fucking film you, and say, I'm sorry, Keemstar. I'm oh, no. sorry, Jordy. No. I'm sorry, fucking uh, no. Tommy. There's going to be a no. perfect ending to this coverage, okay? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no. Nicholas Fiorio, no. Muta, no. fucking Tom, everybody no. that's even fucking hey, cared about the Law po Call podcast. No. I'm such a selfish attention fucking retard that I just, I want attention. I want to be in conversation so bad that I gave an entire... The, the entire storyline of what's been happening on episode one to fucking review Tech USA because I'm so thirsty to just no. talk to someone. I'm that oh big of a God. fucking loser. Make that video, you piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> Damn. He's really so, upset. Who wants Holy. to bet whether or not Boogie made that video? <laughs> I mean, it's just popped up. To, oh. I can't no. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tommy C. I'm sorry, Daddy Keemstar. I'm sorry, Nicholas D. F D Fiorio. I don't know how to pronounce him. I'm sorry, no, Jordy. No. I'm fucking sorry. It's it fucking stupid again, of me Boogie. to go on Rich's fucking show and give away the fucking storyline. I'm a fucking attention hog piece of shit. It was oh fucking stupid. God. I should have left the moment Muda came on. I'm, I'm fucking stupid. And I'm fucking sorry. I understand oh, your decision. Oh, I'll hand over no. any passwords you need, wherever you want. This is peak fire, bro. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> that is... It's a tweet from Keemstar. Wait, you oh, had that. That's it's in so the video, hard. yep. I was just sending it in chat. <laughs> oh, no, Boogie. Look at what you've become. And that's oh. saying a lot. That's what I mean, like, this, this journey, he's, um, he's at the bottom of the fucking barrel of the internet at this point. Degradation oh, King, right? Like it has to be. For fucking Keemstar. Yeah. Is it, is it? Is it like desperation for relevance? Is it? I, I mean, you'll just do anything pretty, at this I point. Yeah, simple. he just wants money. attention. This is to anything. Money. Maybe. No, because if it was money. money, he wouldn't have done this. I like how you guys about? mentioned that that at the beginning of the stream, and I forgot all about it, and then. The last couple of seconds hit, and I was like, <laughs> "Fucking no yep, way!" Yep. <laughs> it's quite that a is... story, <laughs> dude. I was screen recording that at like ten fifty at night. I'm I'm just laying in my bed or whatever, looking at this, and as I'm screen recording it, that video popped up in real time. That's why it like, just shows up there. And I I just I was dead. It was it was one of the most insane things I've ever fucking seen. It's the I kind of shit where video, I, I felt like I'd just been touched inappropriately. <laughs> Yeah. It's the kind of thing that you tell someone, they were like, no. And you're like, no, yes. I don't think I've seen another person so pathetic in my life. Oh, <laughs> boy. You got the I whole story, yeah? I top this. You know, I, 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 I didn't know just about this. This is insane. <laughs> I, don't, I, can't, I don't even know what to say anymore. I, I think this speaks for itself. I, so the, the, you're going to play that video is going on the podcast then, isn't it? Clearly. Oh, the lol Oh, yeah, the it already is. Oh, yeah. 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 It already is, yeah. Okay. Well, I assume he, by making that video, has secured his position, and he can continue to make oh. episodes. Uh, I can see him, like, well, he's not permanently, yeah, he's he's back the next day. Once we solved this thing internally, we were yeah. good. By the time it hit the public sphere or whatever, we already had fixed this problem, but... Makes sense. Um, I don't know, I can't see him going more than ten episodes without imploding. Well, I, I really that's really what I thought, happen. so I figured, say whatever you want, you can say as little as you want as well, but like, I assumed Keemstar wanted contracts to lock them in because he knows that the episodes are going to, you know, get out of control, sort of, and that they're going to want to quit. Yeah, so I instructed Tommy, because, actually, well, I don't know if, like, this is known, but Keem offered me the role of Tommy C, the middle guy on the podcast, and I actually thought he was the better fit for it because he was on baited with clown and king right. uh, colossal is crazy and um i instructed tommy on exactly how to record this podcast so i wanted the three of them to get their faces and their audio on their own recording and then we'd have that combined later i instructed tommy to then make a backup and use a different recording software to record their audio 
in case they like sabotage the podcast and try to run. So we have their audio just in case. Makes sense. Uh, and that's how that's kind of the angle I took with this, because I don't know at any moment this podcast can implode. In fact, yeah. there's been like a, a huge drama associated with each episode. I think the next one yeah. is tomorrow. So huh. I don't know. I'm, well, I'm, hey, how's we this for a like promotion of that podcast? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be watching. Yeah, yeah I'm going to watch <laughs> it. Well, we, we have, have like great. big dreams. We want to get like a live show with like Keemstar as like Ryan Seacrest and get like the, the six guys all in one room or whatever. It, that, that would be fucking cool. But in reality, it's let's think about the next episode. Yeah, let's if just try and get to the next far, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, absolutely just I, mind-boggling it, god damn i think i've just fallen in a fucking dimension right now <laughs> it's just it's a it's a whole new world out there and this is the thing i feel like a lot of people in chat had no idea any of this had happened it's uh no, oh. i had no idea this is like the heard, greatest just, enigma i've ever witnessed <laughs> i just heard the um the audio clips and to me i i was just like oh this is th just trying to drum drum up publicity for the uh for the podcast and then seeing all that oh yeah no. yeah I'm kind of sad we didn't see DSP's reaction to any of this. I think he's mad. Hilarious. I didn't realize he would start popping off so much on his own stream. DSP is mad? Yeah, DSP's been talking about the podcast a lot. Uh, there's a bunch of clips that I saw. I don't know why where they were. He feels like he should be on it. it. <laughs> well, he, he didn't want it to succeed or whatever, because apparently he, when the podcast was in initial like talks to get the thing going and Keem was managing it, he's like, listen, uh -huh. all right, we don't need that guy. <laughs> Wings Boogie, why don't you come with me? And they stuck with Keem for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, but like he like resents that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imagine them doing that by by themselves with DSP as the lead. I... DSP. <laughs> oh god. That yeah. well, those the three together. Trying to round up two other locales. <laughs> well, that's why it literally I thought Tommy could like be a good balance between the two. But in reality, it takes me, Tommy. Uh, Mudahar mm -hmm. and Turkey Tom to like sedate Boogie and like just get him to the fucking <laughs> screen. <laughs> it takes like yeah. four hours to like wrangle him onto the show. <laughs> you guys weren't lying. Like Wings just looks like a normal person here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's hilarious. I've never I've I've seen all these clips and he's just I, wow. He's got his game of rage, but you know I think he I think he knew like if he could just play it straight, like Boogie's gonna tank the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have it wouldn't work with DSP because. But if you too... asked people like two years ago, like who's going to be the worst guy on the Lol Cow podcast, everyone would have said Wings, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. That's yeah, fine. because he's more he's got more of a reputation as an instigator, think... being upset and angry and a bit more aggressive. <clears throat> Well, if you guys seen like the like, compilations, oh, well, and, and he's, he's more of a long-term oh, kind of a, in a long. He would never like, let anyone hold this mountain. Too. Boogie's a recent <laughs> sort of a, his collapse has been recent, whereas Wings has been uh, <laughs> it's been it's been yeah. a long well, time. Well, I was gonna yeah. say I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the compilations of some of the shit Wings has said on like past podcasts, like the um, Painkiller Already podcast, right? That's the one he was yeah. a part of. Mm -hmm. Like he used to say some wacky shit, and I wonder if he's learned a bit. Like, uh, he's been farmed so hard for, like, clips on podcasts that he... Because some of those lines he came out with, it's almost like, man, did you prepare those? Like, some of those are pretty funny. <laughs> like, you, you sounded pretty normal. Like, and, yeah, Boogie was just a mess. And it was, uh... What is this, like, you know, as long as I can get the spotlight. Boogie was really teeing those up, though. I mean, mm. Yeah, that's true. I think, I think there's uh, a li at least a little bit of self-awareness with Wings. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. I, 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 there's zero self-awareness with somebody like DSP. And there's yeah. uh, clearly mm. there's no self, you know, there's very little, or the self awareness gets trumped by the the need for attention by Boogie. But mm -hmm. either way, it gets pushed to one side as well. Well, in any case, yeah, Boogie so, wants then... you to desperately think that he is self aware when he is not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you'll always tell you like I have learned by is he self aware? My big problem yeah, is this and this and this, and I'm working on it. And then he just like completely fucks it up the next sentence. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, um, yeah. Um, I was going to ask, by the way, so is, would you say this is up to date? Like, is there anything else before the next episode comes out? Uh, that's about up to date. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think um, other than that, I, uh, the issue is, and I'll just say this now, because I don't know what the fuck's going to happen once we launch Go the next it. episode. We'll make history. Um, like two days ago, I don't know why they did this, but Mudahar and Boogie just made up in the group chat. After all of this, after everything you just saw, 
Mm-hmm. You're like, you know, Boogie, I really do care about you. And like, and I'm, <laughs> why can't you just do that on the fucking podcast? Like, I, this is so hard. I mean, there's, so, there's so many people who want this to be successful. Oh, you know, Boogie. Oh, uh, you know, I mean, I didn't really mean it, man. Um, honestly, look, I just want you to be successful. Oh, Muda, you know, I've always respected you. It's like, suck a dick. Can you just do this on the show? <laughs> Yell at each it's other like and then make up. The person who will benefit the most from it working is Boogie, and he's like the person who's sabotaging it the most. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow he doesn't even notice as well. <laughs> So I don't know. I just want them to go ask Wings of Redemption. What do you uh, think of YouTube banning ad block? I'm sure that'll get us a week's worth of content. I don't know. <laughs> What's the thing, right? Like, if it all calms down, it's like, all right, we got to trigger them. Got to start up conversations. Oh, no. that, that's the well, that's why Tommy's there. To yeah. <clears throat> well, there you go. That's the saga up to now. And uh, if you want to follow along, it'll be the Lol Cow Live YouTube channel, I believe, as well as... Uh, you know, Twitter accounts that relate to it, like Nicholas Diorio slash, I guess, Keemstar, if he's uh, tweeted out about it. Of course, Boogie is a regular riot on Twitter. You never know what he'll say next. Mm. Part of what <laughs> tanked his whole any, career. Any early lore, there's like 5 million videos on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the <laughs> thing, right? Watch. This, I mean, the documentary that came out, I think, uh, I'd like to hear what everyone has to say about this, but... My takeaway from it by the end was it was an attempt to be like, yes, sad, yes, depressing, yes, mistakes. But you know what? This, this, we're on the horizon now. We're coming coming to a better place. We're right on the cusp of a. Uh, he's of learned a lot. Arc. He's yeah, oh, and he's, yeah. he's enjoying yeah. making YouTube videos. And you know what? You know what? There's there's, uh, there's some hope there. That's how I yeah. took the dark, and then the dark has been taken by the world to be like, what an embarrassing yeah. fuck up. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> you done. <laughs> like, oh man. <laughs> If there was some hope of him rehabilitating his reputation, uh, agreeing to do that was a huge mistake. What you have to understand is his crippling humiliation fetish is one of the few things that gives him joy in life. <laughs> <laughs> so just, yeah. I like how this the agreed upon, you know, explanation that the it just makes the most amount of sense, right? Why would any human being behave like this? Is it because of this, this, this? The, no, it's because he has a crippling humiliation fetish. That is the most <laughs> yeah. that offers the most explanatory power. Yeah, and surely that, the only uh, reason that this happens is because he has a deeply ingrained humiliation fetish. It's the only mm-hmm. way. It's fascinating that the, the documentary clearly attempted to make him a sympathetic character, right? Like it attempted to. <laughs> the music, to, I think, gives it away, right? It's like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Him as, as somebody that we should look to and be like, oh, you're right, you know, and, and, and come away from it. But he fucked it up so badly. All oh, like right after. <laughs> Just fucking like shit the thing. Everything powered, he did. Psychedelic drugs. I think he tweeted out, he's like, guys, I'm done with drama. Like, the day before the Mudahar thing. Like, I'm not going to talk about drama ever again. That's that's hilarious. The notion that he could, like, I just don't even know if it's within the realm of possibility for him to make any, like, major permanent shift in his behavior. (laughs) <laughs> it's hard to hard to grasp or believe. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. What well, that's why we like. say it's a humiliation fetish. It's because well, any of us here thinking about like what would have to have to happen in my life for me to get like that, make those decisions. I don't think anyone can compute it. Um, like I, I don't just, know what I would. I guess the I thing there. is like I would just square it away as ego and lazy. Hmm. Um, he really, 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 really likes it when people talk about him. Ideally, he'd like it if they were praising him. But he'll even accept if people are talking about him. And he wants to live a lifestyle where he can play video games, watch TV, eat, and do and, and do as little work as possible. And then when you frame it through those lenses, a lot of the decisions he makes make a lot of sense to me. I, I don't mm-hmm. think he cares what the attention is, as long as it's attention. I don't think he cares if it's I think, good or I think bad. He would, I think he absolutely is really unhappy that before everybody thought he was awesome and now yeah. that's like an impossibility that he could mm-hmm. ever have again of people thinking that yeah he's like awesome. now he'll take whatever he can get right yes yeah. exactly yeah. but that's the only joy will... in his life yeah there's probably that rock bottom from which there's no like return yeah i i, I don't even, even know i don't even know what he cuz i don't know what his passion is for like video making I don't see that. I don't see like a desire or an interest there. to create Yeah, it things. doesn't exist. I don't think it exists. It, it was just that it was, I think it was an easy and convenient means by which he could facilitate an incredibly mm. lavish lifestyle of just going all, like buying anything that he could ever want, going on all of these holidays, eating as much food as he wants at fancy restaurants and going to hotels and stuff like that. All and then going to conventions and everybody telling him how, uh, yeah, and then that too. 
um and and that and that just making videos it was just the way that he could get his lifestyle paid for and people tell him he's awesome and now it's gone well yeah, i think <laughs> some people just sort of it just sort of drops into their lap i think for whatever reason all the stars aligned in this one guy named boogie it all just sort of happened for him. It all just came together. He he came around at the, he was right, in the right time. Place the, at the right time. Yeah, yeah, he was at the right website in its you know relative infancy at a time where the internet culture was a certain way, and he happened to do the things that got him a name, and it all just sort of coalesced together and created Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, a four million subscriber channel. But that which brought it all together, that glue right that glue of circumstance shall we call it was mm. it was not glue at all as it turned out to be it was just mm. sort of i don't know what what's like glue but not what's a shitty glue Cum. milk Cum. 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 <laughs> it was all cummy Rotten. milk and mountain dew so it just couldn't hold together as time went on. He didn't How many have... Mountain Dew cans? That seems like a game that you could play. How many Mountain Dew cans were there in the Boogie documentary? Take a shot for every Mountain Dew can. <laughs> and die. You see take a thing. shot for every single time he says, this is the only thing that gives me joy. <laughs> whoever, whoever that whole will variation that right. Boogie will pay for an autistic child to go to school. <laughs> what a stupid retarded thing I did. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste. What's he gonna do with that education? <laughs> Fuck that kid, dude. Actually I'm not ashamed of that at all. Was, uh, <laughs> you know, was, uh, I'm proud of that actually. Completely 180 on that if you if you don't mind. I'm well, sure that kid'll just grow up to go to my Kiwi Farms page and hate me. <laughs> and hate me. You think of me as a pedophile and a woman beater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be like Matt Jarbo's kid. Um <laughs> So well, that, that, crew. Huh. that brings us to the end of this episode. But first, before we head out, I want to start giving a chance for our wonderful guests to talk about the channels. We'll start with Nicholas Dioris. It's the first time on EFAP. Hope you had fun, sir. And thank you so much for your contributions to this episode. Oh, this was great, dude. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm kind of a YouTuber. I haven't uploaded in like mm. over a year, but I plan to. Uh, I do the Lol Cow <laughs> podcast, uh, youtube.com slash at Nicholas Dioria. Well, there you go. Is it links in description? And yeah, you you are you would consider yourself a commentary channel, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Covering all kinds of ins and outs and ups and downs of drama, and then of course, yeah, you'll see him on uh, the Lol Cow Live, the Lol Cow Podcast. If because there was a whole fucking thing with how it was going to be called the Lol Cow Podcast, but then you have like trademark oh. issues with the guy, right? <laughs> Keem, oh god, let me briefly explain this. So Keem thought that he brought on to manage the show the video game attorney Ryan Morrison, the guy who was responsible for Ethan Klein's FUPA fund when he was getting sued. Uh, I, I don't know how many people followed that or whatever. Mm, so, yeah. yeah, while this whole thing is being prepared, that's just who he thought was working there. And it turned out after like all the trademarks were done and all the channels were created and all the social media and they announced it and they got everything ready. It was just some guy named Video Game Attorney on Twitter with like a hundred <laughs> followers. It was just some. It was somebody else who just now owned the show, which like oh. torpedoed it. Yeah, it was just some <laughs> random dude. <laughs> it's, so, it, it's so perfect though, isn't it? Like for all the insane nonsense that's gone wrong to stop this podcast from happening, it's just another <laughs> chapter. <laughs> of course. Didn't but, DSP um, try to uh, to get Boogie and Wings to to go over to the? Yeah, he tried side? to get him to defect. Yeah, yeah. you don't need Keemstar. Oh yeah, I'm sure the podcast would have come out with just the three oh, of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh my no. god, someone just said it in chat, and I just clarified to see if it's true. I'm just checking this news reports. Taylor Swift is postponing Rio concert after a fan dies amid heat wave. Jesus, that sucks. That sucks literally, that sucks, literally, yeah. Travis Scott, bro. What well, hey, fuck? if anyone out there wants to know how to stop a Taylor Swift concert, uh, there you go. Who die? Die. Apparently there were extreme temperatures. Watch the documentary. She literally threw Tanacon too. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh no. Ooh. Well, <laughs> anyway, I've heard that one in a while. <laughs> yeah, that was some deep lore. Uh, yeah. Er, what have you have you released a video recently? Oh my god, tell people about oh, it. It'd be crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's just another Cora video. If you are interested <laughs> wow. in Cora being hated on very um, aggressively, mm -hmm. like I like to do. <laughs> nice. Other than that, yeah, that's yeah. You're not Haven't you got something else? Something else you want to talk about? Maybe. 
think. Uh, Are you starting uh, a podcast with Boogie? <laughs> <laughs> can only hope. I don't know if I can wrangle him in. Uh, this man is uh, he's something else. Um, Large? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 no, I can't think of anything. It's okay. I'll do it for you. ER has a new plush on makeshift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Yeah. Oh, my Look God. at that. Check it out. Wow. Beautiful. Ooh. Go go yeah. get him before you run out of time. 20 days. Yeah. Thank you. Look yeah, at him. Get he's him. different and he's wearing That's a red fine. shit. You're does that mean you're going to die on Star Trek or what? What does that, what does that mean? Uh, I, it's just uh, uh, it's too long to explain. This okay. is an homage Lola to Lola. Boogie's red shirt that he wore on the Aww. first episode of the Lol Cow podcast. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, I believe they allow black flies on makeshift. That's fucked up. This is the <laughs> R semicolon ED plush. Uh, there'll be a link in the description on the re-upload. I didn't pop it in for the, the live one because I'm a bad man. I forgot to. But oh, well, well, you can find it pretty easily with Makeship and uh, with, with RE or underneath the description or in the description for uh, ER's new video, which you can check out as soon as this stream is over. Oh, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful. Cool. And I'm glad right. to have uh, given you such great insight into Boogie this stream. <laughs> this was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Your life is now better for it forever. Yep. It really is. An improvement, little... undeniably. An improvement. Um, way. Moriarty, what are you up to? What's happening with you, buddy? Well, I just released the video. Um, it's a 12 hour long video. <gasps> and, uh, wow, you're like lazy 12? with editing or something. <laughs> and that's what they you said. said. No, I that's why I brought it up. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is it about? <laughs> it's a 12 hour long um uh i go from 1958 to 2023 going through the entire history of video games covering oh, wow. all of the important stuff and i got a comment today and i Jeez. shared it because i thought it was absolutely just the, the shittiest thing and it made me laugh <laughs> i got a whole bunch of uh long man bad replies to it nice. oh, which is my. just <laughs> my dude 12 hours just tells me you are too lazy to edit it down Oh my goodness, uh -huh. it's true. Because that's the only thing that explains a 12 hour video on history is <laughs> laziness. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It took me nine months. I mean, I well, nine dude, months I mean, on this video. you couldn't summarize the history of gaming in under a few hours. Come on. Like, in a yeah. YouTube short. Like 10 minutes. In a YouTube short. Has begun. 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. It was actually a 14 and a half hour long video, and I had to cut two and a half because you can't upload. A, yeah. a 14 hour video it, so it was 14 like, hours know. but he cut out all the gamergate stuff yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean you only went as far back as 1980 it's a bit lazy no i went to 1950 i started in 1980 uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a framing device uh, here well i don't know man i just i'm just saying it's a little bit lazy i would have expected at least yeah. 50 hours but that's still kind of low sussers i say yeah. And the fact is, it's just so sucky because it's just rambly. There's no editing. It's yeah, just a stream of consciousness. Nothing. That's all it is. No editing oh. at all. But yeah, easy recommendation. Check it out. That's, uh, it, it, I guess you can find it just by Moriarty History of Gaming. Or oh, History of Gaming yeah. might even get you at these days. Who I knows? mean, YouTube.com slash really cool, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. really MRI XRT as well. I'll get you there. Well, there's a link in the description. Go check it out. Really um, cool. All right, as heel versus baby face, what are you up to? Uh, shouting about things, mm -hmm. uh, not shouting about other things. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, got oh. afternoon tea tomorrow mm -hmm. and Sunday fun day where we actually play video games hey. and have a good time. Liar. And then, uh, yeah, Tuesday, Real BBC over on Nerd Erotics channel. We got the Soska sisters. Hey. Uh, coming coming on we're gonna have a good chit chat about uh them as a couple of artists probably their horror stuff no restraints play their black widow uh start of their black widow run and uh, probably some buffy talks the huge <gasps> buffy fans and i know somebody who presents the real bbc who's a big buffy fan as well gary yeah yeah gary loves it yeah <laughs> gary loves it Mola hates it though Mm -hmm. Most hate oh, show. That's why he never, never showed me. It. So she's actually a good one. They are they are actually real top notch people, and uh, I think uh, I think the chat's gonna love them. Awesome. Again, link in description. Metal Commander, what about you? Hola. Oh, you know, I'm just doing things. No, it was uh, you know, the, the usual gamer Rooney streams. I've been out with a cold for the last week, so you haven't seen Ooh. me online at all. Uh. Upload a little little rant about the marvels that I cut out of my stream because I thought it would be fun to do. 
so that's yeah. on my main channel. You can watch that. It's like 20 minutes. Just ran, ran brambling about the movie, which was very bad. Uh, and I'm just going back to my video, doing more stuff and shiz. Beautiful. Gonna, probably going to start playing Blasphemous 2 tomorrow or on Monday. Uh. So look out for that. Uh, both yeah. games have a pretty good okay. reputation. Yes. Yeah. Be nice and fun for you. Well, wonderful. Uh, again, links in descriptione. Uh, fringy rags. Anything you guys want to talk about? Not at the moment. I don't want to say anything quite yet. Mm -hmm. it's, you know the deal. Just work and edit in the, the Loki, EFAP TV. We'll get a few of those done and then they'll start coming out. So, you know. Yeah. Back to the dungeon, I go. That's pretty much the same for me. Lots of editing happening these days, as well as uh, just setting up some, some you know, it's a bit of a variety. These E5 episodes, last few I've noticed, uh, you know, it's just, it's just like, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You never know was, what you're going to expect. I wasn't you know exactly sure how to set up the what we're doing today, other than just, it's going to be wacky. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but what I will say wacky. is uh, we did promote it last time, and I'll uh, do it again today. The EFAP Highlights channel, which if it's not That's linked right. in the description, then I'm retarded, yeah, yeah. and I will sort that out. But it's a it's pretty easy to find. It's um it's it's chugging along quite well already, and uh, it's just worth mentioning that uh, Wolf's told me who runs the channel that it's it's close to monetization now. If you guys could just uh, click a little bit more, have a little look more Mike around, Carter. we can uh, we can get it the running. What'll tempt you is there is a video here of me talking to Star Wars theory that isn't findable on Moolah. It's like a mystery <gasps> video. Look at it there, and. The, the fabled why EFAP doesn't discuss politics. It's a, it's a whole thing we had with Adam and Sitch. Can't get it on Moolah. Can't get it on Moolah. You can get it on the EFAP highlights. So if you want to jump also into it. Also, Jenny Nicholson's stream without Jenny Nicholson, which is like seven hours long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the thumbnail is just so good for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, I think Wolf's going to try and get it, you know, like one per three days, I think at the least, maybe some more than that as well, but taking suggestions, hope to, uh, uh, get you guys churning this channel so it can get going basically. And just, um, yeah, it's the kind of thing that I think a lot of you were looking for was, um, bite-sized EFAP. I imagine there's going to be a couple highlights coming up on this channel as a result of this stream today. There's a few bits and bobs that were rather yeah, notable, yeah. I would say. But yes. The boogie sex scene needs to be posted. <laughs> no. I saved them from that, okay? Oh, trying to yeah. memory oh, hole it already. I can them. see the title <laughs> now. EFAP 258, but only the boogie sex <laughs> <laughs> Seven hours. No. Seven hours. Um, that, no. But yeah. You know, trying to find it. Is there... Thank you for having her, Jean. Oh, well, dude, thank you all so much for, for sticking oh, yeah. with us throughout that absolute nightmare uh super appreciate it is there anything the else anyone put us through yeah it's, i do it for uh, love just just yeah know. i'm gonna beat you up different. when i'm coming can over I, can i just say soon. a big uh <laughs> ripiverse.com um uh, alpha core is on nine hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars it's just two thousand dollars away from hitting a million so if Jesus you haven't if, wow. yeah if, if you haven't backed alpha core uh, Ripperverse, R I P P A uh, verse dot com. Uh, go and support it. Smash it over that million mark. And it's only been, well, it's less than two weeks since it's been available for pre order. Damn. This isn't uh, what you call it. This isn't, uh, you know, for, for going into production. It's made. The, the books are already in the warehouse. So this is literally pre order. Shipping starts at beginning of December time. For people who've made the purchase. So, uh, yeah, ripperverse.com, Alpha Core, get over a million, please. This is us. <laughs> I don't have a million. You're in luck. You don't have to have a million. You don't have to have you a million. You just have to have $1 and 999,999 friends who think just like you. Wow. As we all do. As we all do. Um, but yeah, uh, anything else anyone wants to talk about before we say goodbye? Hmm. Uh, no, I feel like I need a shower. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Other everyone, that, everyone yeah. is on you now. I don't want to get anywhere near a bathroom right now. It gives me <laughs> bad memories. As long as I can yeah. swap out my sponge for a Brillo pad, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> All righty, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We will Thank see you. you for the next thing, whatever it may be. Toodle, toodle, pip, pip. Bye, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, everybody. Yes, we yeah, will everybody. see you later. Bye, bye. Later. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.